Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. Kyle. And we're here to play Massive Darkness 2, the Hellscape campaign. And we're hyped. We're ready. We're ready to roll some dice, eat some beer, and drink some pretzels. It's going to be awesome. I'm just a little confused here because I'm on the wrong side. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, I'll fix it one <laughs> sec. I'm one just, second, Kyle. Like, Kyle's this is the right one. side of my head, but I see it on the left. Oh, yeah, it is, it is weird. It's flipped. It's flipped. Let's do this. Let's do this. Use your, use your magic. Boom. There you go. <sighs> magic. Magic flip. It's better. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's the wrong hat, Rob. Is it is? Oh, what hat should he be wearing? What hat am I supposed to wear? Oh, wait. I'm playing as the paladin, not the wizard. You're right. I'm wearing the wrong hat. I'm not the wizard today. That was yesterday. I get your helmet. Yeah, yeah, I need my metal helmet. Okay. All right. Uh, hello, everybody joining live. Hello, hello, hello. So we're going to play through this campaign live. We're going to do one scenario today. Supposedly there's eight scenarios. So assuming we don't lose, but I'm assuming if we do lose, we would replay that scenario probably in the same episode, just reset it and try again. That's how the campaign works is uh, once you fail the same quest three times, you fail the whole campaign. So there's no fail forward. It's if you lose, you play the quest again. And you try it again, and you just reset it up, shuffle all the decks, and maybe things are a little different, maybe it's easier. Um, when you do fail, you lose all your XP, but you keep your levels that you got. Um, and you lose all your loot tokens you've gathered up. So we'll go over the campaign rules and what's different, but just for you watching, uh, the playlist is down below in the video description if you're looking for the future episodes of the series. I've scheduled next week's stream already, could move around and change dates and all that, but you can set a reminder for it, so if you're looking for the other episodes, check the video description. If you're looking for yesterday's stream where we played uh, Massive Darkness 2 Hellscape, the core set from retail, we played a scenario yesterday, tried out the Wizard class and the uh, Berserker class. Berserker class. We played those on stream yesterday. That is also in the same playlist down below. And if you want to see Mel paint the miniatures for this game, uh, those are also in the video description in a playlist. So if you're looking for the minis painted, that's where you'll see them. Um, in separate streams and videos, and there's one scheduled for this Thursday. Can I pause you for a minute? There's some sound issues happening. Oh, man. Oh, my mic got unplugged. What the heck? Hello, hello? Is that better? Yeah, man. I, I, I kicked my mic out. Oh, yeah, you were just coming through my mic. Yeah, so but you, can, still you guys hear can still you. hear me, but it was probably very echoey. Yeah. My bad, my bad. So anyways, this is episode one of probably eight episodes. We might be able to play two in the same episode if they're quicker, or we might have to replay one if we fail in the same episode, but in general, this series should be eight episodes. That's the plan, and we're going to play every week with three players. So again, down below in the video description, you'll find the playlist containing all the playthroughs, and you'll find a playlist containing all the painting streams and the unboxing. Uh, so if you're looking for any other Massive Darkness 2 stuff, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button. There you go. Thank you everyone supporting us on Patreon and YouTube who are scrolling by on the screen. You're awesome. And of course, thanks everyone for the super chats. Much appreciated. All right. We're doing this live. Uh, we're going to go over. So we're going to assume you've played Massive Darkness 2 or you watched your stream yesterday or you've watched the rules video or you've already looked into the game. You know how to play it. We're not going to explain how to play Massive Darkness 2 today. Kyle has never played before. Mel and I have only played three games total. All in the core set, all retail box. We played two off stream. We streamed one yesterday. We explained how the game worked. We showed off the wizard. We showed off the berserker. Today, we're going to talk, before we get playing, about the differences with campaign mode and explain that. We'll talk about town, the town phase, which is new. We'll talk about that at the end after we hopefully win the quest. We get to go to town. And that's similar to like a sword and sorcery kind of little town phase in between. Um, but I'll go over all of that now. And then we'll talk about our classes, uh, what we picked. We picked all different classes from yesterday's stream. So you're going to see three different classes from the retail base game. So that means after today, you'll see five out of the six classes that come in the core box. Um, but there are other classes that come in expansions uh, that you can get and check out too. Alrighty then. Um, So I have the rules PDF up here. Uh, you can find it on Simon's website. I don't know if it's linked in the video description, but uh, you can find it or I'll put it in there later. But uh, so basic concepts to it, it adds two new dice types uh, because you can go up to level 10 now. So originally in a basic standalone session of Massive Darkness 2, 
you can level all the way up to five. Maybe you level up to five, maybe you level up to two, maybe not level up at all, but you can level up to only max five in a basic game, a single session of Massive Darkness 2, okay? But now with the campaign, I'm assuming they've stretched it out so we'll level up a little slower. I see they've increased the cost of leveling up. But because we get up to level 10, the mobs now have level 10 cards, you see on the screen there. We have skill cards for all our classes that go up to level 10. We have green and red dice now that are stronger defense and stronger attack dice added to the game. So that way when we get up to like level, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, we're now getting, you know, better loot, rolling bigger dice, fighting stronger enemies than you would see if you were just playing a regular scenario. Um, so that's how the campaign's kind of different. It stretches it over eight sessions, so it kind of adds more levels and loot, more tiers of enemies, levels and loot and stuff. But it, I'm assuming we're going to level up slower than you would in a basic game and get less loot than you would in a basic game. Um, based on me just reading the rules, we've never played the campaign. We're playing this for the first time here. So you're going to get our initial impressions and instructions and how we go with it. If you've played the campaign before, feel free to chime in, point things out, remind us of rules differences and stuff as we play. Much appreciated or pointed out in the comments down below if you're watching later. All right. So another thing is skill cards. Like I said, those uh, go all the way up to 10. There's also hybrid skill cards, which if you've gotten up to tier four of two different tiers of skills, uh, you can take this level nine skill, one of the level nine skills from your class, and in addition to those tier fours that you built up. So they have this whole thing where you're like, if you wanna follow certain tiers of skills, you could get like rewarded by picking like a specialization, a hybrid, a hybrid skill. Uh, they have now a tier called legendary loot. So there's now common loot deck, a uh, or common loot tier, because those are also in the mob uh, items. Um, and then there's rare, epic, and now legendary. So that's the little crown tokens here, and they're like the white cards. Um, there are more item sets. So in the core set, you have the Shadowbane set, which Mel got yesterday, got two items from it, which allows you to get the ability card, and you now get a cool new ability because you've now started making a set of specific armor that goes together. And, it, and there's that tier four plus option. So if you get at least four pieces of, the, of that, um, what was it called? Shadowbane? Shadowbane mm -hmm. set? Then you get like a super ability off that um, by pairing those up. But now, because we're playing this expansion, they've added in two additional sets. It's the uh, Darkbringer and the Hellfire set. So we have more, and that's they've shuffled some of that into the Epic deck, and I'm assuming there's some in the Legendary um, deck. But uh, there were no common or rare item cards that came with the expansion, so I'm assuming they didn't add any in there by default. Okay. Uh, it says the Hellfire set focuses on fire, the Darkbringer set, set focuses on shadow and automatic damage of fl infliction for powerful effects, whatever that means. Uh, like I said, the enemies now have mob decks that go, uh, you know, or enemy cards that go all the way up to, to level 10 to match us leveling up. There is a new mob that you'll probably see in play that has been shuffled into all the decks. It's like a little group of angels that Mel has painted on stream. Um, and we have two new roaming monsters. So now we're drawing from with the retail box uh, core set plus this expansion. We have now six roaming monsters at all levels that could come into play to spice things up. Um, there's new game tiles that we'll see, I'm sure, at some point in some of the scenarios that came in the expansion. Here's the town board, which again, we'll go over all how the town works when we get to a town phase, whether it's at the end of today's episode, or if it takes us, you know, if we lose today and we have to play again, <laughs> we only get to go to town when you win a quest. So, and then you can, you can trade items, sell, you know, trade in loot uh, tokens. Um, so there's like a change now. Uh, where you, if you pick up treasure tokens off the map, or loot tokens, loot tokens, sorry. Loot tokens do not get replaced with treasure tokens in chambers anymore when you spawn them. You actually interact with those loot tokens, the little key ones, and you put, collect them in a pile, and you can spend those in town to then draw from the item decks and, and buy potions and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll go over all that when we get there. Uh, these are campaign cards, it says spoilers, but it doesn't go into specifics on each one, but there's different, there's a whole campaign deck of cards which you've seen in other games. Uh, with this campaign expansion, it comes with card number 1 through 30, and based on you getting certain side quests, certain achievements, certain quest outcomes, you will draw specific secret cards from this campaign pool, and they could give you items and uh, town upgrades and all this kind of stuff. Um, so we'll see some of that throughout the campaign. It's all a surprise, I haven't looked at any of it, other than what I just read about in, on that page earlier. There is additional setup to campaign mode, which we'll go through. Here's the campaign path. So we play scenario A for sure. 
Then we'll have a choice, which you guys will vote on a poll at the end, and you'll pick whether we play B or C for our second quest. We only get to play one, so this adds replayability. If you play through again, you can make different choices. There are, I think, three alternate endings, it said for this. When you get to your third play session, you can choose two from the following scenarios. So your play session three and play session four, assuming you keep winning, will be chosen between quests D, E, F, and G. Then everybody plays H as you go through a campaign. And then you can pick between I and J. And then you'll pick for your session seven, you pick between K, A, L, and M. And then you play your finale N, no matter what happened, but maybe a change setup or something, I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, the quest phase, there's a whole bunch of rules here uh, with the quest phase. So we'll go over this quickly. Uh, this will matter more on the future episodes. We'll go over it again when we set up a new one because setup changes a lot in the future quest setups. So in this phase, it says players uh, play the quest they've chosen. There are additional rules uh, for this expansion. So starting health, mana, and class components. Heroes start each quest with their current maximum health and mana. They may freely trade amongst themselves. So before we start a quest, you can only take seven items in. So when we're in town, you can bring a whole bunch of items. We can trade them away for loot tokens, spend those loot tokens on things. But once you're done your town phase, we have to each, we can trade all we want while we're in town, but then we discard down to uh, seven items and your player board can hold six. So you can have one item on the side, which I'm assuming will probably be like a potion or something you wanna bring into the quest. So. Mm -hmm. You don't get to pick a starting item like we do for this quest, which you'll see in a second. You just pick from whatever junk you've brought forward, um, obviously, which is cool. Uh, you keep your level and acquired skills between quests. Uh, if you won your previous quest, you keep your experience. But if you lost your previous quest, you go back to zero, but you don't lose your levels. Um, you don't place rare and epic treasure tokens next to your level token, which you normally would have done because the level token is different with the expansion. We'll show you when we flip cameras. Um, and then it looks like the wizard and the paladin. So I'm playing the paladin, this is relevant. I can rearrange some of my skills that are uh, in my little columns or whatever I'll show you um, between quests. If I didn't like kind of how it was laid out last quest, I can switch it up. Um, and then it says starting items. That's what I already talked about. Loot tokens. Whenever you reveal a chamber, like I said, you don't reveal, you don't switch those loot tokens with treasure tokens. You just can interact with those treasure or those loot tokens to pick them up and spend them in town. So that's one less way to get loot during a scenario that just that just cut you off from pulling tokens out of a bag right there okay and there's another one here enemy rewards all mobs reward zero treasure tokens so all that rambling and ranting and loving of the loot <laughs> pile and flood we were having in, in a regular game of massive darkness they are taking it away they're taking it away i don't know if i'll like the game anymore i don't know um so mobs you only get the item that they drop that they're carrying the weapon they have but you no longer get treasure tokens, which sucks. And ro roaming monsters only now give you one treasure token instead of like three, Yeah. which sucks. And they only get you one random one that's pulled from the bag. So the bag in this campaign starts with 10 common tokens in the, in the loot bag or treasure bag or whatever, and only one rare token instead of 10 and five as you do in a normal game. And I'm assuming that bag will evolve as we go. Um, and then it says, Oh, the darkness track. So the darkness track, if you guys remember from the game, uh, you get rare and, um, let's go here. You get uh, on the darkness track here, you normally get like specific treasure types, but instead we're gonna draw from our crappy loot treasure bag that's been set up and we cover those up with whatever we draw. And then when you get to those points in the, and when, you know, when you're round four, for example, you'll just take whatever tokens off there, get that type of loot and throw it back in the bag. Do you want to do that right now or not yet? Uh, no, not we'll, yet. we'll okay. do it in a sec. I mean, you can do it if you want, Mel, go ahead. Uh, the bag's ready. Here, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, chess. So no longer a chess. They usually have a little surprise on the bottom of what treasure you'll draw. Instead, you ignore the bottom. So it doesn't matter what regular and, and greater chests we put on the board, they'll just each get you, regular will get you just one treasure token drawn from the bag at random, and a greater chest you get to draw two random treasure tokens from the bag. And then you get that many cards and return the tokens to the treasure bag. Uh, what else? Side quests. So each scenario has a little side quest, like a little, you know, a little achievement you can get. That will give you additional rewards. Um, and then it talks about losing the quest there that I already talked about that. Oh, also related to the darkness track, if we get to the other side, there's uh, another side of the darkness track that normally uh, has four rounds and it keeps looping and just keeps making more enemies over and over again. It's kind of like an endless game. Instead, if we get to the last round on that second side, so the fourth round on the back, we lose. 
Okay. I think we have till the end of that round, the way it says it here. It says, uh, if the quest is not won by the fourth round of the backside of the darkness track. So maybe it's the start of the round. It doesn't say start or end, so it just says by the fourth round. Don't know what that means, but the quest ends in defeat. I couldn't find that in the FAQ, but uh, maybe someone else knows, but uh, I'm not sure. And then uh, you discard all loot tokens. Each hero must discard items until they have a maximum of seven each. Then players may retry the quest from the start. So this is if we lose a quest, we'll go read this and deal with it. And again, if you lose the same quest three times, we fail the campaign. And again, more town face stuff we'll talk about later in the episode. And there is this stuff. Uh, that's more town stuff right here. This is a cool part, okay? During the town phase, let's, let's do this. So during the town phase, players check if they've accomplished the campaign achievements, if any. So we kind of need to know these now because they're things you need to work on. These are like campaign achievements that are like over overarching. I have a sheet we can record them on. Um, but there's there's ones that you could do. Uh, you get a treasure, you get a campaign card. These are ways to get campaign cards. So you could complete three side quests. So each scenario, I think, has only one side quest. Maybe some have multiple, I don't know. But for each one we get, we can mark that off. And once we get three of them, we could draw campaign card one, which is who knows what it is. Uh, we could interact with the gambling alley four times. You can only interact with the gambling alley once per town phase. So that's where you just like spending some loot tokens and drawing from the bag and seeing what you get. Um, there's during the town phase, uh, discard five potion cards with different names at once with no effect. So that's like our starting health, mana. There's other ones in the, in the deck that you can get different potions. So if you're able to, to save up five different potions, so we can all save them up. And remember, in town, you can all trade all you want. So right. we can, they can come from all of our, our pools of cards. Uh, we could draw campaign card four. Obtain the greater power of the Darkbringer set. So again, <laughs> if you have four pieces of the Darkbringer set or four pieces of the Hellfire set, those each get you a different campaign card. And then losing the same quest two times, you get to draw campaign card seven. So I'm assuming that's like in the Legacy games when you like really suck. They kind of like give you something to help the players at the table <laughs> to keep going. And like hopefully they don't lose a third time. Um, or maybe it's like a special rule, who knows? Uh, but no spoilers, please, if you already know. And then uh, Hidden Achievement is only available after completing Quest H, releasing Michael. So there's some achievement that happens later in the in the quest. And then there's uh, Campaign Progression. So after winning a quest, players perform the following steps as indicated on each quest. Claim the request reward, claim any side quest reward if you got it, distribute experience points, update the treasure bag, and after the town phase, go to the next quest as indicated. And then we're going to start playing Quest A First Investigation, um, but that is not in this PDF that they put online, so you can't see the quest, but we have the physical book, obviously. We'll go through that. Boom. All right. So here is a simple starting scenario. It's only two tiles. I put some weird things. I know somebody's going to say, like, what the hell is this meeple? <laughs> And what is this little green token? This green token, when we read the objectives, this will make sense, but I just marked it because it's not like a normal portal. So I just put that on there so we don't spawn enemies there. And this is to remind us we need to spawn a mob when we're on this scene setting up the game. So that just reminds us to put a, a group of enemies there, basically. Okay. So if you want, we want to do that right now, we can do that right now. It's all good. So let's get our first mob of the game. I still want to start going and we're like, wait, where are all the enemies? Whoops. Our first mob is Fire Entities. So again, we ignore this. They don't get any loot, this sucks. I already hate this game. Um, they have three health each. They roll one blue defense die when you're attacking them. On combat, that's whether they're attacking or defending for each claw they roll. They add one fire token to the attacking or defending hero. And fire tokens, when it's your activation, if you have any fire tokens on your room, you remove them one at a time, roll a yellow die, take hits. Okay. And Kyle, if you can put that over there and then draw a um, weapon to put underneath their card from the level one mob item, whatever it's called. Yeah, that one is there. They've been shuffled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't need this anymore, right? This was no. just him. Okay. But I will use that in future. So slide that under the card. The only thing we care about is the very bottom to see what kind of weapon they have. Melee, ranged, or, or magic. What melee, is it? melee. So will you melee start it on this side and then go out that way? Just so Will that we can I? see. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. Yeah, can you? Sure. Thank you. It's just easier for me to see. Okay, so the melee and they roll a yellow die for attacking. And when we defeat the last piece of plastic figurine on the board here, they will drop that weapon, but they do not give us any other loot otherwise. Okay. Uh, so that's our first mob. Wait, I didn't show, but I can show these ones. These are my fire. <laughs> that's cool. Good. 
Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I guess it's probably best to maybe just talk about our character classes a little bit. Um, and then we'll just go through setup stuff to make sure we've done all that. So, Mel, you want to start us off telling us all about your ranger? Well, yeah. Maybe I can uh, do this. And oh, I, you want me to do like this? Does whatever it matter? you want to do, Mel. Okay. So, I'm playing the ranger who has a ability of moving one MP. So, plus one MP. So, every time I take a move action, I'm going to be able to... magic points? No, but that's what Mana you might points? think. You might think, but no, it's not. So, I have um, one extra movement point whenever I am doing a movement action, which I need to remember. I need to remember. Um, I've started myself with the short bow. He's a ranger, so I wanted to, I wanted to use the bow. I have, uh, so I can use it at range and at melee, so we'll see what's needed. Um, he starts with two mana and five health. His shadow effect is, uh, so, oh, sorry, I didn't get those out. Uh, draw and discard one arrow card and apply its bullseye effect. So I have this little side deck of arrow cards, kind of like a little mini game where I'm going to be at the start of my attack, flipping these over, trying to get seven arrows, which is a bullseye of seven, which then I would be able to do the top line of all the cards. If What's this middle line? That is if I, oh gosh, am I off by two? I'm like, if you have less than seven. Less than seven. This is equal seven, less, less than, than seven, seven and more than seven. seven. So if you bust. Yeah. So this is like playing blackjack, except for the, the key number is not 21, it's 7. It's 7. So she's so pushing her luck by flipping cards so off a deck, hoping to hit 7 exactly, like, uh, or at least not go over oh, 7. Oh, like in this case I've hit 6, and then I can decide if I want to flip one more. So if, if she hit this and she stopped, she never hit 7, so she just do the ability in the middle. She has those abilities available, available. to her when she's doing an attack. Yeah. If I, uh, yeah. And we'll um, see I that do play have... out as she goes. So you don't have to give us an example. It will see it multiple times throughout the playthrough. Yep. And I have cards that affect this little deck as well, making it easier for me. And also, Mel, if you notice, she has in this playthrough versus yesterday, has a different little level track. So these are the ones that came with the expansion. So if you'll notice, the costs are a little higher. If you'll notice, they do not add treasure tokens to the loot bag. Another way they're screwing us here. They're making this game a game I'm not wanting to play anymore. <laughs> uh, Cause like, man, Kyle, yesterday like, we get loot every time you level up. We get loot every time an enemy dies, plus the loot, their weapon that they drop. Every time we go in a room, we get a whole bunch of loot tokens. It's just like loot, loot, loot everywhere. Roaming monster you kill, you get like three loot tokens. It's just like endless supply of loot. Uh, tre treasure tokens also give you a bunch of loot too, but now they're like slimming it down. So it also eventually, like I said, can go up to level 10. Okay, so there you go. Eventually we get like, you know, you can have plus five and four to your, you know, your max mana and health. Uh -oh. And then I guess just to talk, uh, there's sorry, sir. There's still a little bit of mic stuff on your end. Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably that me just talking louder than hearing me. Oh, okay, your yeah, because uh, Mel and Kyle sound fine, but you are still sounding like you're being picked up on someone else's okay. mic a bit. Let me. Or it could just be my ears nope, being cleaned out. Right. <laughs> my head. two two other people agreed. So yeah, yeah. It always sounds weird when uh, I have all the mics on. I don't know why. How about now? I don't know. And then my, my skill card that I'm going to start... I'll just stop talking loud. The skill card that I'm going to take to start the game is Arrow Volley 1, which is level 1 card. Ranged attacks, I can spend 1 mana. Each other enemy in line of sight takes 1 wound. Which, that sounds good to me. Test, test. So, that's what we're going to... Yeah, much better, says Keith. Oh, okay. One sec, one sec. Test, test. I don't know, it's like spiking now, that's the problem. Test. Yeah, I just need to not yell. I get excited and start yelling, and it goes into your microphones too. All right. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so I think I've gone over pretty much high level of what my stuff is. All right. So I'm playing the paladin. Let's see if I can do this. So I'm playing as the paladin. Okay. This guy right here. He has his default on when he's attacking. He can ignore one wound coming back at him. His shadow ability, every hero in a zone in a consecrated zone performs a free recover after this combat. So recover action is take two health or two mana or one of each. His max mana and his max health are there. Um, consecration, consecrated zones are these little tokens. So I can place these in zones on the board and those become consecrated zones. And each consecrated zone 
has a specific built-in ability tied to it. I can also add skills to each column for these, and I can place them by spending a mana to throw one in a line of sight that has no consecration tokens. So I can only put one per zone. I can take it back at any time, even on not on my turn, as a free action, no problem. Um, but for example, if this were here and we were attacking or defending from this space, we get a free reroll. But my skills, instead of just going around my board like some other classes, they actually go in line and add to those abilities. And everybody at the table gets to use these abilities. So for example, this one, heroes at the start of a move action in this zone get plus one movement point. Heroes that start their activation in this red zone uh, may heal one. But I could add more abilities as we unlock skills and level up to make them even better. So I play kind of like, I could play supporty, I could play like a very buff, you know, kind of class, but I'm also kind of like a tanky frontline fighter in the Paladin. Um, but again, so many skill cards, they added so many with the expansion. Uh, so for my level one, I'm gonna choose, I think I'm gonna keep it simple, I'll just go with Boldness, tier one, which I need to be at level one to take, which obviously I'm at level one. And this on attack for this consecrated zone, uh, the first one, the green one, so now anyone who's in the green zone on a combat can reroll a die, so that's whether you're attacker or defender. And if you're attacking, you can also reroll. So kind of like two rerolls on attack, basically. Um, but that's what I'm gonna go with for my starting skill. But again, I could have chosen, for example, different level ones like spend a mana to move one enemy in this consecrated zone by one so we can push enemies back or bring them closer or whatever. Uh, Life link. I could have the paladin may take wounds instead of another hero in this consecrated zone. I don't think I want to play that way personally. Maybe in a larger player group I would do such things, but um, this Consecration Zone, this is level two, for example, but it's also a tier one of starting that, that skill tree. Um, but this is what I'll probably go for on level two. This Consecration Zone also affects one other zone, so I can place the token to affect two zones beside each other, and that was really fun when I was practicing with this guy off stream. Um, so that's what I'll probably go with it, but that's what you do at the start. Kyle, what do you have going oh, on? You didn't, you didn't do your weapon though. Oh, my weapon, my starting weapon is the Tribal Spear. Sorry for about that. Um, so I can do melee for a yellow die, it's one-handed, or I can do range, but only up to range two. So a little stabby stabby, I'm not throwing anything. Um, so it's just like flexible, so that's the one I took. Uh, and I took a heal potion to start, so you can pick between a heal or a mana potion. I, I chose a health potion. Or oh, I also chose a health if I didn't say that. Yeah. All right, Kyle. Kyle, can you? Let's see if Kyle knows his hero. He's he's the only one who's never played with his hero. Mel's played with yeah. it, so she can answer questions and explain it too. Also, mm -hmm. so the camera's right. Yeah, no, Pull it down closer. I don't know if I was pet. Oh, this, this is the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just flying in here. Uh, <laughs> was it Irk? I got Irk Irk's flying uh, around. Who's a shaman? Uh, at the start of your turn, increase. Any element by one. So I got this whole element track over here that I can, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to explain it because I can't explain it right now. But uh, yeah, basically I increase these things and then when I get to the top, um, I get these abilities. Here, pass, me, pass me the board and I can show the text like up closer. Yeah. And then I can spend the elements on my other cards. So what he's talking about is uh, you kind of have these on a beige side. And every time he earns mana, he can choose to take the mana like normal, or any individual mana he earns. So if he earns three mana, he could like take two of the mana and spend it to uh, increase the power of these, or take it normal, you know? Um, but when he hits the max, he flips it over and spends all this to now show that he has unlocked this ability permanently. And he can do that for each column here. And that's optional if you want to flip. You don't have yeah. to flip. And it explains that right at the top of the board. Here's the three little abilities. And he also can summon spirits. And you could give them more health. And uh, this explains, that reminds you down here, every time you take mana, you can increase one of the tracks. As well, you need to remember at the start of your turn, you can also, just yeah, as a fruit, just, increase, just for free, increase one. Increase one. Yeah. And you already have a starting ability card, right, that has uh, powers on it also, so you have something right away to spend it on if you want. Why well, I don't have, yeah. Yeah, you just don't have any mana, but you will have, or uh, yeah, you don't right. have any elements, but you will get something on your first turn, and maybe you'll get some mana as you go. That's right. And I don't know if you said it at all, but you can't spend mana tokens that you have to transfer them into that tracks. It's only mana you're earning, potentially. That's right. Uh, and then I chose a wooden staff, which... 
gain it gets me one mana every time I use it. Uh, so it's a magic item. Two-handed, two -handed, yeah. so I won't have it for very long, but we'll see. We'll you see. might. We'll see. And then my level one card, I'm choosing the Firestorm one. So, so you yeah. can spend two fire and a wind, I think it is, to roll an orange. Yep. Deal wounds equal to the hits on the die to an enemy in magic range, so in the same space or one way. And plus one hit per fire on the target. Yeah. Which, so if, if I get the fire sprite, then I'll be doing that. Oh, so. nice. I think I, can, I think I can do some fire. Oh, yeah? I wonder if I have things that do fire. So maybe we can like yeah, do some I'm sure kind the of fire against the fire guys is going to work out well. Yeah, right I can. Here. Like I have a few. <laughs> oh, these guys. Yeah, no. Guys. Well, no, I, it still works on them. I think. I have a few arrows that do fire. Yeah. No, I don't. And I think I have. The I'll shuffle that. I had fire. I think. Oh, I have. Oh, but I'm there's items showing that it we off could get camera, but... that we can do fire. Uh, I do have. Yeah. Knowing that though. But these guys they give fire, right? That was. A I have yeah, other skill yeah, cards. So. I could have taken one where the defender takes one fire. I mean, should I do that instead? It combos, uh, it combos it, like, with you know? what I, I could just take this one next because I don't really need. So if I'm gonna do it though, like any two. I got a bullseye. Well, you're taking though. the skill, you should use it. I know, but like, <laughs> like don't take a skill you're never gonna use. No, but for her to set that up to give a character, the like, fire well, is this, still is, good. this is just hard yeah. because I have to bullseye to get the fire, which is <sighs> yeah, tough dude. now. Oh. So I think I have to take this Boom. later. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it later, but I do have a few other things that can do fire, which we can kind of combo. Yeah, and if I can get my level two level two arrow fire arrows, I can do two fire. I don't think I have. Oh, or three if I get my three. I don't see anything on the fire token in my. Sk oh, probably on the back. Uh, I, yeah, I, let me check the back There's of them. Back? No, for uh, me because they I can like bless uh, them and they uh, level up kind of, like each turn. Uh, I forgot. My arrows. I should always read the back of mine too. Yeah, like for example, my starting skill I took. Once at the start of every round, I can choose to bless one of the skills, and it like just flips it over and like makes it slightly better. Oh, that's cool. And, and, it, and, and it stays blessed? And at the end of the round, it flips back. Oh, so I can switch see. them every round if I wanted, or whatever's going on, make one better. But I don't see any with fire on them. So, yeah, sorry, guys. But there okay. are items. There are 100%. I had gloves yesterday, where every time I attack, I had a fire to the enemy I'm attacking. That's cool. Demonic, demonic gauntlets, I think they're called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. But there's 600 items in those loot decks, so will we see them again? I don't know, but hopefully. They were awesome. Okay, uh, so let's talk about setup then. Oh, let's check the chat. Is anyone saying anything we're missing? Pope Boy says, last game I hit three bullseyes in a row against Michael. He's the boss. I yep. felt like I should go to Vegas. Yes, you should. Yeah, you should. That's crazy <laughs> because I get nervous. Once I get to five, I stop usually because <laughs> I don't want to bust. Daniel's saying, damn, you're making this game look more interesting as it goes. Uh... <laughs> If someone said they spent money on it already. Oh, oh no. really? I missed that oh, one. Up top. Again, if you want to hear our thoughts after playing three games of the retail box, we talked about it in yesterday's stream at the end. Uh, we gave our thoughts, how we felt, you know, obviously throughout the campaign, we'll give our thoughts on campaign mode as we play it. At the end of the campaign, we'll give our overall thoughts on it uh, in the end of that stream and talk about the game in general. But again, Kyle's never played the base game, so he doesn't know like what the changes are really and like how it feels different or not. So Mel and I will kind of describe that as we go um, to let you guys know maybe if you're interested in the campaign box or not. And I'll be honest and open whether I think it's a decent campaign or not, if it was worth the like 50 bucks for the expansion or not. But so far it seems okay on paper, but them taking away all the loot, it seems like less loot gathering and stretching it out over multiple play sessions just makes it seem like every other dungeon crawly adventure game we play, which kind of loses that special, uh, you know, loot flood that uh, a regular session of this game has. So we'll see. But I guess that makes sense. And also, uh, just for fun, I know we don't need them all right away, all the card decks, but mm -hmm. you can see now, compared to yesterday's stream, all the the uh, mob item decks on the top of that card tray over by Kyle. You can see the extra legendary tier of loot, the campaign deck, the starting item deck, and then here are all the... Now we have two tiers of cards over here. We got the doors and those sets of uh, armor, those powers, and then now I got roaming monsters over here off the side of the camera, but again, they have now, we have roaming monsters, you know, Level one and two, three and four and five, but now you have six and seven, eight and nine, 
and 10. So lots more cards, lots more decks to shuffle when you set up. But again, I'm assuming we won't be drawing from like the level 10 deck for like many sessions, but it does say to set them all up every time you play the campaign. So I'm assuming some cards might ask you to go pull. If like we saw yesterday, a roaming monster, like all of a sudden upgraded himself based yeah. on like a door card or whatever. And we're like, what? So yeah, we'll see. But I'm assuming when you're setting up, you can just take like the level you're playing in a future quest and maybe like the next level will be on and put that at the table so you're not just have like so many decks of cards to deal with. But I just wanted to show them on this first one like what was involved. But, it looks cool. It's yeah, it's, it's like overwhelming like how many decks there are. I shuffled for about three hours today. <laughs> um, I, I got paper cuts. It was crazy. All right. Anyways, anywho. Um... <laughs> Uh, Critical TV says we are playing Wizard and Ranger and they are super strong out of the gate each session. Uh, I feel like every class we played all the classes already and they're all strong. At least the six that come in the base game. They all seem strong. They all have builds that seem like they could be played solo in my opinion and lower player counts. I'm assuming as you play a larger player counts it just gets more crazy but uh, yeah there are some builds you can tell that are more supporty and a little weaker and softer but I don't know, man. They, they all seem to work pretty good. Uh, yeah, there wasn't any that I didn't like that I played. Yeah. Like, I wanted to play the Wizard for the campaign, but I played him yesterday, and I'm like, I just want to play new ones on stream. So I just picked the Paladin thinking it might complement the, the play here, or maybe the Berserker might have done well, too. But uh, then I would be begging Kyle to take his heal powers, because the Berserker does that whole thing where it, like, damages himself and, mm -hmm. you know, constantly wants to get hit, but then if you can heal him, then he's kind of, like, broken. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Paper cuts equal short-term disability. <laughs> I need to take some time off. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Oh, yeah, Steven, I'm so sorry. Yes, the new stuff, I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure I got through the rules and didn't get off track. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today as we play. I'll kind of look at the chat as I can. But uh, I see you got your news network stuff going. Uh, we got the Morning Star Chronicle news reports by Steve Chapman in the chat. So he's going to be reporting on scene, explaining what is happening here. Okay. Uh, good evening. This is the Morning Star Chronicles bringing you the daily scrolls with the local news and tales of the adventures of Rob, Mel, and Kyle. So anyone who doesn't know who didn't watch our Star Wars Imperial Assault playthroughs, Steven came in as the Galactic News Network and was reporting uh you know funny little updates as we were playing it's definitely entertaining yeah based on what we were doing what was happening in the so game i will try to read them all but i no guarantees i'm promising especially in the first episode of a game we've never played campaign mode there's a ton of rule changes i'm going to try to stay focused try to get us through the playthrough later in the campaign as we kind of ease ourselves in i'll get more loose and kind of you know read that stuff um but if you're watching in the future or in the chat um turn on the live archive and you can see steven's updates in the chat as we play um, and I'll try to read them later, too. All right. <laughs> Guys are funny. All right. So uh, let's get to it. I think we explained everything that's different. Now let's just play and we'll see how the campaign mode feels. And obviously it'll take a couple episodes because we'll have to go through a town phase and starting a new phase of bringing stuff forward. You know, kind of see how the campaign flows. Um, but yeah, so this is, let me get the scenario page out. So this is quest A, first investigation. Okay. Oh, I should probably check setup one sec. Just to make sure we did everything from the base game too. Um, oh, a life bringer token. Do we have a life bringer token? We, we get um, two, right? Yeah, two life bringer tokens. So those are the tokens. If somebody dies, you can spend them to bring someone back to life. Once we run out of those tokens and someone dies, we, we lose, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have two because we're playing three heroes. We only had one yesterday and we're playing two. Almost forgot those. But we're not going to die. No, I didn't we even think about them, so we're those. not going to die. Isn't it like you get knocked out? Or the yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Knocked out, yeah. Knocked out. And you come back with like three health, but you still have your mana you had yeah. left and whatever. Um, we shuffled all the decks. We've got the enemy miniatures here. We selected our quest. Um, we don't take any treasure tokens. We got our cards. We drew and spawned our mob. Just quickly looking through setup. We start in the bottom left of the board there. Uh, we got our starting mana. And darkness track is set up. And I think that's it for that. Then I'm going to go to the setup. And just make sure we got the campaign mode stuff. Uh, level token, so we got the right level token. Uh, the treasure bag, I already built it. The town dashboard is nearby, yep. 
campaign cards are nearby, the mobs and roaming monsters we used to cut the decks ready. We shuffled the new epic cards into the deck. We got the legendary item cards. Starting item cards we got, but in the future we won't do that step for the quest. We'll just have to make sure we have seven items to bring in future quests. Uh, we got our class components. We chose our skill. Remove the following door cards from the game. That was another thing I forgot to mention. So uh, we had to remove one, two, three, four, five, six door cards that you do not play with in campaign mode. Okay, and some of them we did see yesterday, I think. Um, as I was looking at them, I'm like, oh yeah, we did this one. Uh, the darkness track, we did the treasure tokens. And I think that is it. Okay. All right. First investigation. Ten years have passed since the quelling of the massive darkness invasion. The Lightbringer Company has established itself in Krondar as peacekeepers and champions of good. The Council of Krondar has f was formed by representatives from across the nations and prosperity reigns, but this fragile harmony will not last. Disturbing reports... Reports? <laughs> Disturbing reports have come to the Lightbringer Company out of the far reaches, telling of monsters and foul creatures appearing and harassing a nearby town. Rumors say that a portal appeared in the wilderness and from which the townsfolk suspect the beasts are emerging. Is that from the Upside Down? <laughs> a party of Lightbringers has been sent to investigate. That's us. That's us. We're the Lightbringers. And close the portal before any more damage can be done. So we got our tiles set up. Quest objectives. Complete the objectives in order. Two objectives. Objective one. Gather the scrolls. Objective two. Destroy the rift by closing the portal. Okay. Okay. Quest special rules. What are ritual scrolls, you say? In order to close the rift, players need the scrolls. These scrolls are represented by the objective tokens. Vanna, can you point out the objective tokens on the board for us, please? Objective one. Objective two. Thank you, Vanna. You're welcome. All right. Any hero may spend one movement point while standing in an objective token zone to gather the scroll. Scrolls may be traded like items. So that means you have to do like trade action or whatever, right? Uh, the rift. The rift is the portal token in the bottom most chamber is the rift. It does not follow the regular rules for portals. This portal token is only used to represent the rift. And again, for those that join late, I just put this little token on it to kind of remind us not to spawn mobs here. It's just there for us to mess with. And it says, closing the rift, any hero holding both scrolls may spend one action, not a movement point, one action, while standing in the rift's zone to destroy the rift. And then we win instantly, okay? Okay. So it doesn't say it's not an interact or anything. So I'm assuming you can do it even if you have enemies in your zone. Because you're just spending an action. It's not like movement points interacting with tokens on the board, but maybe you need to be. I don't know. But uh, we'll deal with that if that comes up. We'll look it up in the rules, see if we can find the answer. Side quest is called Nooks and Crannies. We should investigate the whole dungeon. We might find something interesting. So the condition for the side quest is reveal all chambers. So again, oh. chambers are like rooms in this game that are closed off by walls and have a door to get in, okay? So once you open a chamber, you spawn the room, that is us exploring that, we revealed that chamber. So it looks like there is, how many chambers, Vanna? Can you please point out the chambers one. for us? One, this is one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Okay, four, four chambers. chambers. All right. The reward, only if we win the quest. So if we do all that and we die, we don't get the side quest reward, but we would draw campaign card number eight. And anyone who's played a game with me that has achievements or on video games with trophies and, and Xbox achievements and stuff, I'm a sucker for that stuff. I love trying to push my, you know, my the risk, risk winning the game to try to get those achievements. Like in Madara, they have those in that board game. I love doing that yeah. stuff. Love it. So yeah. I'm, that's a nice, cool addition to the campaign scenarios is side quests. Super cool. So Hopefully, that's going to be something we'll work towards for sure. Yeah, probably every quest you'll <laughs> see me like, well, no, I want that campaign. Let's do it. I want yeah. the special reward, right? Because yep. we're not getting as much loot. So I'm assuming they put powerful stuff in the campaign cards right. to make up for you getting less loot in the campaign mode, yeah. maybe. Now, we don't ever do a side quest if we're going to lose. So we, yeah, we'll try our oh, best. Oh, we'll do it. If we lose, we just replay the quest. <laughs> uh, it's fine. All right, so our hero starting zone, Mel, you can point at it there. 
Uh, you've already pointed out the two objective tokens. We have a regular chest token on the board. And That's again, they work here. different in the campaign mode. We'll just, if you interact with it, we discard it and just draw one treasure token from the bag. Okay. Uh, the starting mob zone we already spawned. Uh, loot tokens, because we're playing three players, we put two loot tokens in each space that has loot tokens on the board. And remember, we pick those up as currency to spend in the town phase. So right now, if doors could change that, door cards could make more whatever, possibly. Um, but these uh, are the only six we see there. So we want to collect those. They're very important in the town phase to allow us to make up for not getting as much loot. We can then use it to buy loot or buy potions and things. Uh, in the town phase and gamble and all that kind of stuff. So, and I think when I was talking about chambers, I think I just said this, but this whole thing now that I'm looking yeah. is a whole chamber. Sorry yeah, about yeah. that. All right. Uh, what else? We got all the doors are on that. So again, anyone who didn't watch yesterday's stream, these doors are from like a zombicide black plague or green horde pledge way back in the day uh and they work perfectly fine for massive darkness too obviously uh, but they're way better than the crappy door tokens that came in the retail box so we're just using those uh we use them for like you know all the different zombicide games and stuff but uh yeah that's that's our door tokens and they can open they have a little open state where uh they kind of like click on the little nub there and then they're they're open for you and you can see them on the board so they're good for video i like them for video all right uh, and then we have our purple portal up here, which anytime on the track we get to a mob space, we will spawn a mob there. But we also have a green portal in our starting zone down there, so we will have two mobs spawn every time we hit a mob spot on the darkness track. But when we hit the roaming monster, we just spawn roaming monsters only at the purple. Okay. okay. And we have a spike trap that is randomized on the board so that I think they could do one wound, two wound, or no wounds, I think is what those do. But I get those confused with the bear trap ones too, which I think those make you lose actions or something. I think so. Um, and then we have two bridges, and bridges are here on the end. They are darkness zones, okay? And I think that is all we need to know. Just at quick glance looking... If we get into this chamber, we have a, an enemy. In this chamber, we have an enemy. In this oh, chamber, yeah, we have an enemy. Too, yeah. So I think this is the only safe chamber to open yeah. without an enemy. But, then again, but we're spawning, spawning right, right here. here. Yeah. So interesting. Oh, they had these same doors upgradable in this campaign too. Oh. <laughs> they just use the same ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Again, I looked at the Kickstarter, but that was so long ago, I don't remember what they even offered in it. I was like instantly like, nah, I'm going to play this game at retail, I'll just buy it later. I didn't want to spend all that money at Kickstarter time for a game I wasn't sure of, but uh, so far, so good. All right. Uh, Sercato, we're just starting the campaign. Yep. Just starting it. Okay. So we've explained all the campaign differences and we got ourselves all set up. Now it's the hero phase. We choose uh, who goes first every round. So this is that kind of game where it doesn't matter. It doesn't go around the table like in Zombicide or anything. Yeah, but it kind of makes sense for you to keep going first because you have those maybe things. Not always. Depending on what's happening. Right now, because I have none on the board, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because I can drop a movement one in our space, then we all get extra movement. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll go first. Uh, and then I'll spend one mana to place a Consecration token in a zone in line of sight that has no other Consecration tokens. So if you can put that one, this one says, heroes at the start of a move action in this zone gain one movement point, okay? Okay. And that didn't cost me an action, just cost me a mana to do that. I could do that before or after an action. So for my first action, since we have that side quest of opening doors, I probably would have forgot that first one and just left. But we need to get in there to get the objective. Yeah. Oh, I can see Oh, that. sorry, yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. the no, door. No, it's okay. I, I can look up on the screen. Well, I'm dumb. But yeah, sorry. Shift the door. Oh, but this one. This one I might ignore, right? You know? But then yeah. it's like... Now, right. if you did open the door... Oh, I will. So okay, because I, I can shoot range so in after. So, uh, first action, Kyle, if you can open the door for my first movement point. I have three. Okay, now we're going to spawn the room, so if you can remove, uh, pass Mel that little helmet token there, and then we'll draw our... Do the door first, sorry. Oh, door sorry, card, yes, 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 door card, door card. A portal door. Spawn one mob on any portal players choose. Okay, well, so I feel like we do it on the farthest, right? Up here? Okay, so oh, let's can, do that. choose the purple portal? Well, it's this portal or this portal. Uh, do you want them I on thought us? Only, only, like, the Roman guys came out of that one. No, regular no. guys can too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that fine? Is that... Okay with you guys? Sure, I don't want them on my spot. All right, it's oh. going to be the Fallen Angels. 
who have two health each. They roll two blue defense dice, and when they are attacking, for every claw, they reduce one of your blocks. Okay. And then, Kyle, and then you can draw a weapon for them, just like you did the last ones there. So again, because we're playing three players, or three heroes, we need to do three minions in every group and one leader. So it's more than yesterday when we only had this two. This is already going to be a challenge. I'm already starting to... Yeah, we could to... spawn right next to us and just like fight them. But we're going to have enemies spawn right here, yeah, too. Yeah, so, so then that we'll enemy like... is going to be... Our new mobs from the expansion, the campaign expansion, right. are the Corrupted Angels. Oh, I thought they were good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, right. I didn't know. So they have one defense die, two health. And when they defend, so when you're attacking them, every claw they get, they place one mana on the closest other enemy. That enemy rolls plus one yellow die per mana on its next attack. Whoa. Then discard all mana tokens on that enemy. So these guys need to die first. Wow, things Just escalated. Well, there's a leader and then three oh my. And then minions. What, what's their weapon? What, how are they attacking? Please don't say they can range attack us in there. Uh, nope. Okay, so melee. Melee. Yeah. Okay, so I get rid of this. Everyone is melee. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, and then we do not replace those loot tokens with treasure tokens because we're playing campaign mode. But we can pick them up when there's no more enemies in that space. All right, so that was my first movement point. I'm gonna run around behind, open that door, grab the thing, and then <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> see you. <laughs> no, I'll probably just um, spend a mana. And I'm just gonna go. You guys attack range. I right? attack at range. I can attack melee, and but I'll attack. I'll magic, attack. Right, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. So we can attack from the space we're in. The only problem is it's a light space, so we don't get the cool shadow die. You know. But I could give us extra rerolls in that space, or. Hmm. Kyle, you could move in with me. We can fight in the darkness against them. Mm hmm. And I can make the space where they, the enemies are, I can make that one, you know, a uh, consecrated space that gives us extra rerolls in combat. I oh. also can go oh, in. I totally forgot at the start of the round to bless this, which will give us extra hit too. Sorry, totally forgot to bless. So at the start of each round, I can bless one of my little skills. Totally forgot. And then at the end of the round, I flip it back. Uh, I'm, I forget that's a thing because they're hidden on the back of the cards. And not every class has things on the back of their cards. I also do have melee, so I can go in and, and okay. do melee without I, doing I think my I want to do that uh, arrows. It benefits more of us. So yeah. if you can put that in the space with the monsters there, you can put two in. And no, in the we, space in, with the monsters. Yes, yeah, in the other space. It's in a separate space. Uh, uh, okay, I spent another mana to do that. Okay. okay so then, oh, sorry, I would have had to do that before after an action. I'm not done my action. Oh, yet. so you want to move in first? So move me in first, yes, and this then I'll you? say once I'm done my movement. We still have one movement left. But I can't spend it and you lose it once you've done the action. There's none of that move and attack and then move again in this game. You'd have to do separate actions. So you didn't need to do that blue one then. But for you guys, uh, you might want to use it. If these guys are clear, somebody could use that oh, to yeah. like move in and have inter extra interaction. You're right. Or someone can move to like open the door, you know? You're right. Okay. Depending on what's going on. I just figured I might as well since our starting space. Like. Yeah, no, no, no. That's fair. Because you could also leave it there when we, and we can come back out this way, right? And yeah, get maybe. The, if we start there. All right, so I am going to start by attacking them for my second action. So I get a yellow die because it's melee. I get a purple because we're in the dark. So I'm building my dice pool. Um, they have three minions in there, so that's three black dice. Oh my this God. is so bad. They do roll one defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably shouldn't be this gung-ho right off the beginning, but... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else to do, but like we can't let the mobs overwhelm us and just because there's like already so many have spawned, so like it's gonna get crazy. So the faster we kill them, the faster we get their loot and level up and all that kind of stuff. So And just to note, Tiny was saying that when Tiny plays he spawns them close so that he can kill them quickly and then get their loot, but I just worry yeah, yeah. that Absolutely. we had guys are knowing that we were gonna have guys here yeah, and here. That's fine. Yeah, we're learning. But Okay. Um, and they just roll one defense? Yeah, it's just one. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's only the angel four. Oh, the problem is these guys are going to do that whole mana thing. But if we kill them all before, it doesn't matter. No, but they... Well, the closest other Yeah, but they're going to do it when, on this if I roll claws. Oh, yeah. Can I see that for one? Sorry, just yeah, that card? closest other enemy. Oops, yep. sorry, but isn't it when they attack that? Please? It's on defense, no, it says. Yeah, it's just one every... All right, well, yeah. I got one. Yeah, but it's, sorry, but their attack, it's only on their attack back that they're going to roll a yellow. So on their attack, 
Well, it, yeah. no, no, no. But Mel, they're triggering this ability. We don't want them to trigger the whole set and none of this stuff. And they do it when they're defending. So right now for that claw, they will trigger this and we don't want them to do that. But it's going to happen no matter what. By kill, by attacking them, it's going to happen. By letting them attack us, it just doesn't fire off ever. But the way I read this, it says place a mana token no, on the But don't even read that far. Just stop right here. It, on defense, one claw, then you do it. I know, but... But we don't, we don't want them to do it. But can I just say what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. says place one mana on the closest other enemy, mm -hmm. period. And then yep. it says that enemy rolls one yellow die mm -hmm. per mana mm -hmm. on its next attack. Mm -hmm. If yeah. there's no enemies left. Well, but no, it'll be it, this yeah, it's enemy. The it's the closest enemy. Yeah, but again, so if we can't. Do you think we're going to kill all these guys before they come and attack us rolling a whole bunch of yellow dice? Possibly. But okay, I see your saying, but, saying, it but happened, okay. It happened. I don't know it how we keep track of that. But I do have rerolls, re thankfully. Rolls, but I don't know how we keep track of that. So like a, we have, mana, we have tokens. mana tokens. We'll just put them on the card. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So anyways, I, like? I, I get rerolls. So let me continue my roll here. So uh, I ignore this because that is my ability right here. So that's ignored. Okay. I'm going to spend uh, I'm going to spend a reroll to on uh, my combat reroll here to reroll that claw. Okay. And it's a scratch and a claw. I'll spend the other reroll here on attack to reroll it again. And it's a blank. Okay, so there we go. So we don't fire off that ability. We don't have to add mana to these guys' cards, which make them worse when they come and hit us. Mm -hmm. um, and then they block my two hits, yeah. but I have an extra hit here because I'm using this ability. So one damage will get through. I earn two mana. Card, yeah. Boom. And so that is it. So for my second action, I will just attack again. Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so I'll use one reroll on this claw. I'll use a reroll on the claw. Okay. So we add a mana token to the fire guys card. Okay. Because they're the closest enemy. And then I have four, five damage I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add five damage. So how many health each unit? Two. Two. So that will kill all three minions, right? Because they already yes, have they one already damage. Have one. Yep. Oh, yeah, they already have one. Okay, so okay. all three minions are gone. Every time a figure leaves the board, the person who caused their removal gets a, an experience for them. So I just earned three XP. When the leader goes away, whoever takes out that leader gets an experience, plus an additional two for everyone else in the part in the party. So that, I think, is my turn done. Flippity flip my token. Now you guys can decide which one of you two will go and go do and you, kill that thing. Do you want to go sure. first? Because you can go in and attack melee. Now I would argue I one of you right just here. attack from where you are, and then you can get the extra movement points from my consecration that's in that light space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, you could use that to move in and pick up more loot tokens and maybe even get the objective, but you can't... I can do that if you have want, use, because you, I have... You have to use the movement right away? Or you, I thought you didn't get a movement point. So like, but you, I, you have to spend that action. Once that action is done, you lose any remaining movement points. You have to spend the action as your first action? Like you, I'm starting my turn. So you have there. three actions on a turn. Yeah, if yeah. you pick movement for one of them, you earn the two movement points, but three in this case... You now have, can spend them however you want, but once you're done that movement action and you go to attack or something else, you lose whatever points you didn't use. I thought because I'm starting there, I'm banking the movement point. There's no banking. You, can, you use oh, that you thought for the, your token. He's yeah, banking. I thought for the token, oh, I'm no, no, banking no. the movement. No. So I can like move and attack and then I can do like another movement. It says heroes that start a move action oh, in this oh, zone oh, gain plus one movement. movement. So there's the oh, I so I can if you want I could so go Mel, Mel first. So Mel range or I you fight, fight at range. Yeah, the so, same. It's one. But I also have four, I have four movement points, including his, because I get an additional movement point on my turn. So whichever so one I you could, can do more stuff wants to have that enemy gone mm -hmm. before you start your move, so you can actually do Two, more things. Three, four. I can get into here. After that enemy's gone. But again, somebody else could also move from that space, go open this door, and then spawn this enemy and start that all up. But I, I don't recommend that. Because again, you guys aren't really frontline fighters at this point. But neither am I really. All right. Do, 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 Want me to go first? Sure. Okay. I'm going to attack at range. Oh, yeah. You can't use arrow cards. At, at You have to be using the range attack to use your arrow cards. Yes. Yes. Right? So... That was the thing. If I was going in and getting his bonus, I wouldn't worry so much about the arrow cards, but from here I'll just attack 
range. So I will flip my arrow cards. I'll do my dice pool. I will roll one yellow, rolls no black, and one defense. Okay. German Campuzano says, hey, greetings from Paraguay. Love you all, guys. Love you, oh, too. Oh, we love you, too. Love you, too, from Canada. <laughs> okay, so first arrow is two. I'll keep going. We got two more, so we have four. Come on, three. One, oh, five. I like to stop at five. So Matthew just has a question before you yeah. walk that in. How was Rob able to move in and attack twice? So you get three actions on a turn, or am I messing that no, up? No, you're right. Three actions, yep. Three actions per turn. So I did a movement, which earned me two movement points, but actually three for my ability. So I opened a door, I moved in, I lost the third movement point. Then my second action, I attacked. And my third action, I attacked again. I'm going to stop at five. I don't want to bust. <laughs> so right now I have they have minus one defense. I ignore the wound, and I can spend one mana for an extra hit. So we'll stop at five. Okay. That's not bad. So I have two. I ignore their defense. I have two. He needs four to die? You ignore one block, right? Or no, ignore one block, yeah. Sorry, he needs. Oh, he only needs oh. two to die. Yeah, yeah, they're all the same. He leaders. And, oh, yeah, he only needs one. Wait, but this was. A oh no, you didn't clear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clear that. So it's two. So he's two. dead. I don't even need to spend. I don't need to Correct. spend the mana or anything. Okay, Perfect. he's just dead. So kill him off the board. Uh, pass him over the angel. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about where it's difficult to track because this guy has this. We just have to know that this ability is that. Yeah. Because we're taking this card. We'll remember. Well, it's yeah, not that it's, bad. It's, no, but it just goes with this card pile. But which we'll see. I'll just put over here. So That's I will all. get one XP. You guys will both get. So, or we all get yeah, so two. The, whoever kills the figure gets XP. That's always. So she gets one. Uh -huh. But then because the mob got finished, we all get two, including her. Mm -hmm. Doesn't so, matter what space we're in. It's just correct. Yep, everyone, everywhere. Just oh. to kind of balance the leveling up. So if one so, person's yeah, if one killing person everything. Doing all the killing. Everyone still gets something. That's cool. So take two experience cow by moving your little peg across there. So I'm at five. Halfway to level. Oh, I'm up. at three. All right. Uh, Mel also gets this at the enemy drops. Oh. So, and if we're in the same space as her, she could give it away if she doesn't want to take it, which is super cool in this game. You don't have to do a trade action. That's cool. So anytime you get something new, if someone else is in the space and you don't want it, you just give it to them. And then anytime you get something, you can re-equip. I do have a two-handed item, so this is not going to work for me. You also do as well, right? I do, yeah. <sighs> okay, well, but I can again, just hold it. we can it. trade these in in town or whatever, mm -hmm. so... She, can she, like, throw in her backpack? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And you have unlimited, like, go crazy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'll just take them to town so and sell them So my backpack is just hidden under there. Okay. That's cool. Well, that that is what it is. So you've just done attack once. Yep. So I still have you two still, more actions. Okay. My plus, next action plus the free move. I'm gonna. Well, that's that's part of my action, move action. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do move action. So I get a free movement from myself, plus a free movement from Rob. So I'm gonna so get a total of four points. movements. And I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go in here. You gonna run all the way over to here? Uh, no, I'm just. Now, is there any play of not everybody picking up all the tokens? Nope. I know we can Wait, trade when we're them. we're in town, it's a it's group. Just a group it just, one? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, can she see through the door? Totally if I open it. If it's open. I know, but, but I'll let them extra, come closer first. Extra movement. Well, well so, I can pick those up so just to save. Here, so there's lots of options here. So I yeah, could no, move in. Just talking it through. And then I still have three more actions. I could pick up a token, pick up a token, and then move to the objective. But again, or objective, the same person has to have both objective tokens to do this. So who is most likely to be here? Otherwise, we have to waste like trade actions to swap them back and forth and stuff. I do have the most movement. So True. I don't know if that's... Yeah, you could be the one to run ahead. I can leave those other tokens for yeah, someone else to carry. You can carry them for now. In worst case, we just have to try to trade them off you if like, things are going bad or something. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, I'll pick this up. Pick this up. Yeah, let's get them all. And then I will move. So that's my four movement points. I still have one more action, which I will trigger move, and I will grab this. There's no XP or anything, right? When we no, nope. it's in six. Nothing okay. that I read. No. Okay, so I'll grab the objective. No, they're stingy with XP. I think too. I think we only get it if we like we win. I think it dishes out more XP. Maybe. I'm debating actually opening the door. Yeah. So that when these guys of come course. my next turn, I don't have to waste an action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's open this door so I can see out and f fire at these guys. Yeah, also absolutely. from the darkness. So. Oh yeah. Can get my yeah, arrow through there. Yeah, just hook the door on top of the wall. <laughs> okay. So, so that is my turn. I'll flip that to say that I'm done. Um. Wow. Okay. So Kyle, yes. I'm thinking of like going. Oh, remember your start of your turn uh, thing. Don't forget. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, do that right now. <laughs> Don't forget, we're going to remind you, because it's like, if you're not doing it, we're losing. 
Because you need that. You need that those resources. Peach is asking, how long is range Fire? attack? As unlimited. Unlimited. As far as you can yeah. see, without a door or a wall blocking. Yeah. You. The only thing with blocks line of sight in this game is walls and closed doors. It's not even as complicated as Zombicide. Like you can see, like straight line infinity, unless unless the item says otherwise. So this one says I can't perform attacks beyond range two with this range weapon uh, because it's a spear, obviously. So there are if it's if it breaks that rule, it'll tell you on the card. But they've kept it super simple, which like is more fun, right? Just the like line of sight rules being basic. It's good for this kind of game. Mm -hmm. So sorry, what were you thinking you were gonna... I was thinking of just opening this door. Just be, be wary of what this, whatever is in this room may but hit you, you but away. you can move away. They right, only I mean, move two otherwise, spaces. Otherwise, what else would I be doing? I'm just like... Correct. Yeah, sorry. the rear, just One, like... One, two... Like, we have a timer on the game, the but, like, it's many, yeah. many rounds. You also could move, that's, open the door. Yeah, that's just one See action. See what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, free move, and then my actual move. And, and then, then movement then point for the door. Final movement point for the door. I'm sorry, the door first. Oh yeah, I always forget That's okay. the doors. That's okay. So this is the first time opening a room, you draw a door. Not every time you open a door, okay? This should be called chamber cards, not door cards, okay? First time you spawn a chamber, you draw it. There's multiple people yesterday that thought you draw one every time you open a door. That is not how it works, okay? Repair room. The active hero may keep this card until the end of the quest and discard it when defending to gain defense. Plus one blue die. And whenever it says something like attack, defense, or combat, you actually can trigger this after your roll, before you start resolving faces oh, on the cool. dice. So you can yeah, you so can decide. see what happens yes. first. So that's key. Don't uh, don't start cool. just throwing extra dice in for no reason. That's good, since you're going to have an enemy standing right in front of you here. Also, Edward, Edward has a question. Do friendly figures or um, enemies no. block line of sight? No. no. No figures block any line of sight. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You shoot right through people. Yeah, you can go nuts in this yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> this is not sword and sorcery. They didn't go like nitty gritty, fiddly, and all the rules, and you know, add sixteen pages for line of sight. This is just like trying to be a fun beer and pretzel dice chucking dungeon crawler, like Zombicide one point five. Like this is, you know, they they simplified a lot of the rules uh, compared to other dungeon crawlers we play on the channel for sure. But I mean, for some groups, that you need that, right? That's like this is how we bring people and trick them into the hobby to play other dungeon crawlers with us. <laughs> hey Kyle. Have we tricked you? Yeah, I'm still yep. waiting for those pretzels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, next week, next we, week. We did it with Zombicide with Kyle. We showed Zombicide to Kyle as like a dungeon crawler. We got Hook throwing dice, moving around, line of sight, killing things, searching for loot. And yeah. uh, now he's here playing like other other uh, dungeon crawlers like Star Wars Imperial Assault and stuff. And Descent Legend of the Dark. All right, so the mob is Infernal Imps. Three health each. Roll one blue die for defense. Uh, on defense, if they roll uh, for each claw they roll, they kill one imp, so one of them dies. Then they deal one wound to each hero in the attacker zone, but only once per roll. So they're like little suicidal imps. It's not okay. bad, actually. You want to take that and then draw an item card for them and tell us what type of attack they have or whatever dice they roll? Not treasure. I keep thinking. I know, treasure. I know. It's like uh, a mob oh, item. They're, it they're, is treasure. They're ranged and melee. Oh. So they're flexible. Uh, I still think I might just... Try and attack them. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So my attack is one yellow. Okay. Their defense is one blue. And they have three of these yep. little guys. So yep. That's three black. And I'm you're in, in the shadow. dark. Yeah. You're in the shadow or darkness. Keep this or little two faced guy up because I'm going to roll that. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Successful okay. Geek, sorry, one sec. Successful Geek says, I kind of regret not backing this. I backed Zombicide undead or alive. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, as my first Zombicide. Okay, as your first Zombicide, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. I thought you were going to say is like my 16th Zombicide. No, no, no. Uh, but this, yeah, I would recommend after playing a ton of Zombicides, uh, this is better than Zombicide. This is like, I would recommend this any day of the week over any Zombicide I've ever played. And that is all the modern ones, uh, all the fantasy ones and the invader but again i've not played zombicide 2.0 i've not played undead or alive i've not played night of the living dead i've not played marvel zombies uh and i don't think i ever want to play any of those games i honestly never want to touch any of them maybe marvel zombies because like you know we like other marvel games and marvel characters but i would never buy that stuff through a kickstarter campaign you're just throwing money down the toilet for not extra value. Just buy the games at retail, support your local game store. You get more than enough in the box to play through before you get bored of these games. 
because all that stretch cool stuff does not add value to gameplay at all based on my experiences with other campaigns I went all in on or all in gameplay on. It's just extra unplay tested garbage that they, they put in those boxes. I said it. And that's from experience. That's my personal opinion, obviously, but but again. If you don't own a zombicide, don't buy that. Buy Massive Darkness 2, in my opinion, assuming you like the theme. But again, if you like the Walking Dead theme, go buy like a zombicide and play with zombies. That's totally fine. But uh that's that's my rant. Anyway, sorry, Kyle, go ahead. All good. Uh, I believe this is everything. I think, I, so. think so. I think so. We're not even like sure. I'm building dice pools 100%. We've done it so many times. But it's like sure it you have to check so many things. Oh, oh that's, that's a amazing. good oh, but roll on the black dice. Out. But, but are you in a? Oh no, you're not in my zone with three rolls. So you but what have do you have any? on your abilities? So now, so do you? Can you spend fire and wind to add an no, orange? Because you can do that now. I only have one fire. You didn't get any mana, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, because you could have taken the mana and then fired yeah. off an ability and stuff. I've got no rerolls, nothing. You have this that you can use. Oh yeah, you oh, can yeah. get a mana from I, that. I get one mana. And then bump that. up your bar. Yeah. No, 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 no. Bump up your bar, and then you can spend the get extra oh, die. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's attack. Oh, it's attack yeah, so gain my mana. Staff. When I do an attack, I get one mana. So yeah, I I can buff up. Uh, yeah, I can do the wind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I, with my basic spells, I'm spending them. Yep. yep during yep. an attack to get one orange. This is orange, right? Yep. Yep. Are you are you colorblind? No. Oh, okay, just, just checking. I thought orange was like. Didn't orange come in the extra expansion? No, no that was red, red and green. green. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't I'm know like, that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah okay. they, they only added the Christmas dice the Christmas in the expansion. Oh, okay. 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 Think of it I wasn't that way. sure because I know that Justin has <laughs> trouble with no, colors. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I thought, We're used to playing I with colors. I thought it said orange, but yeah, it was red. Okay. Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh. So I need to put this consecrated zone down anywhere Kyle's attacking because he needs reroll. Be one of those nights for okay. Kyle. Yeah, it was. I mean, those three I black mean, dice uh, were were great. Terrible. Okay, so that was my <laughs> first attack. <laughs> now I there's can... a play here where you either attack again or you move. Or just yeah, where am I gonna go? Just back where I was. So I'm if you, range. yeah, because right now you're in range, they're gonna attack you twice. Mm -hmm. If you, because they get two actions. If you move, move one, back to the two, <laughs> they're, then they're going to move out one. They can't get you. Two, so you're not going to get well, attacked. No, but we but... would choose where they're going because oh, yeah, you would true. be the same distance that Kyle would be at. True, true. Kyle's better to just run back into your space so that he can oh, fire yeah. from darkness at, at least if they get one. Oh, yeah, because we can put them there. I forgot about you can go that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we can. Sure. Because then he's at least he's staying forward in the scenario too, like and not backtracking. Yeah, true. And can, then Rob can pick that can, up. Yeah, can you give me that now? I can take it anytime. Um, take it back, and it'll remind me that I need to put it down somewhere. Also, uh, one, two, and then one, two. Can you also give me the green one? Yeah. I'll take that back too. Sorry, just reading. Keith. Yeah, read it. Says, Go ahead. If you're colorblind, you only get one set of seven dice in the expansion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, that sucks. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, tiny, you, you. Tiny, get out of here. <laughs> and I hate throwing me money. Yeah, right. <laughs> you had mentioned about the pretzels that we didn't serve you pretzels today. Do you like pretzels, honestly, or no? No, it's just Rob mentions it. No, 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 I'm just asking. Pretzels, but I, That's just a like, common term in, for like, like a, a non complicated yeah, I know, I know, but I'm game. saying like in like 14 years, I don't think I've ever been served pretzels, but it's all good. Do you like pretzels? As I'm asking you a serious uh, question. Because okay, okay. we could possibly have a serving of pretzels no, no, for no, you no, next no. week. I didn't get all salty and <laughs> so Put them on the list. Okay, okay, just check it. I just didn't want to buy them then. You're like, I don't even like pretzels. pretzels. Not everybody well, likes pretzels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can just put them in your mouth and let them uh, yeah. soggy up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just the slow crunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just suck on them. <laughs> Dana says, so you got beer? You got beer, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. I got the beer That's covered. We got beer servings. So Steven saying, uh, this is a scroll update. Our heroes have begun. They journ the journey and they begun the journey and wait angels working with demons. What's going on? How can holy warriors be corrupt? What a massively dark world we live in. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Massive dark. Oh, oh, massive darkness. These pretzels. Damn, that's exactly what I was thinking. These pretzels are making me thirsty. I gotta say it like this. <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. Okay, where are we at? You have one more action. Oh, you're done. I'm done. I joined you. All you right. joined me. Okay, you, you flip, flip your token? token. I don't know where your token is. I don't know. This this guy. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. That's your activation yeah, sure. token. I'll put it there. That's how we know if we talk with chat for a while. We go. Who hasn't gone yet? 
and we don't know. All right, uh, so next is the mobs. They go. We can do activate them in any order we want if it mattered. Uh, but you can probably just yeah. I go think we're just quickly. gonna go. These guys are gonna so go. Two actions. One, each mob gets. They can't but, attack. Oh, sorry. Yeah. First, they, they want to attack. Best? If they can't attack, they'll move, yep. and they're going for the closest hero. And we're gonna say that's this. And if there's a tie, players choose. Okay. Then these guys, they're gonna come down this line yep. as well. And they ignore the spike One, trap. Two. Look at this line of enemies we have. Yeah. What's well, this domino effect? Two, we'll knock the first enemy three, back three. into the other enemies, and they'll all fall over. This one's stuck to my finger. Okay. Wow. That's um. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a nice little That's mob awesome. train. Nice little mob train we got going on there. Okay, at least for uh, me at range, I can shoot all the way down. So yeah. it might be smarter for you when when it's our turn for you to go first to try to kill some in the first line. Then I can start on the next. True. Right or something. But anyway, I can so we'll also continue. attack at. Uh, oh yes. Uh, up to two range away. Yeah. So then I maybe I go last in this. Rob first. Oh, anyway, sorry. We got to do the enemy phase. Enemy phase is done. Well, I think Kyle, I think Kyle first because he can only do up to range one. I can do up to range two. Yeah. yeah but, uh, oh, are you putting any of these down? No, yeah, sorry. So now we'll, oh, so we yeah. did. If I go first, that would actually be better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me do Nobody that. can level up, right? Oh, yeah. Level up. I only have five XP. Five, we need three. Ten. Nope. Uh, okay. Darkness phase. We'll move this token and nothing happens. Okay. And then in the darkness phase, we flip our uh, activation tokens back to the active side. And then you want me to go first? Well, I'm just yeah, saying makes it sense. Makes I totally sense. forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll spend one mana. Let me drop uh, the combat one into uh, that space on the edge there. And then. Oh, it's actually you have to move in there. I know, so I won't get much going off here, but. Well, I mean, you could put the blue one in your space. No, it's, no, no. <laughs> no, no. It's not free. I still have to do a move action. All oh, right. Yeah, I don't Bob. have that free. So let me just move. I'll just do one movement point to move in. You got it, you got it. Okay, so that's my first action. Then I'll do two combats, most likely. Uh, so let's build my dice pool, if you don't mind. A yep. yellow. Then the, that's Three the first blacks, one. I'll do the first one. Purple. And then they roll one defense for the imps? Yeah. Yes. And then if... I don't know if you want them to kill themselves, but... Yeah, well, yeah we yeah. do. Because yeah. there's no one in their zone to hit, right? So this is the best time to do that range. We want to do it before they get in our space. Like yeah, right now. Two of them. Okay, Interesting. So I'm. That doesn't. That text doesn't auto do it, right? Or you had some text. That. I ignore one wound. But, they, but does it automatically do it? Yeah. Oh, you well, know. I can say I'm doing it, but I want to do it. Like okay. I don't want to take the scratch. I no, want the no, claw. But it's optional if you want to trigger. Yeah. Because okay. it's just attack colon. So I choose after rolling dice, you can start firing off anything that says attack colon or combat colon. Got it. Uh, all right. Well, that's a lot of swords on the purple die. Mm -hmm. So I would like to re-roll this one. Okay. Because we only need one claw, because they only do that claw effect once yep. per roll. So I would like to get rid of the, the this one, but uh, I didn't. So I will re-roll it again. And I didn't. So I will lose one health, because I, I can only ignore one wound. And then you ignore this one. Yeah. And then uh, I'll take a mana. Okay. Okay, and then we'll do their claw effect thing. So, so kill one, and I so gain an XP. So you gain XP. Yep. Okay, and then and they then, block one hit, oh, but three go through. But we all get wounded. What does it say, Only sorry? in their space. Or is it where I'm attacking from? In the attacker's zone. Oh! Deal one wound to each hero in the attacker's zone. Okay, Once well, we all take a hit then. One hit? Yep. Yeah, one hit. That's fine. So, four. One, two, three, totally fine. Whatever. four. Yep, that's fine. Can't heal if we haven't lost health. All right. Um, and then can you deal them three damage, which I think just kills one of them? Yeah. They're three health? Yeah, they're three. So just take one off the board, so I get another XP going up to seven. And then I think you still have two more hits. Because you have one on here and then one more. Uh, but well, one gets blocked. Oh, one gets blocked. So, sorry, Yeah, sorry. sorry, one more damage. So put one, one damage token on their card. Oh, I forgot the defense. So that next minion is two health away from dying. So I will do my second attack. Which now I only have know. one black die because there's only one minion left. Oh, so exactly mm -hmm. that is what you're rolling. And yes. Uh, oh, wow. I will reroll the purple. Mm -hmm. I will reroll the purple. <laughs> okay, so three hits. Uh, so that will kill the minion, and one hit will spill over to the, the leader. So just put that damage back. Another XP for you? Oh. Right, so three full, which will be the yeah. two left yeah, over, yeah. and then one spills yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. So I, I get I another XP. And 
I think. Do I want to put one of these down before I end my turn? Yes, I do. I'm going to spend a mana, and then I put this red one down so heroes who start their activation in that zone uh, can heal one. Oh, hmm. awesome. All right, and... Yeah, that guy just needs two more hits, eh? That's all I really... Oh yeah, sorry, I don't insert my activation there. Um, okay, I'm done. Boom, go. Okay, I think Kyle goes next. Right? Sure. Yeah, this is the problem with me going first was I clear out that guy, but you yeah. might have to move forward to do some more damage, but... It's fine. I mean, okay. But I can shoot through. I'll, I'll attack that guy. And one black one, and one... I, it's... I'm so oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I can't have two Consecrations in the same zone. Thank you, thank Which you. Which one you want to remove? The red, the red. red? The heal one. Yep, sorry. Okay. Unheal if you heal, Kyle. No. I so didn't. sorry, I broke a rule. I broke a rule. Uh, I but just, you do this yeah, first, no, do this no, first. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Just, just, Has to be a separate zone, right? Um, and I don't want to take the combat one away yet, because I want Mel to use it and Kyle to use it. still doing so. one of these, right? Even though he's uh, like the last big no. guy, or no? Nope, those are not doing nope. that. Just the defense for him. Okay. Yeah, I got a mana. So bump up so your bar. You can, yeah. Like one of your bars. Uh, I'll do the wind. Where you could now spend that to add an orange die if you wanted. But you don't need to if you want to just keep trying to go up your tracks to like get one of those. Like the extra yellow die would be like pretty amazing if you want to just push hard for that. I know, but I can potentially just kill him now. Because like this cancels out, right? Yep. So the long term eventually. But you couldn't do that in we'll the have orange blank. monsters on the board and they have way yeah. higher health. But it's your call. But yeah, it makes sense. You'll get well, some good XP for it, for killing the leader. Do it. But yeah. then I could try and roll again, and I might get a better purple roll. Yeah, true. Yeah. You get two re-rolls, and you have a free hit. You have a free hit. Oh, Don't I get forget a, that. I get two re-rolls right now? Yeah, because you're attacking, you get a re-roll, and you're in uh, you're in this zone, right? Yeah, you're in my re green zone. And you can do one at a time and yeah, see what do, happens. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll this then. Ooh. Oh, another mana. Oh, did you already spend a mana, though? I spent this one. Okay, so you can't re-roll that one. Unless you choose not to Unless spend, spend it first. Unless you spend not to. Because oh, once you've yeah. activated the dice, you, you can't re-roll. Undo what you spent. Undo well, the spend. Okay. Unless you are just going to take it for that and pretend we didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Order well, matters. Nothing, matters. nothing happened. I just moved this up. So yeah, yeah. Just undo it. That's I fine. Didn't realize I couldn't re-roll. No, that's okay. Yeah. Well. After oh, yeah, you... and you got a mana from your weapon. And you can do that any time. You can do it all in any order, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. All in any order. Okay, so mana from my weapon. Sure, that's up. So now you can still re-roll anything you want then. I will re-roll this, because I've already re-rolled that. I'll re-roll this. You can re-roll that again if you want. No, that's fine. I'll re-roll this. Ooh, Ooh, he's dead. Super okay. dead. So I didn't spend that mana yet. Right? Right. I never spent it. I'll spend it now. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. two, and he's dead. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you get you get that loot underneath him. And you also get Cross. three total XP. One for the figure that's removed from the board, and then two extra because it was the final leader in the group. Plus we, we all each two. get two. So Can three, I look? Are so three plus two, right? Yep. Seven? No, three, not three plus two. Right. You said I got two, and then I got three. You get one, uh, three and then total. you get three. Three total. Oh, okay. One for the figure, two for the... Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you look at what? The crossbow, because if you're not taking... I'm just curious if so, you're taking it. Because we're all in the same space, so yeah. any one of us could Nine, take this I if like you don't range. want it. Oh, it's the same. Oh, it's a one-handed range, see? though. Yeah. We need oh, one-handed no. range. Oh, one-handed, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah so if, if you're not going to use that, are you okay I steal yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Okay, it. thanks. Okay. And I can't right now equip this. Can I have to do an... I have to do an action, I think, to I put mean, that in. yeah. What were you going to say? You want this? Not right now, no. But I, I could take your other one. It's better than this, but I don't need to. I can do a trade, because I think fine, I can do fine, a trade fine. to equip this one. Oh, right so, no. no. I'll do it on my turn. Unless you want to do it as an action, then all, all of us I've can. Done is two attacks. Remove the guy that you killed, please. He's, he's oh, yeah. stressing me out. <laughs> yeah. the board. I did, I did two he's going to blow up and kill us all. So, so you have one more action. If you want to stay there with us, you could just activate a trade, which will activate the whole room and we can all just move move well, items. For me. I just didn't know if you where you were going. <laughs> Don't have to do it. Okay. There is somewhere you were what going. Else you what do you want to do in a trade? You just want to. I'll equip, equip this and give this to Rob. Yeah. So oh, then I have I have so more than range sure, too, but sure. it's I'll, whatever. I'll do a trade. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, but, so I'll put that here and I'll give that to you. You can still have that. I don't need yay. it. Yay. Unless Kyle wants it. Oh, but then you wouldn't have yeah, something well, gaining you mana every oh, time. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. That's true. I'll just initiate. And yours is two-handed. Yeah, it's yeah, so you wouldn't be able to equip this on yourself. Yeah, so now I have now I can roll two 
Oh, I can only roll that on melee, but even so. Karsten, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. All right. But always on attacks I can ignore, so that's good. Okay, I'm... Um, oh. Okay. Then? Perfect. Okay, me. I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to attack range, first on the fire. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, sorry. Before I finish. Yeah. This doing this is an action? No, unless it says action colon. Okay, so I could... So it's two fire plus one wind equals roll one orange die. Deal yes. wounds equal to the damage to each enemy within magic range plus one. Yep, so mm -hmm. you hit those fire guys, yeah. Per fire? Per fire. So you do all the wounds that you roll, but then you would do additional wounds on them if you if they had fire on them, which they, they don't. fire, which they don't. But it would still do wounds possibly up to... But I could just trigger this now. You Can could. I see it? Can I see it? So it's better if they have the fire tokens, which they don't. No, okay, so no, no, no. This says deal wounds equal to the hits on the orange die you roll to yeah. each enemy in magic range, comma, plus one extra oh, hit. Oh, I see the way you were reading, yeah. Per fire up to a max on the target. So there's oh, no one so you in need to be magic closer. range, yeah. You need to be close. But I could trigger now if they were in range. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't, it's like yeah. extra, it's a free action. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah, it doesn't take up one of your okay. three actions. Okay. Doesn't Mel want that spear? Why? No, I don't think she does. No, I don't think so. I want. Oh yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because then on range, you oh, can do two. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't need that. Yeah. Do you want that? Yeah. Whatever. Or I'll just hold it. I back. see. I see. Oops. That's sorry. Cool. Yeah. Because so... then on range, I want to yell. Yeah. Thanks, Peach. Yeah. Yeah. We got there. Oh, but then I can't or... perform attacks beyond range two. Well, mm. so how does that work? You would just, you would still use this. You just roll one instead of two, and yeah. then if they're within you, then you. Okay, two. yeah, I get, uh, yeah. Still better. I still think. better. Okay. Most of the time, they'll be only that far away. It's not that. Yeah. They're going to be shooting down hallways all the time. And this scenario, so it gives you the answer. option. It's like you're going to hold another weapon right now. No, you're right. Okay, uh, so you're all good then. My turn. Can you just tell me how much health these guys have? Uh, three. 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 Okay. Guys are three. So I am going to range attack. The fire guys. Yeah, they're the ones that have the mad uh, the mana token on them that'll be rolling extra yellow die on their next attack. So we want to kill them before they get to us. So, okay, Which so they'll three. only move into our space. They're not going to attack us the next round, but. Fire to attack her. Okay, so three black die, shadow, one defense, two yellow dice. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm going to flip for my arrows. We'll just do one more. Okay, we got one, two, so we got a total of three. Come on, four, come on, four. Oh, two. I always get five. I always get five. Oh, Defender takes fire. Okay, we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. Did you check last time to see if you would have gone over? No. No. I don't, I don't ever want to know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. That's how you're gonna learn, like what, yeah. what you're gonna pull. Like, I know how, that. How I know. How, I know. There's two over? fours in here. I know that there. So it's not likely you're gonna pull a four, but well, it's likely it's, you're gonna pull a three. Yeah, but the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think there's four threes in there. I have to count. Yeah. Okay. Is this three would, hit? Would you say this is cocked? Yeah, that's. No, that, well, the way you normally play it is if you don't like the result, you say it's <laughs> cocked. If you like the result, you wiggle the tray until it falls down. Well, it's basically... So it's, you, you do whatever you want, Mel. Okay. No one's going to get mad if you do it. If I do it, I'm going to get angry comments yeah. like Rob's cheating. He's, you know, yeah, not okay. consistent with his, his cheats. Significantly better Okay, so they're... As long as you're having fire. fun, I don't care. So I'm going to do... I have two rerolls from Rob. So I'm going to reroll this one first. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, what let's. What do they have as an ability? Add fire to me. Oh, on combat, so either on attack or defense mm -hmm. with those claws. So that's two fire you're going to get. Okay. Now only one fire you're going to get. Okay. Uh, so they don't block anything. Okay, let's do this first. Defender takes a fire. Put that on them, if you will. Uh, I can spin a mana. Oh, it's hard to see. I'm, I'm going to take two wounds the for these. I'm going to spend one mana for my arrow volley, which is a range attack. One mana. Each other enemy in line of sight takes one wound. So I think 
each one of these guys takes. Or Range attack. Spend one minute. Each other enemy in line of sight takes one wound. So remember, a mob counts as one enemy. The yeah, whole mob. So, oh, so they just take one on here. Sorry. So one on those guys. Mm -hmm. That was one mana. Okay, now there are three, so I can do... I have one, two... Only two health? Yeah, because I, I just took two damage. Oh, I have a three heal, which I'll use. Okay. Remember to use it. Uh, deal the effect. Let's do this first before... So my shadow, which is draw and discard one arrow card and apply its bullseye effect. I gain oh. two mana, which I can only hold one. See, that would have got you up to six. Okay. Shush. I'm going to keep... I love it. I love it. Keep, her, yeah, keep rubbing it in. So she learns like when to push and when not. Okay. Then I have one, two, three. So one is dead. And I'll gain one XP. Seba, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so Welcome. much. Welcome. Okay. And then I could spend a mana, which I should have done first. Yeah, let's spend one mana and I can do deal one more damage. <laughs> Rob has advanced to cheating by proxy through Mel. No, no. I prefer if she just was consistent, mm -hmm. whatever she did. If it was cocked, re-roll it, or, or wiggle the tray. Just one or the other and do it every single time. <laughs> but she, I see her. Like, when we play off camera, she does it too. I'm just like, I shake my head. I'm just like, I, I, I see it. I notice it's happening. Can you tell me what this does for them? Uh, that gives a fire token to, to me. Yep, you. Because okay. you're attacking. Okay. I'm hoping when we get our first Chip Theory Games like dice tower little leather holder thingy, we'll stop I using this that leads to cock dice all the time. Just need to see if the first... And we'll start using something that doesn't cock the as dice as, as much. Me. Okay, so as soon as I act, okay, so I have to heal first, because in case I die from fire, heal for three. One, two, yeah, because fire's at the start of your turn. Well, it says when I activate, so. Yep, start of your turn. Oh, okay. Never mind then. All right. And then I can. Attack again. So now we're only rolling two of these, two of these, one of these, Actually, one of these. Kyle, can you put this in the starting item slot there right beside us in that card tray on the bottom? So we only have two black dice this time. We may need to pull them back out, but... Okay, these are good. Oh, I didn't roll my, or I didn't try my arrows. Two, three, come on four, come on four. Two. Oh, five again. Five again. Five again. No, I can't do it because I know now I have too, too many fours and threes left in here. All right, so I have an, another combat reroll, regular reroll, and I can spend a mana to block two shields, but I think I don't worry about that. All right. So, one so I'm more gaining. Thing. Right now, one more Let's thing. do this one first, which will deal one damage to oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. angels or the um, fire entities. No, these ones, the, sorry. It goes attacking, to here. Oh, you're well, I'm attacking, attacking You're attacking over? I'm attacking these guys, but I'm volleying arrow oh, over okay, them. I yeah, see, to deal one with. Okay. Then I can re-roll. So I'm not re-rolling this one. I'm going to re-roll this mana die. Or this one has mana. Oh, my God. I have... So that was my combat re-roll. Mm-hmm. Let's do my other re-roll. Oh, my God. Let's do Rob's first re-roll. Oh, my God. All right, one more time. Oh, man. What are you looking for? That. that. Uh, so all right. one out of six chance. To, well, or, or, or attack. Go hard for it. Or oh, attack, because I, I don't really care about Okay, so now I'm going to draw the it's top. A one. It's a one. Uh, oh. Defender takes a ice. Frost. Okay. Frost. Okay. Put it on their card, just like the flame, whoever it is. You were attacking the flame yep. this time? Yeah. Yep. And then so will, I hit... They'll have one less action when they activate, so and they won't get as close. one more, right? I hit one, two, three, four. They block one, so I'm doing three more damage. Yeah, so you killed one more and one sure. Okay, so then I get one XP. And then, I'm so sorry, attacking one more time. Uh, we have one more still. Go attack all you want. Okay, that's gone. These are gone. All right, arrows, two, four, six. Mm, nope, we're stopping, we're stopping. Oh, ignore this, so that's good. You know, wear that purple die out. Plus two mana. Save some for me. <laughs> Plus two mana from my cards. Uh, this one will resolve the bullseye, which is two rerolls. Uh, so we spent that one. Let's reroll this one. Mm. Let's reroll this one. Okay. That's my two rerolls. Then you have two rerolls for me. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. There we yes. go. All right, so one, two, three. I think is another one dead, right? Uh, yep. Okay. One more, and then I'm done. So we're all done? Yeah. Okay, mobs. So first thing that's going to happen is uh, remove a fire token and roll a yellow die for that fire guy to see how much damage he hits himself for. Or he burns for. Just one. One. So add another damage to their card. Okay. Uh, he would oh, act. So sorry. I'm, I just noticed that he, one of these guys would be gone from those two wounds. Uh, I don't know. Kyle's managing their health. So I would get one more. Like, What's going on, man? I can't see that. Oh, well, she, she didn't <laughs> attack it directly, so it was kind of confusing. Oh, okay. She shot one over with her thing. So <laughs> you got an XP for that? I did. Okay. So um, if you can remove the frost token, that's their first action. And then their second action, there's no one to attack, right? Because they're not ranged or anything. Mm -hmm. So they'll just move one closer to us. Okay, done. Then these guys, they will just move one. Because they're not ranged or anything, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll just move one and then two. One. Mm. Yep. Two. Okay. Dar or level up. I'm at uh, nine. I'm at 11, actually. Oh, nice. So I'm going to spend 10. I'm going to move my little peg down to uh, to number two. And unfortunately, it doesn't have any new treasure tokens to the bag, which I've noticed we've not really touched that at all, because... Yeah, because we don't get treasure from enemies. <laughs> but I do get an extra HP uh, to my max, so now I can have a total of 7 HP, and automatically I gain 1 if it increased it at all. Um, and now I gain a skill. So I can take any level 1 skill, because I'm at least at level 1, but I'm actually at level 2, so I could also take a level 2 skill if I'd like. And I want to... Take, so at level two, I want to take one of those because there's one I really like. I think it's this one, Echoing Hollow. This Consecration mm. also affects one other adjacent zone. Place a token between the two zones, it occupies both zones. So now like that starting movement one, you guys don't have to be on my same space or I could heal from two spaces or we can attack from two different spaces. Uh, or Divine protection. Heroes may target this zone if possible to attack an enemy in another zone. So I'd have to put a token down in line of sight where the enemies are, put one like in our space, and then we could like attack that one to hit the enemies like around the corner or I don't know, but you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. kind of silly, but I can see it being really cool as you level it up. But I think I'll just take Echoing Hollow because it seems pretty powerful. And that'll go to um, which one? Should I do the combat one? Should I do the extra movement one? Or should I do the healing one? Probably the combat one, right? Daniel says I would put it on the healing. Mega oh, yeah? combo boost with healing. healing. Oh, wait. Now it says, oh, wait. And Oh, yeah. Let's talk, let's see the blessed side. The blessed side, if I want to bless it, uh, heroes moving from the affected zone ignore reaction damage. So if you're trying to get away from enemies, you won't take the wound. So you get wounded for each figure in the space you're leaving. Mm -hmm. So if for some reason... Um, we were in that space with those four enemy figures, and you moved out of it, you take four wounds, which would kill Kyle. I'd be one health away, you'd be one health away. So you're like, kind of running away from enemies is, is not great, but this could help us escape if we're in trouble. Um, I don't know. I like it for the combat one, just going, going all out, so that, like, you know, if, if I need to get closer to the enemy, I still am in a space fighting them, and you're back one space doing magic attacks, it melds back during range attacks. Yep. We're all getting these rerolls and extra hits. Yeah, because that was huge. Like, And again, I can rejig this uh, and put this in a different column at the start of every quest throughout the campaign. So I can change it if I don't like it or if it's not working. Which but... makes sense, right? Based on what the objectives are for the mission. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, I want to I wanna put it on this column for the combat, I think. I don't know. So I did that when I was like playtesting uh, this game, or like playing off stream, and it, it worked uh, pretty cool. Especially with one character like range and one character not really range. I mean, I do have range too, but you know what I mean? Range also. Okay. Uh, so that's leveling up. Darkness. And then darkness, this will advance. And then we get our first roaming monster. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun. Dun. Oh, the ghoul is the same guy we saw yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, we saw it yesterday. Should we just draw a new one so we see a different enemy? Yeah, let's do it. We want to see variety, at least in our second time playing it on stream. So the next one in the deck is... Oh, uh, the other one we saw. Did we see this guy too? Yeah. Oh, 
Those are the only two we saw. I just shuffled them too. All right, let's do the so third one. So we should one. be good. We won't do this every time, just this first time. Oh, oh we've never seen this one. This Arch is the new. Archangel Raphael. Yeah, we've never seen this guy. So I'm going to just shuffle the other ones back into the deck. So if we do see them now, we'll just play with them, whatever. But I just want to see something different. Uh, okay. So this guy is only going to get one loot token for us when he dies. We'll just draw one from the bag. So ignore these symbols here. They don't mean anything. He has four health per hero. Uh, defense rolls. So they're a little different from mobs. They already have like their weapon built in and their defense. So they like... They just roll the black dice based on what it says on the card, not based on minions or anything. So he'll roll a black and a blue on defense. It says all other enemies roll plus one blue on defense. Will this guy's around? Oh, wow. What is this crap? He's an angel, man. We need to get rid of this guy. Uh, so when he does activate, we'll look at the first line. If he can do it, we'll do it. So if there is one or more hero in line of sight, Raphael targets the furthest hero line of sight, attacking them and each other hero between his zone and the target hero's zone, including Raphael's zone. Resolve each attack separately. If he can't do that, can't attack anybody, then he'll do otherwise. Heal each enemy in the dungeon by two and remove Raphael, or move Raphael two zones towards the closest hero. If there is no one to heal, he won't do that. Then he would just act like a mob and have two actions and attack, then move, or attack twice or whatever, uh, or move twice. And on defense for every claw, he gets an extra blue die to roll, and he'll also heal himself by two. And on attack, if he's melee attacking, it's one yellow, one black. If it's range attack, it's an orange and a black. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> so we got his health here. This is this is Archangel Raphael's health. Wow, he's a tough one. All right. Oops, sorry. Uh, uh, flip our tokens. Yeah, flip our tokens in the darkness phase. So he's going to give everyone in this space right in front of us plus one defense. And these... Well, you can't see them. It's line of sight, right? Uh, no, it just, no says it just says all other enemies oh, add oh, yeah, that plus part. one on defense. Yeah. 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 And these guys already roll two defense. So they're going to roll three defense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you going to make him black and blue with damage? Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mule. Nice one. Who would like to go first? Uh, are you? He's one fourth of the teenage ninja angels. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, yeah. <laughs> are you moving this thing, or the, that green one's staying there, or? And you have to flip your card, right? Oh yeah, because now you have two. Before you only had one, so it didn't matter, but now you have two. Uh, hmm. Is it sort of your turn, or just start, start of the, the round? round. Start oh, the okay. round, so we can all benefit from it. No, I think it's the one that one blessed. So we get extra damage because we still have enemies to take out. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have higher defense now, so... But if you can move that green to affect the space we're in and the space of the enemy, so put it hat, like on the like door, put, like, you know, on the wall or whatever. the door? Yeah. So it's uh, is affecting both zones. So if you do move into attack, you'll still get the rerolls and all that stuff, or if I move into attack or whatever. Okay. okay. I don't know who's the best to go first. I mean, I could try my Firestorm. Can I just ask a question about your tokens? If one is in half and half, can you not put the other tokens in either of those spaces? Correct. Okay. You want I one? think. Uh, it says it also affects one other adjacent zone. But I think the way it's worded... Um, what has the limitation worded? The Paladin may have more than one skill allotted the same Consecration column. Mm, where is it? Uh, a zone can only have one consecration at a time. So I would take okay. it as like, if that's affecting two zones, it's you can't, I can't put another one in any of those zones. Okay. Kind of sucky, um, but oh well. Yeah, so I could, like I can do a firestorm in there right now. Oh, you're Just magical? Get some extra hits, yeah. Unless you're trying to build up to that, like any of those top powers early here. Instead of doing that, this will though also get around the defense. Yeah, that's what I mean. I could, just... but also you want to level up too, so it'll kill some stuff and yeah. you'll get some experience. Yeah, I need one more, so just kill a leader, somebody, and we're good. Uh, so should I do that? Yeah, I mean, I think so. And do you affect all enemies in that space? The wounds equal to the damage to each enemy in that range. I mean, that's really good because that could kill a few of these guys before. Okay. We roll so three defense. So starting my turn, I'll, I'll 
up my fire. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will spend fire and wind. Two fire, one wind to do my firestorn. Which you know them have fire on them, right? No. Damn no. <laughs> it, the one did, but yeah, yeah, it's gone now. Died. I'm on three. One. One. Okay, that does take out this guy, though. Can I reroll though with Rob's? Oh no, that's only not combat. Yeah, it's oh. on attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it does take out this guy, so start here. Yeah, so he's done. So you get three XP, Kyle, and Mel and I each get two XP. Okay. Okay. At 11. And then he drops some weapon that you get right now, but you could give it to us if you don't want it or equip it or something. Uh, from, I got a club attack. If you took at least one wound in this attack, deal one wound to the defender. Single handed. Single handed club? Single handed club. I have a duel, so I can't. No, use I'm it looking right for now. it. Oh. Primeval club attack. If you took at least one wound in this attack, deal one wound to the defender. I mean, I do ignore wounds, so it's less chance I take wounds, but then I've totally committed myself to melee, and it's I don't really like that, but... Yeah, I'm sticking yeah, with range, so I'm going to trade you, though. We'll hold it. Okay. okay, and then it does one damage to each other... Each so, other group? Mm, it, how's it worded? Sorry, I don't remember how that one's worded. Do wounds equal to damage to each enemy in within range. So and then, just, yeah. they take one damage. One damage. damage. Yeah. I was hoping for a two so you could have killed one of them. It's yeah, tough. that would have been nice. Okay, now my actual all attack. So these guys are doing three blue. Mm -hmm. My one yellow. Oh, yeah. I'm in shadow. I think that is... Two of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two of these. <laughs> They're rolling more dice oh, than we are. All right. I can add in one... Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. wow. That is a lot of defense. You do have some rerolls. Yeah, do they remember do... you have an extra hit. So and, this only and you have two rerolls here. This but... only affects them on attack, so that's like a blank right now. Yeah. So those two are blank, which yeah, is just good. Remove those, you like take out of the tray or whatever. Then you, you can just worry about your blue dice so if you want rerolls. I would reroll some of those defense dice for sure. Just do one at a time though, yeah. like based on what happens. All right. Okay. Um, so right now you have six hits, three you're getting through. But I mean, you could roll blanks on those defense dice. It's up to you. Yeah, Try you have one, one more. One you more. Probably won't roll more hits. Oh. oh, back where I started. Yeah, it happens. So they're taking two damage. And you also, sorry, you also get a mana from your Not attack. Because you get six five. hits minus four. Uh, you get a hit right here. Oh, that one adds plus one. Yeah, yeah. So one of these guys is gone, so you get one XP. And I get the or? mana from my. Which. Yeah, I don't know. I from your weapon. Both yeah. This up by one. Which technically you could spend to do your extra orange die right now too, if yeah. you wanted to. If you you want. don't have to, but I'm just saying like I I, you could do I it. Should I should? So just roll an orange there and see how many more hits you get if you get any. Two, Two more. So. Okay, so that takes another one of these guys out. Boom. So did you get? Did he get his XP for that last one? So now here. two. Yeah. So two figures of the board take one XP each. So nine goes to ten, and then one. Two. There we go. You're at 11? I'm at 11. Nice. You're I'm at 11 up. too, so I'll level All right, up too. Nice level ups. So uh, start thinking of your next skill you're going to take. So okay. now he only needs one. <laughs> so so that was, yeah, so that was my Firestorm, and I did one attack. Yep. That's all I've done. Yep. Nice. So, so you could I attack again. He's not rolling any black yeah, die anymore. I, I should do that. It's up to you. One black, yeah. I'm still roll three let's blue. Do it. I know. Maybe Maybe shadow but you only need to get one yeah, through, so. Maybe I'll get a good shadow. Why not? <laughs> wow. So they block, I oh yeah, have this hit too, so they block all four hits. But you have two rerolls. Yeah, I would try and. Let's try this again. There you go, you got him. I wouldn't reroll just in case. Unless you're trying to get man off your yellow die or purple oh, die or yeah, something. But, but you Whoa. might. You might not kill him. If I blank it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. There's only what? There's but you one. get a mana. Don't forget your mana. Oh yeah, off you get a mana anyways. Oh, you can't even right. hold. Oh yeah. Right. No, I didn't do it. So get two more. No, I did it. He did it the first, did time. The first yeah, time. Yeah, because yeah, then he used the orange die. To get the orange, yeah. Okay. So, and then He's how much dead? experience? It's three? Yeah. Yep. One because you killed him. Two. And then everyone gets two. One, two. And, and then one. you get the weapon. The weapon is just a skeleton blade. Hey, at this point, any any loot is, is helpful. 
Well, this is some heal when you attack. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I mean, if somebody wants to go the you double... You one mana, though, right? Oh, yeah. Hold on. If someone wants to go the double melee range, now you might have... True. Because that's too yellow on melee. Yeah. I mean, I could take it. But I think it just goes to my backpack for now, but then I'd have to re-equip. I mean, I can if you don't want it. I can pair it up with this thing. Yeah, sure, take it. Try to take you to yellow, and then I can just melee route. So I've done two attacks, Firestorm. I still have movement. Uh, no, he hasn't got to max fire to get the yellow die yet. Not yet, no. No. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to move up. Mm -hmm. to, oh, we didn't do this. I'll grab him. Are you sure? Yeah, because I have four mo or three movement points. One, two, three. Well, One, two, shouldn't... three. One, two, three. He targets the, f the one. If I go first, I could pick up that green and drop the blue in our space so we have more movement too. At least off the start. Yeah, because he's gonna... He targets There's... the furthest one. Right? The furthest hero and then attacks uh, everyone. Uh, if there's in line of sight, yeah. Line of everyone sight. in line of sight, so we don't want to be like all in a row. Well, he won't do that until next time because right now nobody's in line of sight of him. But he's gonna move forward one, right? No, he he'll check mountains? that first. Like, he'll check so both of these. So literally, he just checks his first ability. If he can't do it or do anything mm -hmm. with it, he does a second. If he can't do that, he then acts like a normal mob and does two actions. Yeah, so he'll just in, end his turn here. Okay. I'll pass that to you, sorry, for just card. I'll end there. Okay. So did you want to go next then and drop your token? It's up to you. And then set up for the yeah, next yeah. turn. So give me the green. Back. Um... And then I'll spend a mana to place the blue in our space. Oops, Oops. sorry, sorry. Or is there a play where I spend the the heal there? Uh, I think I'm, we're all good. I'm good, but I'm, good. Good. I'm probably going to take damage, so maybe next turn. Oh, but then when you level up, you'll get one too, right? So Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll do the movement one. I, there is a play where I could put the combat one back out. In this space. But I don't know if that's where we're going to be fighting him for sure. Yeah, because he's going to come one, two, and then on our turn we're... How, how do we know we're not opening this door right now and getting over here or something? I don't have enough actions to do that. I don't know if you could. One. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Well, someone needs to trigger this as well, which I can't remember. One or two wounds, right? Or nothing, I Or think. nothing. Hmm. Like, we do need to explore the chamber... So if I activate from there, I get three movement points. One, two, three. I step on the spike. Hold on, I'm just going to hold this up. What was your question about it? These are the two cards that I have. Oh, here, here, here. I can put them on the screen. So these are Kyle's current abilities that he can spend elements on. Okay, for anyone who's not seen them yet. Okay, feel free to pause the stream, then scrub back forward if you need to, or scroll back if you need to. All right. All right. I think. Where do I go get those tokens? You could do that as well. Mm, like I'm thinking of trying to spawn this mob and just get the next door so, open. Yeah. But what happens when you go on the spiky thing? Again? I could take one or two or no wounds. I think it is. Mm -hmm. There might be a three. I don't know. I only looked at a couple of them when we were setting up before off camera, but. I'm not sure what that one is. Because it's random. It's fun times. Um, but I think like we all need to like work on this guy together to get him off the board as fast as possible. And yeah. But I think we're fine to do that next turn. When he comes out of that little hole. True, but then the turn after we get another mob spawn here and behind us, and if we're still back there, we're in trouble. Like, we need to be, like, coming forward. Like, you can't be stuck in here. No, I wouldn't be. I think I would be here. Oh, okay, okay. You run in, get it, come back. Yeah. Yeah, because I'd have four. One, two, three, four for my first one, and then I'd have one, two, three, and then one, two, three. I'd be here oh, with nice. Kyle. Oh, okay. If you keep How that, because I have additional one, and then he oh, no. he put that Starting token. Space with the blue. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get an extra. Oh no, you're not in this space. I'll get an extra right now. Okay, so yeah, good. let me just go run up to the trap. Uh, so I get three movement points. Just let me go step on the All spike right. trap. One, two, three. And see how bad it is. 
What do we got? Two, Two wounds. wounds. Oh. Oh, I'm down to three. Now I'm scared. I probably should Drop just heal. heal. <laughs> I'm going to just heal right now, yeah. I don't want to lose the campaign, so. I'm at three, every, like, all the time. But you only can hold four, right? No, I can hold this up to seven, a, so we'll I'm at six. You. We'll protect you, little bug. Is there cards that, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. That heal? Yeah, no, they buff up my four to something. These will. Yeah, every time you level up. Oh. Yeah, next level you'll get one. You'll get more minutes, eventually. But I see your problem is what to do next, right? Yeah, so I can open the door and then I can run away. I can also do the re-equip I was talking about and see what happens. But I think I want to get these guys on the board so we can start getting them off the you, board. You also could have saved that uh, potion that you used and done a heal action. Or, or a rest restore action. restore for just two? Mm. Or done... Yeah, or do it twice and take I'm full gonna do health. I'm going hmm. Like, how aggressive should I be? I don't know. That's the problem. Like, we need to go in that room eventually, and I don't want to just get stuck in a loop where we're fighting this guy for a couple rounds. Then we're spawn guys we have to fight, guys we spawn behind us that catch up to us. Then we're trapped there, and then we still have to open this door and spawn these guys. So it's just like, and then it's out of control. There's no enemies on the board. Let's like make more enemies before it, because we have like two rounds before we make more. So, Peach has a good point. About What's Peach saying? Kill the angel the first. Shield. Remember, yeah, he, he gives will give plus one shield and heal. Yeah, oh, that's he, true. he is that's pretty terrible. True. So should I just go like start fighting him now? And you'll be right in front of him. Well, like just go that's into a fine. space, but that's not. I'm just worried about his attack back at me is like a range of a orange, a black. The other thing is you could move to here, so we all again stick together. Or in a light and, space, and that kind of sucks. I know. Yeah. So I would want to push through here, and then like maybe we could work our way to there, and then fight him from that space. You could do so. that and see what those enemies are, but or again, I could, I could just run around this way. Maybe I can get there. No, once you're in line of sight, he'll do that. If they're the first one. If there's one or more heroes in line of sight, yep. uh, target the, the hero in line of sight, attacking them. Open the door like you're originally going to do. Just we got to see what's there. I it guess could, you can move could back. Be like some weenies. Who cares? Well, we know, yeah. No, they're not weenies, but we know <laughs> we've seen what they all do. Oh, yeah, oh, because yeah, you're level. We know there's only undead three left or something. They're undead gargoyles or the skeletons, skeletons or the satyrs or whatever those satyrs are called. Satyrs. Whatever. Can he range attack or you? Or the no, wing ladies. You he's do his melee attack. If he, I'm in his space. Yeah, he has range though. Yeah, but if you're in his space, you, he, yeah. he can't do the whole... It's a lesser attack. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because right now he'll, what, move out and then do a range attack on us in the hallway? Just a regular old range attack? Um, yep. Mm hmm There's one... One or more here in line of sight. He targets the furthest here in line of sight, attacking them and each other here between them. Yeah, it'll just attack me either way. So, like, why do I care? Okay, so then maybe go to the... If you want to go to the shadow, then, to s keep him there and attack from yeah, there. Yeah, just start fighting him. I don't know. All right. But, uh... Carson's saying equip your weapons before the roaming monster fight. If you want to have the two. But then you know, can't but, fight. But then I have to go in his space and start fighting him, and then you guys are, like, way behind and not hitting him while I'm getting hit by him. Oh, yeah, he's not going to... He's not going to attack, right? He's going to move and then move again. Oh, no, he can attack the second time. Yeah, because he's got range. Yeah, he's got range. So he'll and move one. his range one. is worse. So, like, I kind of want to be in his space, but then if I waste my turn... If I waste an action right now equipping, then all I can do is get in his space and start getting hit in the face. Like, I, I'm not attacking him. So what I think I would do is move here in the dark, do one range attack, and just stay there and take his attack, which he won't fire at anyone else, because I'll be the only one in line of sight. Then we've kind of stood our ground in a shadow area here. I'll drop my little token here. Yeah, then we join you next turn. And then we just fire on him in here, and I don't open this yet, but... 
then you can fire them range, but you could come in the space and... Oh, well, it'd be smart to open this door, because then you just move into shadows and then shoot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here. Or I could just move around the corner, go one, two, three, open door, and just stay here, and I take the shot. Mm -hmm. Then I could fall back into the dark on the bridge here and fight from that way, too. Or can I get there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four. But I thought you said his range was worse than his melee. Yeah, but at least he's only attacking one of us. Hey, but wouldn't you rather him melee attack you? But then, if I'm in a space, he never leaves. And when are you guys going to get over here to attack him? Or should I? Should I try well, to next, just pin him? Next turn. Okay, could, I'll, I'll just I pin don't him. Know. I'm just, uh, I'll just pin him then. You don't have to be in his space. You can be in front of his... Oh, then he'd do range. Never mind. He'll do, yeah, he'll do it either way. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want me? I know, it's, it's messy either way. Uh, he says roaming monsters get only one action. Not, no, I've already explained roaming monsters like many times. I keep repeating it over and over again. Um, but we'll show it when he activates. I'll explain it. I'm not going to keep doing it now. I've just said it like eight times. All right, I will just equip this stuff and just move into space. Right? Because then he will. Yeah, because understanding this, I think he'll still do the first one, because I'm in line of sight if I'm in a space, and I'm the furthest hero. He'll attack me with just his melee attack, because he'll attack everyone who's between the furthest and closest, and he'll just hit melee me, obviously. And then that's it. Good. Done. All right. Beautiful. All right. That's it. I'm going to go in there and just bait him. All right. There we go. Done. Just me? Oh, actually, do I want to put down my little fun thing? Yes, I do. I'm going to put this... Or should I do the heal one? So if I start my activation, I heal, but also anyone who starts beside him... No, not yet. I'll do the attack one. Okay, it's right there. So if anyone does want to attack, or if I attack next round, we're good to go. So okay. if I don't go first, at least there's something there. Okay, my turn. So yep. I'm going to activate this fire. One. One damage. Nothing. All right. Then I'm going to have four movement points. One, two, three, four. Then I will move again. I have three. One, two, three. And then I have three again. One, two, three. Perfect. Done. Are we all done? Yes. Okay, mobs. So this is the only mob, so he'll look at the first thing on his card. If there is one or more heroes in line of sight, he targets the furthest hero in line of sight, attacking them and each other hero between his zone and the target hero zone, including Raphael's zone. Resolve each attack separately. So since he can do this first thing, he will do it. If he couldn't, he would look at the otherwise. If he can do anything here, he would do that one. And if he can't, then he will act just like a mob and do two actions where he'll prioritize attacking. And if he can't attack somebody, he will move. And then he will do his second action where he'll prioritize attacking and then he'll move. That's how roaming monsters work. Not as straightforward as mobs, but uh, pretty pretty easy, especially after playing sword and sorcery a lot. This is like baby's first dungeon crawler stuff right here. Easy peasy. All right, so I'm in line of sight. I'm the furthest hero in line of sight. He's not seeing around the corner, so he's just going to attack me. He rolls a yellow, a black. I roll one blue on defense. Go. And that is all, right? One uh, hit. So one hit. You do have one combat reroll if you oh, wanted yes. to roll your defense. Uh, yes, please. Just go ahead. Oh, sorry. Oh, we block it for you. There block. you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no right. problem. No problem. Yes, yes. I forgot about the combat. Yeah, because you just defense. put that. Beautiful. Done. That's all the mobs. Darkness phase. Let's go here. Oh, sorry. I want to level up. I'm going to oh, level, level up. up. Level up. I'm going to spend my 10. Yep. Kyle, go. Go to level two. Level so remember two. to take Being your extra health. health. So you're now your max is higher, but you only take the difference of the new health you've gained. So just take one health token now but not up to your full max, obviously. Yeah, but I can go to five. Yes. yes. And now pick your next skill. I got it. Which can be up to level two. Okay, and what do you take, Kyle? I'm going to show them so they, you know they're going to ask. You know they want to see. They want to know. So this is fire, fire, plant, plant, mm -hmm. to place flame spirit one in your zone. Can you pass me flame spirit one's card? Because you're going to need that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can have some spirits on so the board. So Kyle now can summon flame spirits who have three health. There's one token he has that he can put on the board for this. It gets one free action on his turn. 
to either move two movement points or attack. But he can also, Kyle can spend his own actions to activate it to either move or attack. And when it attacks, the defender takes a fire and it also rolls an orange die on attack. It does. It counts as a hero for the enemies targeting it. I think we can heal them and target them ourselves with abilities, but it cannot pick up loot, it cannot open doors, it can't interact with things, and it does not add to the per hero count for roaming monster health or for spawning mobs or anything like that. Okay, um, so here you go. And this token, so pass me the token, the flame token thing. So here's the token that comes in the retail box, I'm sure. There was some kind of upgrade during the crowdfunding. But uh, if anyone knows the game Euthia, I just have a box full of elemental minis uh, that came with this like red paint on them. So we'll just use this one on screen, but this doesn't come with the game, obviously. Uh, this is what you'll use for your flame guy. So it's more obvious on video where he is and we don't forget him. So this token we don't need anymore. Okay. And then I am taking a piercing arrow one level one for each three arrows revealed. The defender is a minus one defense or minus one block. Uh, oh, Keith, I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying, Keith. I understand. I understand. We went through this yesterday on stream. So this otherwise, if it can't do this thing, it's still going to activate like a mob. Even though it says otherwise, there if it can't change the game state, like it doesn't, if it fluffs, like flops. So it says, heal each enemy in the dungeon by two. And move Raphael two zones toward the closest hero. I think that would always fire off because he would still try to move. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that would be... But there were a couple roaming monster cases we read yesterday where the otherwise could do nothing. So I want to be very clear and repeat the rules over and over again. But this guy specifically, the otherwise probably will always fire because it's each enemy in the dungeon, including himself. But if he's full health, he won't heal. Mm -hmm. And then he would move towards the closest hero. But I think if he already has a hero in his space, he's going to fail on this. So he could still activate like a mob. I so think if he had a hero in his space, he would always trigger the first one. Yeah, so, I, yeah, so I true. I feel like yeah. in this case, so it's only one or the other. I, in this case. Yeah, so I think this guy kind of breaks that. But I want to keep reinstating that rule. Because that's how mo uh, roaming mobs in general work. And I know people yesterday were confused with it. But the otherwise doesn't always fire on all of them. That's why they have that rules text in the rule book about they will just act like a normal mob. So I, I know there's new people watching and people are playing incorrectly, so I'm going to keep repeating the rule. Even though in this case, he's probably always going to do the otherwise. But I see what you're saying now, Keith. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you were just saying he'll never act like a mob because of the otherwise. Because of that, yeah. On this guy, this specific... And we do not play with this guy, but I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're yeah. saying. I just gotcha, want to give gotcha, a gotcha. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Thank I get you. it. I get it. And a super quick shout out to Hunter Davis says, Hi Rob, it's my first time catching a live stream. Happy to have found your channel. I've watched a good amount of too many bone streams. It's very fun. Thank you. I've subbed uh like a week ago off stream, but thanks. Hunter, thank you so much thank for you. subscribing. Welcome, thank welcome. you for being here. Glad you're here. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the videos. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. The ghoul also always moves three at least for the otherwise rule. Oh, okay. I think in that case it was always triggering. I don't remember, the first. I don't remember was. what yeah, was happening, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out when it happens. But that's good. I didn't even really think about that. Thank you. Okay, so I've leveled up. You've leveled up. Mm -hmm. uh, darkness, you were doing darkness. Darkness. Okay, so it goes here. We have a common on this token. So... I think that just goes in the it bag, It goes back right? in the bag, but we get... Um, ah, is this the one where we get it... Do we all get it or just somebody takes it, I think? Hold on. It's the first time this is happening in uh, Darkness Track. So the Darkness Track on the left, ignore the printed treasure icon on the Darkness Track during the quest. When the track advances to a space with the treasure token placed during setup, return it to the treasure bag and draw one treasure card from the corresponding deck. Give that card to any hero in the dungeon. At the end of any quest, return any unused treasure tokens from the Darkness Track back to the treasure bag. So Kyle, if you can draw off the common deck there, the green deck, our first common treasure, I believe, we're drawing off that deck, which is so crazy. After, Ooh. And it's some stud, stud leather armor. So Two defense For dice. some studded dudes. So I think... Some stud, hey, stud armor, studded armor, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, it'll definitely be better than any of our starting armors, which are just battle 
Or battered, yeah, yeah. battered so leather armor, so it's doubling the amount of defense dice. Yeah. I'm gonna say not me because uh, I, I'm I know ranged. Who should get this. I think I know too, uh, but I want little old me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I even fit in this? I don't know. It's a little bug. Yeah, it's either Kyle who has lowest health, mm -hmm. or me because I keep getting in the front line and I'm now a melee attacker, so, so I, I could be getting hit more. This just goes in my bag. Yep. I guess. Yep, yep. Yeah, and it counts as a common. So when we're trading later, it's just like a green item. Okay. Yeah. Cool, thanks. All Can right. flip those? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Flip that. And who's going first? I mean, part of me wants to say, do you go first and see what happens? Because if you are able to take him out, and I don't know if you can uh, in three turns. 12 damage. I don't, I don't, know. Know. I don't know. I do roll two yellows, but uh, yellows only kind of do like one or two hits each, if that. And that's not counting his how many... Oh yeah, and on claws, he's gonna heal himself by two. He rolls a blue and a black. Oh yeah, and he heals. That's so annoying. That's why we all need to like just go crazy on him mm -hmm. as much as possible. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna take him out. I don't think. Yeah, I think it's gonna take at least two of us. I was just wondering if maybe one of us might be able to open that door if this is if he's gone. Yeah, I'll just go oh. first. I, I don't know. Let's. I can't drop my little things down. I can drop them in line of sight, like back here, but... Uh, oh yeah, because there is the other play of we open this door instead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So in that case, it doesn't really matter. And then we can like fall back here, let them come through the door, and then attack them from there, or just move in and attack them from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we open this door, just based on where this stupid spawn point is. How did they spawn last time? The, uh, on this track. track. They'll so, do it at the end of so, next okay, round. So we this round. That. On round four, yeah. Yeah, because it just made the treasure. Next time it's mob, then treasure the mob oh, and treasure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there may be also a play of holding off to round eight before we win or I lose agree. the scenario Absolutely. to get the item. Yeah. And it'll just get more XP to level up, right? Because yeah. we'll keep fighting more mobs. Exactly, exactly. Okay. I'll just go first. Yeah, I think we see what happens. Um, all right. So I guess I need two yellow dice, please. And he gets a black and a blue. And you're in the shadows. And I'm in the shadow, so it's a purple. Uh, huh. Okay. Now black is nothing, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you see everything there? Yeah. Let me re-roll that blank yellow. Okay, let me re-roll that blank yellow. Oh, Holy no. Rerolls, man. Rerolls. Okay. I uh, wish we'll that was a bone we'll and I can build up here. for a better power with a backup plan. Start using this one. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, so I do three damage. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hold on. Uh, oh, no, I didn't get that, but this one. I could spend this to heal. But I don't think I can wait for a future attack to do that. Okay, let's Back just again? do it again. So I need a black oh, die, sorry. please. Shadow does every hero in consecrated zone performs a fear recover after combat. Okay, so I get some more mana or heal with that anyway. Um, all right, so let me. What's he doing with this extra blue die? Okay, let me reroll his claw. Okay, let me reroll his claw. Yeah, uh, man. So he rolls another blue oh. die? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's And he heals too? Uh, yes. He's back to one So it way. looks like I get a total of two mana. I will spend one to heal off this. So I'm up to my full seven. Then I will... What was it? I took the two mana? Then, oh yeah, then after the combat I get a free recover, which I'll just take my two more mana. And then I guess I'm attacking again. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, yellow dice suck. I know. Okay, this is a cock die. All right, so this is blank, so that's good. So you have the shadow, the, the shadow, yeah. defense, and two hits. Hmm. Oh, this hit too. Did we get that last time? It was blocked by the defense, oh, yeah. okay. So I got three total hits, one's blocked. Mm -hmm. So two. 
Did you want to re-roll anything? Oh, yeah, I probably should. Even. Uh, let me re-roll the blue. And the purple, actually. I'll just re-roll both at once. Who cares? Okay, two mana? But I'm full of mana, so it's all good. Okay, but it doesn't block anything, so now three gets uh, through. Is anyone in my space to heal? No. no. Okay. So three so gets through. Three, yes. So I'm going to go to two. Mm hmm. Okay, done. Okay. Next. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? Steve says, hey guys, I'm trying to, but I can't stay awake. I'm getting too go. tired, so no ending news report. No worries. No yeah, worries. Yeah, get out no of here. worries. We'll see you it's next all week. All good, Steven. Don't worry about it. Peach was in the same, thinking the same thing you did already. Reroll the shadow? Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Did. yeah, I was hoping I'd get more damage off the shadow, but I just got the. I probably should have just rerolled the shadow, then rerolled it again. Okay, I'm just going to increase that. You know, one, two, two more actions left. I'll attack. Let's oh, see. it's two sixteen. Wow. Whew. Only the shadow knows. Yeah. Next week we'll start a half hour earlier at our usual six thirty p.m. Eastern time. Uh, not like today with the seven. We just needed to go over some rules and stuff with Kyle before we started to make sure he kind of knew what he's doing. Mm -hmm. What's he rolling? He's rolling. He's rolling black. a blue and a black. Blue and a black. And you're rolling a purple. And I'm rolling a purple. You only get one dot. Yep. yep. Okay. Why was he rolling two? That's so just his ability. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I thought there was two black in there for some reason earlier. Oh no. You do have two, two rerolls as well. Just no. Get rid of the claw. Get rid of the claw, or yeah. else I'll just keep healing and defending more. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, I said get rid again? of the claw. Oh, oh man, Lord. you made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Re -rolls re -rolls, suck. Yeah. I know. I hate that in games. It's just boring old rerolls. They just suck. You okay. do have you do have your yeah, no, I could... losses of things. Yeah, you, you do your things. Um James says so glad you have started this playthrough, been waiting for it a while. Nice. Thanks for doing this. Oh, it's four <laughs> seventeen for Edgar. Wow. Quit your whining, everybody. <laughs> Edgar's the real trooper. <laughs> Did I you take well. your element at the yeah, start of your turn? Yeah, I did. Okay, I did. Um, so should I do this first? Yeah, I should do this first. Can you not spawn your buddy yet? Yeah, I can. But should I do that now? You it doesn't matter. You can't. You don't have enough elements. No, you have to do it before or after, after an action. Okay. So oh, yeah, two yeah. mana. Oh, now you can, yeah. But you can't yet. Not until you get into action. After this So action. then we'll resolve this. So you have to take a wound, so lose a health. And then the claw will roll him another blue in there. And he'll heal by two. So this goes I don't want to be responsible. Oh, so he blocks. Okay, so I think yeah, he blocks all your hit. hits. Yep, no damage. Uh, okay. So now that right. action's complete. So now I can do this this guy. So spend uh, your elements. Uh, yeah, so I'm spending two and two to bring this guy into my zone. I bring this card out. So he has an attack. So during which I can do for free. And he has three well, is health. It range though? No. Oh, oh yeah, I'd have to spend a movement. Well, you get a free activation with him, which could be move to MP or attack. Obviously, you can't hit anything right now, so you probably want to move him. But then you can spend your action for him attacking if you want. I think my actions... My, but well, you might be doing more on your action. Oh, did you get your mana for your staff? Oh, no, I didn't. I'll well, take it on your element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Staff. And that's your health for your, your guy. My guy. Um, yeah, like, I mean, he's rolling one orange. And he can throw fire on him, which at the start of his turn he rolls a yellow die and takes some damage. So any extra damage we can get, maybe that's worth it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so free action, though. I will, I'll move him in. Yep. Just and he hand. gets my rerolls and extra hits and stuff. But the thing is, if I attack, then I get the one which Correct. will bump me up, and then I can add... The mm -hmm. same die in for Correct. my attack. Correct. But then I'm wasting not doing fire. I mean. But it's your call. You do whatever. Orange die. Look at the orange die. It, it, you don't oh, get me in the back from it. It does more hits, though. Well, let's try him, because, yeah, let's try him. He might okay, not survive. So you need a black, a blue. Yeah. This. He doesn't get a shadow die, though, actually. Oh, that yeah. might change your thoughts, too. Hmm. Yeah, you can just activate him next turn too with your yeah, free thing. You know what? I'll I'll do it. Yeah, you should attack. I think I forgot about the shadow thing. Yeah, same here. So he's only one. This is all I'm rolling. 
Uh, Mark says, I thought there were two different symbols for re-rolling, one for heroes and one for mobs. Are you sure you're able to re-roll mob dice? I thought you could re-roll anything. Mm -hmm. And I thought if it's specific, it'll show you the die color. Um, let me, I'll look it up while Kyle's what, going. What does it say on there, though? Oh, it just says a reroll symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, I know where it is in the rules. There's like a whole page of symbols. I'll find it in two seconds. Right here. Uh, allows to reroll X dice. Each reroll is resolved separately and may be applied to the same die multiple times. This can be any dice in the current pool, even the ones added by enemies. And that's on page 28 for yeah, you. I think the there's another one that's separate that's, that only yeah, allows you Yeah, that's what you I said. So if it shows a color of die, then that's when it's specific. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This game is like usually very open, and it'll tell you if it breaks that openness to something very refined. Mm -hmm. So I am doing the attack. Does this act attack two? Yes. Or is action I, two? I moved, yeah. And then this guy came in for free as a separate thing, and then I moved him in uh, as my one free action for him. Now I'm doing my last action as myself mm -hmm. to do an attack. <gasps> Ooh, three mana. This you remember, you gotta hit off this, and you have two rerolls here. Mm. And don't forget your mana you get from your weapon. Yeah, so I get that now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it in any order. Uh, it's just hits and defense blocks are applied last. Let me do the reroll on this. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So I usually take all the dice out of the tray. I'm like, not no, rerolling. But I, I was hoping they would affect Yeah, don't trust that tray. That tray has be, betrayed way. us many times. Oh, there you that's go. Oh, it, it did fall. Yeah, so see? Good. That's so yeah. good. Okay, so Remember we have a hit here. So, so. Block, so one hit goes through, and then I have three. Okay, mana. one hit goes through. And three mana, so I mean, I could do all the way up, all the way up. Yeah, Get they're that telling extra you max out the fire. All the time. Two, yeah, I was telling you that like very beginning of the game, man. You'd be rolling so many more dice. But I was thinking of just not maxing out right. And I <laughs> do it. Okay, I'll max it out. Trust me. Once you do this, you'll every time you play, you're I gonna. Can't, I can't do this right now, right? I can't add another yellow. Is it? Does it say attack colon? Yeah. Yes, you can. So right now I can do You're it. in the middle of resolving yeah. stuff in the attack, yes. Uh, okay. let's, yes. Let's remove these. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I've been like trying to tell you the whole game, like, do oh, it. Oh, and another mana. So one goes through. And you get another mana on your and elements. another mana, which I can put up to here. Yeah. So then I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see oh, the little combo generation? See what happens? <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you how to play, but I saw Mel do that with it and like right away and was super powerful the whole yeah, game. Yeah, I loved she it. She was like an offensive powerhouse and I did not expect that. Oh, two more. Two more. Yeah. It's halfway done. I was ripping this angel. As long as it doesn't heal, we're good. Okay. Right. There you go. So I'm now done. This You're is done? like the warm-up game, Kyle. Next week, I expect to see all these combos <laughs> flying off without asking questions. You're just like, okay. Okay. study this video. Go back to this time. This is uh, just watch myself. Two, two yeah. hours and forty minutes in. Go to that and watch what you just did, and do that every uh, time we play. I get it. I get it. Okay. It's, it's the whole like I can spend it at any time. Yeah. Like that's yeah. The, like you're you know. still in the middle of the action. Pass yeah. me. Pass me the reference, or I can show you on the screen. I can show you on the screen. That's fine. So remember the way I kept saying, look at the back of the reference, like, while well, we're taking our turns, just to, like, get the timing down? I think it's on here. Yeah, right here on the right. I don't know if this is the, I don't know if this is the best example. Ah, uh, the Monica. Yeah, right here. This resolving an attack. Just remember, there's three steps. You roll all your dice in your pool. Okay? Mm -hmm. So just roll the basic dice. Build your pool, roll your dice. But then there's this little window in between of applying abilities and effects. So anything that's like attack colon, combat colon, defense colon, whatever it is, whether you're attacking or defending or whatever, okay, you must resolve these, but they, you, you can re-roll them first or add extra dice. And that's, you do all that stuff. Once you're happy, you know, even during these abilities, you can start applying the effects and the abilities, like the symbols off the dice or powers you have. All in order as you resolve each dice. Once you resolve a die, though, you can't re-roll that die. Mm -hmm. Then once you're done doing all the symbols on the dice, all your powers and effects, rolling extra dice in there, then you just add up your hits and your blocks and apply wounds. That always is last. But everything else you resolve before in any order you see fit. 
That's okay. like part of the fun of the game is like, take a mana. Oh, now I can do this ability. Oh, now that I did this ability, I'm rolling extra die. Oh, I got another mana. Now I can do this other ability. The only limit though, the way you've been seeing, enemies can spend as many claws as possible to redo their ability over and over again in the same action. Mm -hmm. You can only do each attack colon or combat colon or defense colon once per action. Okay, you're limited. So even if like my, this one right here, this one right here that has attack, spend one mana to heal one, during one, I can only do this once during the attack, even if I had like six mana, I can't heal for six. I can only do it once per attack. So we're limited, but the enemies are not, unless it says limit once per roll like that. Those the imps, imps, the yeah. imps. Yeah, yeah. but like my Firestorm, if I had all of this, all of these elements to use, I could just do it twice. Yeah, because yeah, that's not, not an action, action. Yeah, that's like outside of action. Yes, yeah. yeah, as long as you have the cost to play it, you okay. can. I get it. Right. And you're all done, right? I am done, yeah. yeah. Alrighty, I'm can gonna you, see. Uh, just mute my mic. Uh, no, we can take a little oh, quick yeah, washroom break and a stretch them. break. Uh, yeah, we'll take a quick little break. And then break. I'll do my turn when we come back. Yes, so Mel's going when we come back. We're going to take just like a two or three minute little break, and we'll be right back.
And we're back. All right. Hello, hello. Uh oh. Is there rules rules disagreements? Uh can I ask guys? Once you start resolving dice, you cannot change any dice face from that point on. No. I don't think that's the case, just, I think. Just each individual die, I think. Yeah. Not trying to argue just to learn, but where does it say exactly in the rule book? Page 20, resolve in the attack section. And tiny means if you resolve a die, you can't reroll that die. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we were, we were saying it correctly, right? Yeah, yeah I think okay. we're good. I think Perfect. we're good. All right, my turn. So first action, I'm going to move. One, two. I'm only going to spend two movement points. Action two, I'm going to attack in there. Uh, he gets a blue and a black. I get two yellow. Just need six. Just need six. Well, nope. you can do it. Um, that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna flip over my arrow cards. I think I shuffled one, three. So we're at four. <gasps> oh, I bust. bust. I mm. bust. So what do these do? Oh man. So because she busted and went over seven, she has to do the bottom. A line on each card. Oh. So you take a frost, so that'll lose you an action. You also have to resolve the claw of the enemy you're fighting, and then nothing on this one. Oh, so he's gonna roll, and I didn't roll yet, so he's gonna roll blue die, and he's gonna heal two. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you're so quick with that, too. Usually, you're like, mm, I'm not well, gonna do it. Well, because I'm only at four. Yeah. Four, oh, okay. It's when I'm at five, point. is yeah. my point where I usually stop. You need to get those skills that let you manipulate it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have re-rolls here. Oh my god, this is so terrible. We're gonna re-roll this one. All right. Yeah. So we got some blanks. I can ignore, so for each three arrows revealed, I revealed nice. eight. Yeah. I can block, I can remove this. And I have one more re-roll. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try this. Okay. Uh, can I spend that man with anything? This is other, so no. Oh, you didn't roll purple. Oh, we didn't roll purple. I thank you, thank you. And don't forget my plus one hit. Plus one. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. So I have four hits and one mana. Can't do anything with the mana. So four hits. There's two. Four left. And then unfortunately, I have to oh. lose my last action. Oh, That's no. so annoying. Oh, no. Oh man, so these dang done. arrows. Okay, he'll activate. So, oh, look at, we're all in line of sight. Oh yeah, no. That's terrible. He's gonna attack each one of us. He needed to die. Mel, I mean, you suck. I didn't think I was gonna Why blast. Why did you draw that extra arrow <laughs> card? You're gonna lose us the game because you're greedy. Oh, oh my Never god. Never taking you to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now four is your cutoff point. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Now I'm gonna be scared every time. <laughs> all right, uh, so. Uh, if there is one or more hero in line of sight, Raphael targets the furthest hero in line of sight, so we'll just say it's like Mel or whatever, and then it'll attack. Well, let's say it's Kyle, because he has two defense. Oh, Doesn't matter, he's okay. attacking all of us. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one at a time. Whoever's furthest and then moves closer. Oh my god. Yeah, each hero, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. resolve each attack separately. Okay, so let's just start with Mel, go ahead. So he's rolling... You did it, so you can take For me, he's rolling melee, so an orange and a black, <laughs> and yes, I roll Keith, a I know, I'm just joking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alright, this is on me. It's the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> yeah. So this is only on defense for him, so this doesn't do anything. Correct. We can reroll uh, only attack. I have a combat. One reroll on combat, so you can reroll something that's happening there. I feel like no, because I'm blocking the hit now. That is ignored, so I'm yeah. gonna... Why no, it, I'm good. Why is it ignored? Because only on defense, oh, and he's attacking right now. Okay. So now he's gonna attack you, right? He's gonna roll, you're going to roll two defense. There you go. Not this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. His range, he's range, he's range. rolling the orange and black. Oh, okay. Remember, he's the attacker. He's, he's attacking. attacking. You have two defense. And you got two blues nope, on defense. Nope, that's it. It's already there. You, you know he doesn't get the shadow or anything. You do have a reroll. Yep. So right now he's scratching you, and that's it. So one wound. One wound, but yeah. There you and go. That's, that's better. Nothing. He, that does Perfect. nothing. Perfect. Done. Okay. And then for you, he's, he's, well, he's doing... attacking his bird guy. So oh, that just changed that. to take that and that and. What 
Oh, the bird, oh, the bird doesn't have, he doesn't have a defense. Doesn't have a defense. Oh. Yeah. So you better hope he misses. Ouch. So he hits him for two? Yep. Can I reroll? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah, can, yeah. he can. He gets yep. the one combat, yeah. What, what am I... So you're taking you two hits right yeah. now. Oh, there you go, now just so one. So now just take one health off your birdie. And then you get one blue. Uh, yep. And and do you want to reroll that one? No. Oh, that was good, yeah, that okay. was good. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay, go. Next. okay, that wasn't too bad, only your friend got hit. Sweet. We got lucky there. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, level up. up. I'm, I'm only, only at three. Five. Four. Okay. Yeah. Darkness. Uh oh, mob time. Oh, so let's man. spawn the mob, a spawn pool thingy at the um, beginning of the level there. And it's going to be demons. demons. We have three health each, one blue die on combat, so it's attack or defense. Attacking or defending hero discards a mana. Okay, there you go, Kyle, if you want to draw him a weapon. Oh, what level are we at? We're all at two, right? Yeah. So it's yeah, still from the same deck. Okay. All right, so we got ranged and melee. Okay, Sweet. and then the pool where we're standing up here, we're gonna spawn another mob. It's gonna be the satyrs or satyrs, however you say that again. Uh, three health, one blue for defense on attack only. If they get a claw, they will get plus hit. So, so no. they're being oh sorry, there you go. Uh, they're, they're being added in here. Oh, so, whoa. Whoa. no no no, wrong deck. <laughs> Shuffle that back in. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> Uh, they also have ranged them at like. Yeah, that's why I think they have the separate decks, is so it's always yeah. offensive stuff in their deck. But there are some things that are in the regular deck, I think, but maybe not. But there's similar abilities. Okay, the space is getting packed. Yeah, it's getting getting busy up there. Say tears, say tears. Say tears. One hundred percent correctly. Whoa, that's a first. <laughs> that's a first. Satyrs, satyrs. I think it is. In the picking and choosing which cock die you reroll is rubbing me the wrong way. I'm sorry, Matthew. Matthew, I told you, man. I see it. It bugs me too. All How the time. do you want me to do I, it? I, for like decades, I've been watching her do this. Not decades, probably a decade. <laughs> but I, 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 no, it's ever since we got these chip theory yeah. leather trays. They cock dice like all the time. They're annoying. <laughs> But I do like them for stream because they don't take up much space. You can see the dice in them very easily. But that's my negative. And I think that's why Chip Theory I don't think makes these anymore or has them available very often. And they're trying to do those dice towers now. Because um, that is a problem with those things. I um, can go back to the cups. I do have one here. I thought of using it, but the, I tested it with like six dice and they're and all they like laying around like, in Yeah, they don't like yeah. shake up real well. Yeah, I tried it with this game. I was testing it before streaming today. I was like, hmm, should we all use these again? But I was going to use one over here, but then it's like, eh, whatever, I can reach. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, yeah, just, I'll just, just do this. Yeah, what, what but I don't know what. I don't no, know. Reroll it. Cock die, reroll. Cock period. Die, re -roll. Don't shake the tray. You just reroll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very weird. Just be consistent. You just have to do the same thing every time, no matter what. I don't yeah. think you shook the tray. Like, I rolled one. I don't one think I shook the tray. No, but I see her. She'll see the cock die, and then she stares for a second. She comes, like, three seconds. It's <laughs> like, it's a dual hmm. defense. I don't want hmm. that. Should I wiggle it, and maybe it'll flip this way? Or should I just pick it up and re-roll it? Will it get worse or better? And then she does whatever she thinks. But, like, it's not a quick grab and try to do it fast. She, like, thinks about it for a bit. And that's not what you should be doing. Jim, thank you for subscribing. Jim, welcome, thank you so welcome. much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it's our turn. Uh, I think so. All right. We oh, Who we flip our tokens. Who wants yeah. to kill our friend here? Do we spawn here? No. Nope. Oh no, that's we a don't. special we one. Don't. Yeah, duh, duh, that's duh, okay. Duh. That's why I put the token here to stop me from doing that. <laughs> this is crazy because now we have to open this door. Yeah, I thought we were going to yeah, kill this guy this time. Nope. Yes. But this is all XP on the board, so we can kill this stuff without dying. We just get levels up. We're ready for the next yeah, quest yeah. better. So it's like good. All right, so who uh, should be the... We need to kill I the mean, angel first so he's not giving extra defense I, to the other mobs. Yeah. I mean, I could go... Yeah, because your guy could go as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you go. I mean, he can go now. Especially because if he's at two, he could die. But who do I attack? Who can get him. four damage through on this guy more likely? That's what you need to do. I mean, he, he's rolling a... You roll the shadow die. That could get a lot of swords on him. He's rolling this first, so this is his free action. Just don't forget to, to take this. your uh, little element at the start, too. That might change what you... Well, don't forget you roll an extra yellow already. Oh, yeah, you I got don't your... Know, but who's attacking, me or him? Well, I think you get one free. Your choice. So he attacks for free once anyways. But I think I should attack. Yeah, you can choose him at the end of your turn. Better. Middle of your turn, Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll attack. Sure. So I'm going to go up... On the James fire. has a question. Uh, when spawning mobs, do you get to choose which portal to spawn them at? 
Uh, what we do, I don't know what it says in the rule book, you'll have to look that up, but we've always done, since we started playing Zombicides 10 years ago, we point at the spawn we're spawning at, and we draw the card. So it's we don't draw and then choose, but yeah. you might be able to choose in this game, we just don't do it that way. I, I don't know, you'll have to look it up and do it however you, you want, but... Black and blue. It might be open, I, I don't know, I just don't want to look that up right now, but... Because we're just going to play consistently. Oh, Tiny says green spawns first, then purple. Okay, that's what we did. That's what we did, uh, so that was perfect. Does it, though? I don't know. That's what Tiny says. I can't remember reading mm -hmm. that either, but maybe it is in there. Maybe she's just calling out what you did. I don't know. Yeah, we always choose. Oh, you choose before revealing the card. That's what we did. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what we do. Huh. Whatever. All right, uh, this is your roll on. My roll, I get one re-roll or two. I get two re-rolls. Yep. So he's not blocking anything. I'm blocking, and this happens or no? Uh, not unless you reroll it. Oh, oh yeah, because he, he's defending right now. So yeah, he yeah, will so add an extra I blue die want, and heal. Want to reroll this? Okay, you get two. Oh, I want to reroll this again. There you yeah. go. Yes. Did you take your mana at the start of the or your I did. element? I moved okay. up that, okay. and then I get one for the yep. attack. But I think that I think this kills them because you have one, two, three. Four. Four, four hits. No four defense. Hits. He's dead. He's dead. But spend your mana however you want. Cause... I just spent my mana. Okay. Well, you got one on the die too, right? I, did, I spent that one. Plus your one that you got from your weapon? I did one fire at the start. From oh, this okay. One. oh, okay. Yeah. And I did another fire for the attack, and then okay. I did one wind. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We're just making sure, because if you start missing at each no, attack, no, I, I, slowly you're going to find fall behind the curve and yeah, not be able to do no, your no, super no, powerful okay. abilities. I'm okay. doing it. So you kill an enemy, so you get one. XP. I get one? Well, for Every now. Every time you remove a figure from the board, one XP for the person who caused it to okay. be removed. Now we all get four. Because he's the only monster. So five one, two, total three, for the killer, four, four for everyone else. Yep. Okay. Uh, so next step nine. is a treasure phase. The treasure he thing, gets right? one treasure, yep. No, uh, so six, you draw one you draw from one six, six, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so you get draw, to draw, draw one from draw here. Draw one from the bag. Which we know is common, actually, because the rare is right here. Draw one from the bag. Mm -hmm. I want to follow the flow, oh, know, so as we go through the game, we just keep doing it correctly. Okay. So now put it back in the bag and draw the common on it. That's all. You're just looking at the token and putting it <laughs> yeah, back. And then That's it. It. Now draw. <laughs> no, now grab a token. So you just, just put pull it, it out. I did put it back. Yeah. I know. Hey, Jeez, man. Get your hand out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you pull it out. You're just looking at it and you're putting it okay. back in to know yeah, what to which pile. Common. Yep. Which is a focus potion. So in combat, I can reroll two. Oh, that's a that's different a... named potion, but we have all thrown away our heels, haven't oh, we? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Oh, no, five so he has, so has, so that's perfect. Remember, we need to five different named potions as one of the campaign oh, objectives to right. trade them in at town? Right. That's a different named one, right? So, okay. And and the cool part is, I think we can buy mana potions in town. So if we buy the mana potion, it's a third one. So we just need two others from one of the decks that are different named potions. <laughs> mm -hmm. If we want to go for that, that one. And I can't use them. Got it. You well, can you can if you, you need to. We don't want to die. <laughs> but we, can, we have the whole quest uh, to do, or could, the whole we campaign. Could push our luck, though. But but how often are you gonna? We don't draw much loot. Yeah, and how often are you gonna see potions? That's true. I know. That's true. It's rare, right? It is rare. Uh, and okay. who knows what that campaign card is you get for doing that? Maybe it's like some super potion thing or something. Maybe an, yeah. Mm, okay, so I'm not gonna attack these satires. Mm -hmm. Satires. Satires. The satires. Uh, Rob, how did you say it again? Uh, it's it's sat satyrs. 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 Satyrs, I think. Satyrs. Uh, James is asking, why not spawn them furthest away from you so you have time to make a plan before they're on top of you? We have to spawn at both of them. Yeah. Because we're playing three heroes, we actually have a spawn point in our starting space down there, and we have a spawn point up here that you can't see, a purple one, and it's underneath these guys. So we have two spawn points in play. This one doesn't count because it's just an objective thing. So we have to spawn them at both when, we, when we're spawning mobs. But the purple one is where you spawn roaming monsters always. But because we're just drawing from a random deck, it doesn't matter which spawn point we spawn first, because it's randomized from a deck. So like, who cares, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at we it. We just always pick before, so it, it doesn't satyrs, look like satyrs, we're satyrs, satyrs, picking and choosing satyrs. based on the enemy itself. Where are Rob's card holes from? Uh, they're from E-Raptor. There should be a link in the video description, I think, but maybe there's not. I don't know if I put it in there. So you're attacking these guys? Yeah, with my Sorry, fire yeah. sprite. You got a defense in there? Yeah, one. Oh, there's you no got a, oh, the, oh, yeah, okay, go. They're, they're one. They're one, yep, this is your fire guy. Fire guy, one, and yep. one. 
Uh, oh, okay. So he does one get through, and then he does fire on fire them, right? Them, yeah. Here's a fire. Sorry, I flipped the wrong way. Fire on them. And then you have one damage? Do you have damage over there? I do, I do. And one damage. So that was his free little thing. Mm -hmm. um, and you still have two actions, right? Because you killed him for a shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice. now I, myself, so now I will do my attack on the same guys. So two yellow, blue, and I'm still in shadows. Oh, you gotta roll the black ones. Sorry, these ones. Oh yeah, forgot this one. Yeah. Yes. I didn't roll the black for the the, uh, the fire guy. Oh yeah. Okay, so roll the three black for them. <laughs> Stepping back. Uh, he would have a reroll. Yeah. So this is for the fire this guy. This is my fire sprite because I forgot. The there you one. go. Okay, so that's good. Now you'll Nothing roll them for you. Now this is what I rolled for. But myself. you need to roll those three. I know. For you. That's what I rolled. Doing this again. Oh gosh! Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? That's crazy. You need some re rolls. Yeah, but now this I is have, you. Which now you have two yeah, re rolls. Yeah, two re rolls. Which what are these even doing to me right now? Uh, the claws don't do anything to you. Just the scratches do one damage each, which Ooh. will kill you. Yeah, yeah. You need to at least yeah, get rid of yeah, yeah. one Please of them. Die. We do have two light lights to bring you back. Okay, okay, that's good. You can do one more. Well, I should. Uh, I'll try this one. Okay, that claw does nothing, so that's good, because only on attack. Okay, so one scratch. I'll just take this away now. Um, but I, Lots of mana. I am hitting them with two, and I have three mana, which... Um, you have and your weapon. And mana. your weapons, you have four. And don't forget the hit from here, if you did. I didn't do that one, I always forget that one. Oh, and you would do, so add one more, because the fire guy would have his hit as well. So add one more from your fire. Why is my fire... Because he went oh, first, and you only did one. Fire. Yeah, he gets an extra hit, too. Yeah, so one more for the fire, guys. But then, yeah, finish what you're doing here with your... Okay. <laughs> uh, Trumpet Gamer, I put the link to the card holders in the video description. You just have to refresh the page, and it should be there. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just up... Um... Oh, my fire again. Okay. That was one mana, and then I'll do. Yeah, I'll do two here. And you have one more from your weapon. And then one from my weapon. Do I want to max one out? It's up to you. You don't have to. Because I can do this. Yeah, no, I won't max. I won't do it. Okay. Okay. And now you have three hits. So, yeah, three hits go through. Yeah. So that just kills one. So you get one XP. You don't need to remove the two that are there. Okay. And then, I mean, I still have another attack left. Mm -hmm. Don't I? An action, you mean? An action, yeah. Yep. You could rest and just take, like, two health. I know, but I'm just going to do my Firestorm, because they don't... Yeah, that doesn't cause Oh, yeah, action, yeah. Though. So yeah, you don't, don't need yeah, those. They, they don't do a defense, either. Yeah. So I'm just and they have a fire on them now. Yeah. Um, oh, the combo is happening! <laughs> it's happening! Okay. Oh! So at least they get I one they get one, which will kill one more, so you can remove those two, <laughs> and one will go, and you'll get another XP. Yeah, let's take those two out yep. the way, and gain an XP, and I'll remove the miniature. So now there's just one minion and one leader left. the fire left. stays on? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now, you only roll one black die but on your me, last spend, attack. Cause I, so that was one, oh, yeah. two, and this was one. Yeah, you got to the max of another one. You could have. He could have, but he can. He yeah, still has one more attack. Oh he still has one more attack. I can do another oh attack God. to get one more, so oh it's fine. God. But I might, I might just rest, or I can spend my health. Oh, we don't want to spend the health. I don't think you're in danger. Yeah, to what's, be your, honest. what's your item? That door card you have. Does that help you if you do get attacked to get some extra defense plus one? Yeah, I, I don't this think you're. Kind of I don't think you're in danger if you do attack them. I can then move and open the door and don't see. I just rolled all claw like. Scratches. Oh, yeah, I guess. You're only rolling one black die, though, so... Oh, yeah, it's one less. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, as they dwindle down, you're Whatever, like, they're nothing, it's, it's fine. fine. I got okay, this. Okay, sure, I'll do the attack. Okay. I just don't know what did they you do roll? on offense. Yeah, you did roll purple. So they get extra hits and stuff fine, on offense. Fine. Purple, black, <laughs> blue. So this is right, right? Yes. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. Well, oh, you have a reroll man. first. I haven't. This is the first time I rolled that. Oh, I was talking about the black one. Sorry. I know. You get this all the time. It's no big deal for you. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, Whoa, I got it. <laughs> I don't even know what it does. Uh, I can go to the max for one of the element tracks. Oh, nice. So we have two rerolls over here and an extra hit. Okay, so it's going to three hits. He's going to block one, though. Well, block don't resolve one. your hits last, so yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah. take mana, I'm gonna level up your track. Yep. Yep. Reroll yep. this. There you yes. go. Now now reroll the defense. If you can get rid of that defense, oh, maybe not. The defense, or my odds better if I reroll one of these? You like mana, so I would reroll that because it could give you more mana. Yeah. But it could give you extra hits. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So two hits go through. Two, yeah. So two damage. Two There's damage. one away. I think uh, I just take my chances. Uh, oh, there's two guys oh, there. But then I go up one. I mean, I could I could kill him with the. Don't forget the man on here too. Yeah. And don't forget your weapon. Oh, in this. Oh, the man on here. Oh, I just did the mana. I increased the fire for my weapon, and then I just did the mana from there for this. Mm -hmm. You could flip that and spend it, and like activate that extra ability. Or. I'd, I could just potentially do another oh, firestorm, yeah, kill, and then Mel doesn't have to waste yeah, her turn. Yeah, your call, going. your call. Yeah. Um, but I will. I'll, I'll max um, the plant out. What does that one do if you get to the top? Sprites have plus one. Plus one, plus uh, one health. Yeah, that'll give that guy an additional level. health. Or the or I max out the water. Move the defender. Kyle, you could get the extra movement point one. Let that go all the way down, and then bring it back up right now. Oh, yeah, I could do it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you have the extra movement well, point all the time. But it only go down one, so it's kind of like a waste. No, no, you, no. you would go down Spend all. Spend the whole thing to get that ability turned on like you did for your yellow die. You flip the token, right? And then with this, you bump it all the way back up again. I'm going to flip the... Oh! Read the, read the beige like box at the top of the board. Yeah, yeah. Max yeah. it out twice. I see what you mean. So right now you could, like, resolve them. You've reached the max. You spend all four air. Yeah, so you can do the Firestorm now, right? No. No, no, no. Do oh, you just this ability max, first. Because I'm already up there. Yep. I can max it. Yep. yep. Now you have three movement points always when you're moving. And then now, now you're fired you up this. with the shadow yep. token. And I shadow it to Now the you can use your ability. Once right. you're done this action, right? Oh, no. Which I think you, he is. You're adding your orange die, right? Is that what you're doing? Well, I mean, the Firestorm, I could do... Oh, Firestorm, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either one, yeah. I'll do it at the end. So let's, let's, so the two I think you've already done the damage, yeah, that's it. This is already done. Yep. Okay, so now, now, now I'm going to do Firestorm. Then you applied storm. your hits and blocks yeah, and yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to do Firestorm. Gotcha, gotcha. Warning. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> two! Okay, so that kills one. Plus the fire damage, too, right? Doesn't it take three? Yeah, but it's, 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 a, oh, it yeah. only needs one. It takes this one only needs one, and then. So it's going to die on its turn when it rolls that yellow die, hopefully. So the, okay, deal wounds equal to damage to each enemy in range, and then so plus one damage. So I'm so doing you're one, doing two, three. Doing three. So, so he yes, needed one two. to die, so two are remaining. So two he's going to hopefully so I get, die. I get one experience for Yep. yep. And guy. then he's hopefully going to die in his turn. I'm going to ignore him. When they roll the yellow die. Hopefully. For the fire, hopefully. And I spent one yep. and two. Yep. All right. And your turn's done. Flip your token. Yeah. You good? Okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh, you haven't gone. Uh, I can go and open this door. Yep. Spawn Make here, sure. and yeah, we can yeah. see. Yeah, and then maybe okay. I can move in like this way. And but I'm him. debating that maybe I, we don't even worry about it, because then I come in, grab the stuff, and I start running towards this door. You do whatever you want. So we'll see what it is but, first. But like, is another mob we could get XP. Oh yeah, because we want to wait till level eight, round eight, anyways. One, two. And then I'll use my third movement point to move in, or to open the door, which will spawn a door card. And we're all still a level two? Yeah, door card first, sorry. Oh, sorry, door card, yeah. Fire oh. chamber, the active hero and all mobs spawned in this chamber take one fire. Okay, so oh. I take a fire. We'll and the spawn. mob we're spawning is an undead, who have four health each, they don't roll anything on defense, and when they're attacking, for every claw, they'll add a yellow die up to three yellow dice for a single attack. And then this mob takes two wounds, so they hurt themselves. Yeah, I don't mind these guys. Other than they have four health. And they start with fire. And they start with fire, if you will. Yep. And they're melee? Uh, melee, but and then attack, take one wound. No, cover oh, that cover ability. That cover up. that ability. That's oh. just for you when you get the loot. Yep. That's Only care about the bottom part. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, please. <laughs> 
Do I have, oh, I just got fire. I'm like, why do I have fire? And I from didn't, the door card. From, yeah, from the door card. Okay. Now I'm going to go in. So I'm going to move again. Action two. One, two. Got the objective token. I have yeah. another movement point, so, so I might scrolls. as well do yep. this. So that just so gets discarded. You get to draw one token from the bag, see what it is, which you said you know they're common. Yep. Kyle's going to draw you a common card, but we'll just double check. I don't think we put anything in there. Yep. Okay. Common loot. Okay, what did you get, Mel? Leather. Leather gloves. So it is a ring or accessory, and I can attack one mana. I can reroll one. Lots of rerolls happening. So now you have a reason to spend mana finally because yeah, you keep getting it, and you're just sitting there. I know. I don't have. I don't have a reason either. Yeah. So, but you'll find items that'll do it, and then you'll be like, you get a little cycle going as you're rolling yellow dice and getting mana back. Mm. Okay, so there's another play where I... That's why I always use my concentrations and spend mana before I attack so that I have mm. some empty mana to get back off the dice. I don't think I'm too worried about my health, but I probably should be. I only have five. I can attack in there once. You should let me go first with the move thing down so you can have more move and stuff, but whatever. Go ahead. Hmm. It's either now on my third action, do I go one, two, three, and open this door? Your call. You're, nothing's spawning, right? So it doesn't even matter. Well, maybe just by the door, but yeah. And I don't think we, yeah, and then we let them come out, and I'll come back here and fire in on them. One, two, and then I'll open this door. I think you will draw a door card. So that is our objective as well. Frozen Chamber, the active hero and all mobs spawn in this chamber <laughs> taking one frost. Cheapers. <laughs> all right, well. And that's your actions. That's my actions. Yep. That's so we get the object of the side quest now, or at the end of the mission when we win, right? Only at the end. It's at part of end? resolving. Okay. First, you see if you got the mission rewards, then you do the side quest rewards, and then okay. yeah. Because we have all. Because you only rooms. get it if you win. Okay. So obviously we can sense. get it now yeah, because we, we haven't know. won. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I could just move one to open that other door. And then they come out this direction, land in Kyle's space. I could just kind of go back in that space and wait for them. I don't want to go in there and fight them. You want to just kill the guy in your you, space first? You can go collect these. No, not yet. There's mobs. I want to take out mobs. That's like on the way out. Like, I don't need to go in there and get stuck in there and then... I know, but I was going to let them come out so, and then we all just... Oh, you don't have range. No, that's not how it's going to work. You don't want to kill the guy in your space? Is that what you're saying? I can to get the, 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 the stuff, but he's going to die on his turn and you'll get the XP. Like... If he dies from fire, you'll get you put the fire on him, right? Oh, but don't you want the experience? Because then we'll also level up. To we level get to three choose the who the, we get to choose who gets the XP in that case. Because like you're no, one, you're if one he put the fire on, he gets the XP. Who put the fire on him? Me on this guy. Me. Yeah, yeah this then, guy did. Well, then he, but his, he, his, his, his experience counts for me. Yeah, yeah, like it's, yeah. The controller good. gets it. Yeah, yeah. It's like if the fire that was put on by the door card kills something, then we decide. Oh, okay. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. But, like, I'm at 9. I need to get to 15. You're at what? I'm already at, I'm at 12. So I'm oh, going to level up. Oh, so wow, saying, okay. Do you want to get No, you got to get to 15. Oh, yeah, I know, but I'm at... But he's still but more than me. Yeah. Yeah, but... It, I get it, I get it. But if Rob kills him now, the sprite will get the experience, which means I'll get another experience, right? No. Only if he dies from fire on his activation. If oh. Rob you thought of because I'm in the same space. No. No, no, no. So oh, if Rob okay. kills him, Rob we will get, get two XP. Rob will get one, and then we all, we all get, get two. two anyway. yeah. yeah. So I'll just kill him then, or I'll try to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you won't level up this round. You'll right, probably so level just, up next I'll, round. I'll start by attacking. Give me some dice. Two yellows for me. He won't level up either, right? but it'll just be close. closer. Yeah. It'll be thirteen. Mm -hmm. I'll be fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I'd like to still fight another mob, like to then fight a mob. Get it, go up. Yeah, yeah, we can. I'm He's just... gonna die anyway, right? Yeah, true. But it's okay. We have those other guys there. I still might go and open the door and just come back so they come out and they're in our space here and we can all just fight them here. With okay. the consecration token, I don't have to waste mana. I, to do it I won't be able to do that, but it's fine. I don't that's fine. Uh alright, so two yellows. I'm here. This guy just rules one blue. Okay. Uh, so I got two hits. How many does he need? He needs one. So boom, he's dead. 
Unless you want to reroll anything for mana or for any other reason. No, I'm full on heal. On heal I'm full on mana. Do you uh, want to reroll? Do you get a shadow bonus from this? No, it's oh, just okay. recovering, which I'm full on both. Uh, I guess I could heal the buddy in the space. Yeah, let me spend a mana. I'll heal your buddy for one. Your fire fire dude. Your fire, what's he called? Sprite. Fire spirit or fire sprite? Spirit? Oh. Is it spirit or sprite? S P I R I T. Spirit. Yeah, spirit. I like sprite better. Whatever That's you want. Fine. You like sprite, I like coke. It's all good. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll heal one. And then I get a mana. Mm -hmm. And I do two damage, which is enough to kill this guy. So I get three XP, going up to 12. Mm -hmm. He's got a crossbow I'll take, which we've already seen before, but uh, whatever. That would be good I, for you, actually, yeah. but you're not in my space, so I can't give it to you. Okay. Um, now, on my second action, I will just... Uh, could spend a mana to give movement. No, I can't put it in there. Yeah, so I'll just go one, two to move. And then I'll do a movement point to open this door. And that other movement point to move back. And I'll wait for them to come around the corner and it will shank them. Mm -hmm. All right, done. It's all of us. Okay, mobs. So you can move those ones back there, but these guys are up in our space. Done. These guys are just gonna go. Easy peasy. One two. And dark uh, level up, level up. Anybody? I'm at twelve. Seven. Okay. Kyle, no. Twelve. No. All right. Did you? Uh, oh wait, oh, we I, didn't get two I, I, from, I, 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 but I'm still only at nine. Oh, sorry, fourteen. You should be at thirteen. I was at nine. I got three for killing that guy. Yeah, he's twelve. Only at twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Long day, yeah. long day. Yeah. All right, darkness. Does this guy get damage because he's fire at all? Does that happen? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. If they had fire, yeah, on you him, can yeah. roll. Yeah, a... So just roll a yellow die. No, roll a oh, yellow. We gotta roll a yellow die. Oh. Get Let's more see. than that. Two. Like two, yeah. Nice. And then the fire's removed. Okay. Why am I putting another fire on? <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's getting late. Darkness. Wow. Uh, call him in. This go goes in the bag. bag. Draw a green card for us, Kyle. Ooh. Oh, it's another. Yes. Sprint potion immediately. Yeah, you, here, here Kyle, he you takes can just hold, it. You can just hold the... it for so, now. Uh, so we, we only had to have three different, right? Five, Five. different. <laughs> but we can buy a mana <laughs> that'll get us to four. <laughs> but Five? we can store some items in town, mm -hmm. and we can also spread them out if we need, so we don't lose okay. them. But I want to get that like achievement. And Tiny's reminding us so we can actually level up in town and don't have to do it in the dungeon. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So if we don't have that phase. Oh, I see. If we're at XP and the mission just ends and we have enough XP? I didn't know that. I th think I didn't know that. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll deal with the town stuff when we get there. But yeah, that's a good point. Oh, you think you didn't know that? That's, uh, that's a new one. Because I read the town stuff earlier, but then I was like, we'll read it again on stream like when we get to that point, because I didn't know if we were even going to win this one, and we might not do a town until yeah, next week's yeah, episode. Yeah. So like, I read it once and was like, okay, cool, I get it. It's like way more simple than the Sword and Sorcery one. So I'm like, it'll make sense when we get there. Okay. Um, uh, and you just did darkness, so flip these over, yeah, and I think over. we are good to go. Okay. Can we do the... Oh, yeah. Do the what? Nothing. We did it. Who's Tre gonna go the first? Treasure thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, does that mean you wanna go first? Nope. I think you guys are getting the darkness yeah, bonu like bonus. I will see what happens. And I only have two actions. Good night, Tiny. See you, tiny. I might also just go pick these up for our collection as well. Yeah, since you grabbed all of the other ones. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. you guys, You're one of you guys. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> one of you guys can go first. Uh, and see what happens, I guess. All right, I'll just go. Sure. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's fine. I just need. I just one, need, two, three. I need one. So, so you should go first then. Cause why? Because you, you'll get an extra one for... I guess it doesn't matter because we all get something from the last guy, right? Yeah. So it yeah, matter. Right. yeah, okay. All right. Uh, are you going to move any tokens or you're good? Or? No, I'm leaving that there so we can get some bonuses on fighting. What, what so just do? The blue. Oh yeah, you can't have two in the same spot. So it's yeah, I know, I know. The blue one's the movement. 
I, mean, oh, so you're I might as well just take it back because it's like I'm, it's not nobody's going back there. I just haven't had a need to like move it. They don't roll defense. Hey. They don't roll defense. Sorry. Yeah, and then they hurt themselves if uh, they're attacking us mm -hmm. based on claws or something. So this one, the black dial do nothing. Yep, so I'm removing from the tray. Then you have the two mana, one hit, a blank. Okay, pass me the um, purple. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, pass me the yellow blank. Okay, so that is five hits. So, so resolve that, however, I don't know. I can something. remove one and then uh, add, and add one yeah, damage. Add one. No, 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 remove one character for four and then just add one damage. You had two there already. Yeah. Oh, he did so five. Yeah, yeah. Five total. And then you yeah, get yeah, an XP. Three away from. One XP, I'm at 13. Two more. Okay. Yeah, let's just. Uh, anyone need to heal in the space? Kyle, Kyle you need does. to heal? I would have spent a mana to heal you. Heal me what? Just one? Yep. And one then I took four. a mana back off that yellow die. Yep, yep, yep. Forgot about that. Okay, blanks for those. Get him out. You have a shadow and two Every hits Every hero in the consecrated zone, so that's... Me and the fire guy? Yep, no, can do a here. recover after this uh, com after this action. Oh, so just Kyle will get you. That's so that good. means you can take mana, Kyle, and bump up your bars, or like heal, or whatever mix you want to do that. Um, but I will just... So I'll, re I'll re-roll... Um, this one? Yeah, that one, sure. Yeah, same thing. So that's three more hits. Okay. So uh, yeah, so two stay. And then this is a different one. So technically I can heal again and take that mana, right? Mm -hmm. So Kyle, heal one on your hero, right? You can take one more health? Yeah. Yeah, and then four. I'll take the mana back off that die. And you then get one, one can I recover week? at the end of the... Uh, uh, after this, now. now. So you can take so two mana. Three recovery. So two mana, one health, and a mana. I don't know how much uh, health you can hold, but... You know, I'm, I'm full on health. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. No, I can take one more. It's up to you, however you want to mix it up or whatever. We get full at the start of the next quest anyway. So I don't know if you get something for, like, it's leveling fine. up your... It's fine. I don't want to have to worry about it. So one, and then I'll take a fire. Okay. Uh, and then are you doing one more? Yeah, sure. Might as well. Yeah, what else am I doing? That's not yellow. No. Okay, okay. this is blank. I'll just reroll this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lots of mana. Can I heal anyone else? Anyone else? Heal, heal. Um, so yeah, I'm full on mana anyway, but uh, three hits, whatever that does. Mm, that's one more done. That's another one done, and then just remove. I'm at the magical yep. 15. Yeah, that's where I want to be. All right, uh, I'm done. Go ahead. So, I don't think I need to move. I, I wonder if it's better... Oh yeah, let me um, let me spend a mana. I'm gonna put this here. Why? Sort of, uh, I'm only at nine. Sure. Because you'll still get to the okay, fifteen either, right? Put but I don't know. Here. Moving points. Put that there. Okay. Fun times. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, I said go. Okay. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna deal with my fire issue. One. <laughs> Fire's gone. Now your frost okay. issue. Okay. My frost issue. I remove an action, <laughs> so I only have two actions this turn. So I'm going to attack first. Two. He doesn't roll any. I'm not in the shadow. I think I'm just straight up attacking with him doing nothing. I thought that was your roll. That was my fire. Oh. For my hit. For, yeah, this is on them. Uh, I need to do a couple more hits than that. Oh, I didn't I didn't do my arrows. Sorry. You need to do two. One, two. Uh, three, four, five. Stop. Oh, yeah. So you're going to do fire on them. Yep. Okay. I will spend a mana, the defender takes two fire, and then the defender takes one fire. Okay. <laughs> now, now Kyle, I have, do your ability on him now. Go. <laughs> now <laughs> I have rerolls. I'll do one reroll on this one. Yeah, we need to let Mel go before you go yeah, uh, more often if she can do this kind of stuff. Right, because the plus one? Oh no, you're not uh, in that range one, anymore. One, two. Nope. Oh no. Oh, I did. I couldn't even reroll that then. Sorry. Whoops. whoops. Oh, I, yeah. oh, I can spend a. Oh, I could have. I could have with my own mana. Here. I could have moved this one instead, but I nope, didn't realize okay. what you were doing. I thought you were just going to move and go get the tokens and stuff. I didn't realize you were. Oh, but fight. I just don't get that extra. No, yeah, right. that's okay. That's okay. So I only hit for, for three. two. I hit for two. Oh, yeah, two, two, two. So two damage. But that's okay. I can do one more because I have one more action, and that'll kill him. Oh, let's do. Well. 
They'll die though, right? I know, but I want the XP. Well, right. But you'll get you'll, the XP if they it. die from fire because you put the fire so, on yeah, them. So don't, don't oh yeah, so it. then don't do it. So then I'll move. One, two, three, and I had four for yeah. that. So pick up those. Yeah, you're right, you're right. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Done. Uh, yeah. Now what do Finish I do? Finish him. Kill the guy, get some XP. Oh, then he gets the XP, no, not me. We want her to get the XP because she's further Oh, behind. that's right. That's why I probably should just so kill them, just so then... Pass? Or you just do... Do those guys have range attacks that are down the hall? Yep. Yeah, so they'll step yeah. one and they'll fire one, but it's only like one yellow die and like three black. And you have two defense. I know, but I'm thinking, do I just go down there and... You'll take one... Mm, you'll take one wound, wound leaving the space. Oh, yeah, shoot. Sorry, I can rewind what I did and just hit him. And I'll just grab you these could also, next time. Kyle, you could also just on your turn move this guy in our space and let him take the hits from them. And then you just go and attack. Well, I could use my actions to just move him down the hall. Yeah. And then he could do a yeah. shot at them, right? Uh, I don't know if he'd get far enough. Yeah. Well, it's one free move. And then... Two yeah. movement points, though. So you go one, leave uh -huh. the space, take a damage. And then yeah. one, one from one of your actions. And then he could fire. And then could two fire. actions to fire on them. Oh, he's melee. He's not, he's not ranged. Oh, yeah, yeah, so sorry. Gotta... Never mind. Yeah, he's melee. He's got to get in the space. So he just one attack. And we probably want them to come around the corner yeah. so we can True. But we, them, we don't but... even, like, I don't know. Unless you really want the XP. But... We're also going to get more enemies yeah. that are going to spawn yeah, right here. So more mods, I don't so know like, that you want to put them on that probably side. Probably just end it. You know what I mean? Like. So it's your mm. call. Do you want me to then rewind that and you well, pick up these two tokens? Get, I still get this. I still get an element because it, it's still my turn. Yes. It's still my turn. Yep. Take so an I'm element. I'm still doing this. But you might just, like, you just pass your turn. It doesn't really matter other well, than they're going to come. Well, you can just rest and get mana. Oh, yeah, I can rest. But what does that do carrying forward, though? Like, next quest, he resets his little magic board there. Yeah. Oh, but I could just we'll do it for kicks right now. <laughs> okay. But I would still move this guy in for free, so he takes a shot from them when they come oh, around get, the corner. I get one extra movement point. For myself. Yep, 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 correct. Mm, I wouldn't move him because I'd rather him there for when something spawns there. Because he's melee. Right? Yeah, but we might not worry about it. It depends on what. I think we'll be done by then. Well, that's why I don't care if I leave him there. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever. I mean, I also get to, I also get to keep the XP. To so, so what you I'm can trying kill to say him. is just pretty much you can pass your turn and it doesn't really matter. And yeah, then, so then just get onto the town phase. Just kill him. It's fine. <laughs> I'll still get the 2 XP. I'll carry yes. it over to the next. Yes. And then I'll be able to level no, up early. How much do you need? I know, don't, not enough. No, that's fine. I need five. Uh, six. I need six. Oh, well then yeah, we're not getting you, you to the next level yet. No, that's what I'm saying. So he just kill him. But you can do that at the start of the next one. Like Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. Fine. Oh, I think I have to get into here on my turn. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, You're the one so. who has to end it. So am I killing him? Yeah, go ahead. Do you, can you level up right now in the town phase? Around? I'm at 14. No, then you might as well do it, because some, but you, one of you needs to level up, but right now yeah, neither of you will, right? I'll do, I'll do, I'll yeah. do. We would have, because he's going to die from oh, the... Yeah, cause oh, yeah, you'll still get the two. Yeah, I'll still get the yeah two. he'll still get the two. So I'll fine, just get I'll an pass. additional one. It's just one XP difference. I know. No, Why don't pass. Just go. This time of one XP difference. <laughs> We're talking through options, man. Yeah, or two, two XP difference, right? That's fine. Yeah, you can kill him. No, it's one. No, it doesn't matter. I'll wait. Okay. Please just go. I'm skipping. Kill. Well, I'm resting. And you're not moving this guy at all. No. So who's gonna take the hit from the these guys? Let me take the hit. Because these guys are gonna come around the corner and, you and are, fire down. You want more defense? Sure. Okay. I don't know what they do on their attack though with the claws. Attacking or defending, hero discards one mana. Oh, oh okay, that's not bad. That. That okay, cool. So we're all done? Yeah. I'll okay, just... mobs. So just roll the dice, Kyle, for this guy, the yellows. Peach, First. I do want to wait for the blue item. I do. It's like in two rounds. Where's the blue item? Right here. Oh, this? If we're waiting for that, then let's do it. I'm so sorry. Kyle, do your turn then. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize we were waiting for this. I just thought we were gonna end it. We didn't need to wait like longer. But, but we don't have to. But that's a if rare just, treasure. I know. Like, we, it was so so rare. Okay. Uh, so I am attacking. Yeah. Do I'm... a whole turn, Kyle. Rip <laughs> some stuff apart. Run down the hall. Whatever you want to do. Okay. I'm attacking him. So I'll just count that as my. You one. can even go to Mel and trade these things off from her. He doesn't defend, right? And I'm in shadows, so I'm just I just gotta roll these two. This is this was uh yeah so. So um, you only need one hit. So he's it's dead, like he but you defend. can you can dead, do the mana but thing. Sure, I max out this. Wow. And now you give your element to uh, all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. And now he gets an extra health. 
Not you, the no, no, your element. Fire guy. Your fire guy. The fire spray. Fire guy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this guy's dead. Okay. Okay. So I'm removing this guy from the board, so we one, all two. get two XP. Kyle, you Kyle get three. three. I'll trade you. Did you get a weapon? Yeah, undead sword, attack, take one wound, and then plus one yellow die. Undead sword came from the undead guys. That was happening see, yesterday. What does it do? Maybe I can take it. Take one wound to add a yellow die. Yeah. And you got. That's not bad for you because you have I the would. heal. Yeah, I would do that. Okay. Better than I'll your just, bone yeah, knuckles. Yeah, if you don't mind. There you go. Thanks. Uh, and then I plus one mana for my weapon. Sure. And are you keeping your fire element there? Um, I was going to, because something's going to spawn there, and I might as well just attack it. Sure. Oh yeah, we can just fight that and get some mm -hmm. mana off it. We don't need to really worry about those guys back there. So, then I have, I mean, I got two actions left. Jeez, man. Oh, but it someone's going to level up, right? Yeah, we both we all, yeah. So we're going to be drawing from level the threes. higher level mobs. So we don't even know. Heart, bigger health, probably more defense. <laughs> more vicious. Okay. Well, I can rest twice. You I only do, yeah, yep. Yeah. Which will bump up my stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. You get all the extra. So, so, two and two. One, two, one, two. Nice. Okay. Sure. And then I'm done. Okay, we're all done. And you didn't want to move him at all, right? Because you want to fight what's there. Just I, yeah, because sure. he's. Makes sense. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Yeah, Just yeah. making sure. I'll Just leave him sure. there. Leave him there. All right. Uh, is that all of us? Yep. Yep. So enemies are going to go, yeah. they're going to move into this space, and now they have line of sight in their range, uh, I, right? I, I vote they attack Kyle because he rolls more blue dice. Yeah, so <laughs> they're attacking for a I'll yellow. Kill you, don't worry if you get to <laughs> oh, I'm full health. I know, I know. Oh, look, oh, at, this. look, look at you, this. defense. Okay, they don't do anything. Okay. Great. Done. Uh, oh, I got to discard one mana because of their oh. combat. Oh, they, no. didn't, they didn't roll. It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, we forgot to roll all the claws? Oh, oh yeah, we forgot yeah, to roll the noobs. Claws. Sorry, go ahead. Three of them? Yeah. So you actually take a wound, oh, but I can you have a combat reroll. Yeah, you have one. Use it wisely. Oh, yeah. nice. So now you just have to lose the mana. Sorry, sorry, we got it. It's all good. Sorry. Rodden, I know, you gotta keep an eye on these guys. They're like, they try to, like, you know, fudge a little bit. <laughs> I just bit. got excited. Yeah, forget about the plaque. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's leveling up? Uh, I'm at 17. So am I. So I'm going down to two. I'm at 11. And I'm, I'm going, going down to two. So I just get to hold one extra mana now, and I'll take that mana difference. So, so yeah, you just get one mana for that, not the extra health. Yeah, because it's just the same as we already had. And then you get to pick another skill. Yeah, another skill. Wow, was not prepared for the second skill. Oh man. I think based on how crappy our rerolling is, I should probably upgrade my boldness to give us two rerolls on attack and an extra hit. Yeah, I'm <laughs> thinking of doing the same with my Firestorm too. Wait, I can only do level level three, right? Yeah. yeah. But you could do one, two, or three. Anything three or lower. Yeah, no. I'm going to do Firestorm level two. James, good night, good night. Good night, James. It's been fun watching. It's been fun so having you here. I just take Firestorm one out. Uh, yep. Is it the same in the next level? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It just replaces it. Yep. There's no level two? It is? It is oh, level two. I never mind. I'm looking at I know. Yeah. There's two levels Yeah, on they this. make it weird because then... I call it a tier yeah. is what's on the top, but the level requirement is yeah. what's in the black. It's, it's yeah. I know, it's very weird, but... Okay. You both leveled up? Yep. Lost your piece. Okay. Uh, darkness? Mob spawn time. Oh my god. So I'll shuffle these. Whoops. I'll shuffle these. And we'll just do this consistent. We'll spawn in the entry back there. Oh, they're already here. So the uh -oh. demon's already here. So what happens is they replace that yellow card with this card and they get a free activation right now. So give me that yellow card and put that card down. They keep all damage and anything else they had in the same all weapon. Right. One, two, three. Are we still having them attack Kyle? Uh, sure. There you go. You can roll. <laughs> I don't want to be in charge of that. He doesn't need those mana tokens. You do have one re-roll. What, do what they is do the claw for now? Is it different? Uh, same thing. Same thing? Discard one mana. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Just their health is Sometimes different. Sometimes it gets worse. Uh, okay. So you so block the one hit, so that's good. Yeah, that cancels out. That's good. These, sure. And you have one combat re-roll. 
Oh, oh nice. jeepers. Nice. So take a hit and lose two mana? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't see, all why right. I, see why I said you should move the fire guy down to take all the hits for you? <laughs> all right, and the mod that's uh, appearing up in our purple spawn zone is the skeletons. The level tier three or four skeletons here. Three health each, two defense. On defense, for every two claws they get, they add one skeleton minion to this mob if possible, unless the attacking hero discards a mana. There's my, wait, my fire spirit isn't a hero, right? It. It's not, I thought, right? It's a hero for like pull, figuring out attacks for being targeted and targets, and all that, but it's not for the health on these big guys. When it says like seven helper hero, oh, well, for the the text when it says like the, the hero. Yep. It's considered. It's a considered hero. a hero. Yeah, but he doesn't have mana, so he can't spend yeah. it anyway. Okay, can you give him a weapon out of the orange cards of the mob ones now? Oh no. Yeah, yeah which stronger. would be worse. <laughs> What is that, two orange? Two orange. Melee? Oh my god. We want that weapon. Yeah. We want that. We want that weapon. Two orange on a melee? Rob wants that weapon. Yes. Uh, Or anybody, like, I I guess, yeah. Well, you're the melee guy, so. I know, but he could become the melee guy, too. Like, it doesn't, he doesn't have to stay, but I know he likes his mana, but he could be getting orange dice also. Only leader left, so no black. That, I think we're, I think that was. Oh, Peaches is behind. Uh, I think it was when we were doing this yeah, one, but, but then. We're James, th- thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good night. If I didn't say it already, I'm so sorry. Edgar, do you mean it's stupid having, when you pull the card and they're already in, that they get another activation? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter's dropping in, so I don't really know this game at all. What is this about? Hunter's, Hunter's been here for a while, because Hunter said earlier Hunter, that I'm they were I'm not were answering new. that question. <laughs> you can rewind or go watch yesterday's stream where I explain it, or look it up online. Uh, we've already been playing long enough. I can't. Kind of like a zombicide. Yeah, yeah. Someone else in the chat maybe can explain it for you, but uh, <laughs> that's, got, a loaded, gotta, that's a loaded question. we got to gather these weapons before bedtime. That's a loaded question. Uh, <laughs> for Element Oh, for being Element a being a hero. Yeah. Oh, you tabbed out no, and just came back now. Nice, nice. That's okay. <laughs> you watch as we finish and you might oh, get okay. an idea. All right. Uh, what was happening? Uh, we so started, yeah, we started yeah. mob. We're flipping we're this over and we're yeah. figuring out who's going first. So we have to go this round. Oh, we end just have of this to round end, we get. Yeah, next yeah. round we can end it. Okay, so let's try to play this round quicker. One, two, three. Uh, I mean, I can attack these guys with my spirit. Then I can go. I like it. Yeah, I go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, so because they're not a hero and I can't do the whole mana thing, then they're adding one skeleton minion. No, only if they roll claws, man. They have to roll two claws. Oh, so right. it's all, you got to attack claws. them first and all that stuff. Okay, so they're rolling two. So, question. My, my no, guy. no, no. Before I want you do the that. fire, though. I want them to have fire. That's my problem. Oh, I see. So if but you're... that's what I'm saying. Before you do an action, do one of your abilities. That could thin the herd, so they're rolling less black dice, which means less likely to roll two claws to then add a skeleton to the mob. Get it? Oh, like my attack. Something. Uh, no, no. Unless you want me to go first. You got something else that did like. Oh, yeah, yeah the no, firestorm, shot. but that's better if they have flames on them. Do you want me to go first? Just puts flames on them. That's what I was saying. I but then he has the chance of adding more skeletons. Yeah, because yeah, he can't block it. Oh, I can't so. block it either if I went first. But I mean, having only, more skeletons is not the worst. I could go first and see if we can get fire. Oh, I didn't even shuffle. But it's your call. You could just do an attack first. With, with I mean, you, Kyle, you have you have three rerolls now, so you could try to re-roll, re-roll yourself out of claws. But you can just spend a mana. You have one mana, so you can stop that from happening. Yeah, if yeah I so did the attack first. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. You have to be the attacker. Unless you want me to go first and see if I get fire on them. Yep. No. Okay. We should just attack and do our stuff. I know. Okay. I'm just trying to get XP because so I'm the only one like I'm behind on level attack. here. So uh, yeah, but sure. you can come here and fire down there. Yeah. Like I can only attack here right now yeah, efficiently. Sure. Same oh, with Kyle. Okay, so I'm starting. I'm gonna move that up to the max, and I'll attack with myself. Unless you want, like, unless we want to let Mel, but no, it's Mel's fine. better do like the. I guess it's all doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Three black, right? Three black. I just need four, so. Three black plus two plus one purple. I think that's everything. Mm-hmm. Or should I do, I should probably do my basic spell first where I just roll an orange. 
Will you do that with the attack? So you can roll that first, and then you spend the elements and add All the range. Right. You also have a heal on there. Did you see that? Yeah, I know. Okay. When you were down to two, you could have. You mean I've been doing no, all this no, no, healing actually, for nothing? I, I, I haven't it's been fine. increasing my plan. I know, I know. That's right fine. Much, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so they, no defense. And three, four, five hits. And a scratch and two claws, which I don't want them to have. Well, you, have, you have three rerolls. We'll keep these. And we want to kill them, like wipe them out this round. Like the more miniatures we take off the board, the better. Okay. Roll this. Nice. So now they won't add an extra, extra I probably thing. Probably don't want them to have a claw, so sure, I'll do that. No, one claw is fine. Oh! The, 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 the uh. wound is. <laughs> oh! oh. You suck. Uh, so you spend a mana. mana. Just spend a mana and you'll stop them from spawning. Spend a mana. Okay, done. <laughs> and then they did block anything, and you did one, uh, three, three, four, five, five. six. So that takes two Six, of them. Two of them, I got. Wow. So, so two, two XP, XP huh? and now they can't get that again. So you're fine. Two XP. So now you can have your buddy go if you want. Yeah, but is it worth it to do it right now? Sure. Well, it's better than doing nothing. He gets a free attack, so just do a free attack. Sure. Why not? Right? Attack plus two blacks, right? Just one. You only have one. Right, one. Sure. Jess, hello. Hey, Jess. Uh, so one clock. Moab, Utah. Oh, awesome. I remember something that happened last summer that hit the news in Moab, Utah. Anybody? Anybody? True crime case? Anybody? I don't the Moab that. police were involved. Body cam footage. White van? Anybody? No? No. Okay. No. I'm blanking. All right. Same. We'll let the chat answer first. Oh, defense, defense die. die. Oh, yeah. One. They block one. I don't know what you... Mm, the sprite. The sprite can't reroll. Yeah, he can reroll. You can reroll. He can reroll three. I believe it. This place is a desert. Yeah, it is. It is 100%. <laughs> okay, so... The claw is pretty tough. What did uh, your... What did your guy roll this? Did he roll that? No, it was two. So two, yeah, I already put two on oh, two, okay, and then okay. I got the fire. So okay. I basically, I, I did roll the these, it just, I blanked them out. Okay. Okay, that was his free action. Oh, that was where oh, that was. that. Yeah, you all know, as soon as you know, it's like Wait, everyone busy say, while we're in lockdown. You just have to say hiking. And nope. That, and no, I, I still wouldn't have got it. Nope. it. I wanted to see you guys get it based on the original body cam footage oh. that caused all the new stuff. I'm going to drop a link I in the chat. I thought it was something very different. Yeah, yeah, I'm so pretty sure, thing. right? Uh... Like that's where she got pulled over, but that, I only that's where. She oh, that's was, not where it actually yeah. happened. Yeah, but. yeah, but it's it's what started it all off was the Moab's police, yeah. I think, body cam footage. Uh, I just dropped in a link in the chat for those plus who are curious. Plus one from Aura. Oh yeah, did you count the plus one? I did. That was the. Oh, he rolled two, so then that would I kill. Maybe I didn't roll two. Maybe it was one. I thought I added it correctly at the time. Okay, I don't. We don't know what his die was. He doesn't remember. Yeah, it's I'm fine. Pretty sure I added it correctly at the time. Um, okay, so that was my free, and then I'm just gonna go now. Okay. Yeah, I remember that true crime case like was on like every, uh, at least every English speaking, like UK, Australia, Canada, US was like on the news every right. day That's right. for months while they tried to follow this guy and find the missing girl. It was uh... Okay, you gotta reroll that one. I am gonna reroll oh. I'm just gonna take these ones out. Or this was a cock die, not a reroll. Yeah, it's a cock die. So the claw doesn't matter now because you need two claws. So claw that's good. Claw doesn't matter. I'm. That's gonna. If you have four, they're dead. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. Well, he's blocking one. One, two, three. Oh, so one. Three. So you do have three, three rerolls. Uh, let's reroll this one. Oh. You reroll it again. Yeah, it is sad, Jess. It is sad. Oh. What about you? What if you? Oh, I don't know. Reroll one of these. Oh, that's sure. That was two, this is three. Ah, same thing. Same. Okay, so it's one shy? Well, yeah, so three get through. Um, so it, it kills... It just kills one, just one. like those two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One. And you get one XP. Yes. Ah, so he's sitting there with one one damage remaining. That's fine. I, I can... When I get two... Do you have... Sure. One and one. And you took one at the start of your turn? Oh, and you had for your weapon. Oh, sure. 
one. I already took one at the start of my turn. Okay. And I have one attack left. Oh, there you go. If you only need right? to. Yeah. Uh, you no, attack. I, I attacked. Then I did the fire sprite. Then you just attacked. The spirit, and then I attacked. So you think you have the one, one left, but I can also just do my. I'm going to do my thing. Do your thing. So two fire, one wind. I can roll two orange. And he's rolling defense, right? Mm hmm. And, yeah, yeah. So three, oh, four. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, plus, plus one for the fire. It's done. He's done. Okay, so you get one for killing a, an enemy, and then two more. And then you get, we both get two. Yeah, I'm up to four. Oh, shoot. I'll break the minis. No, I dropped the card. And then we get this the skull axe, two handed attack. Ignore one claw, uh, sorry, one scratch. Wound. Wound? Yep. The defender <laughs> suffers it instead of you. And then it's two uh, orange. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that without you gaining your mana off your No, I wand. like my wooden stack. <laughs> yes. It's like funny, I keep taking weapons, I'm like, this will pair with this, but then now I got this, so it's like, I'm never going to use that again. But don't worry, we'll trade them all in, we'll use it to buy cool stuff, don't worry, it doesn't matter, I won't, I won't keep all this. Mm -hmm. But yeah. No, it's all as a group, you'll see. I'll, I'll buy you something nice, don't all worry. Right, all right. Something shiny? <laughs> something shiny. We called them scratchies, says Keith. Yeah, yeah. I think they're called wounds. I just don't know what the claws are really called. Are they just called claws? they got to have a better name than that. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, I'm not done. That was my thing. I still have a move. Should I... Do I need to get... You still through? have a move? Yeah, because I, that was a free one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You still have a move. Do, do I, like, try and join you? Or, like, what, what's the uh, plan? I'm going to come up to here, and I'm going to fire down just to try to get... I just need two more XP, so I'm just going to see what I can do. Hmm. Mm hmm but because we're gonna exit next round, so. But here's the thing: you, someone needs to trade those from you. Then, if you're you're not gonna be the one. I will, but we're exiting next round anyways. Oh, okay. So okay. I'll be here, and then next round I can go one, two, yeah, but three, what if you need and to then stay there to keep firing just to earn some more XP. Well, I only need I only need two, and then I can level up. That's okay. fine. Okay. What, what is there? I'll, I'll four rest, damage and two blue dice. Like you might not get any damage through. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Uh, so I'll rest and. I know, I'm just gonna six. try. Like, okay, what I'm else done. am I doing? I'm done, I'm done now. Alright, I, I don't know what your plan is. Uh. I can, I can kill some guys, get some. Uh, I mean, I can go and just trade the tokens off you and stand here and wait. Yeah. Or do you want experience? Then if I, if anything happens, how, health wise. How? I have to like just move one, guys. two, three. So I only have one action to attack once? That sucks. What do you have to? Because I have to move three to get all the way down there. I'm only melee guy. Uh, yeah, so I gotta waste two full actions just to get to them. Oh man, you can't move this to get. I can move that, but then I get rid of this combat one. Yeah. Which whatever. I can put in their space. So then I do one, two, three, and then I have two actions there. Yeah, I could. Yeah. But then are we leaving her some? What if I kill? I just need two. So even if oh, you yeah, get a true. leader. Okay, I'll do that then. I'll spend two, so what I'll do is take these two back. Then I will throw the combat one in their space, if you can. Wrong one. Oh, wrong oh one sorry, wrong one. one. Sorry, wrong one. <laughs> and then the movement one in our space for two mana. Okay, yeah, yeah. Backwards, backwards. All right. And then I'll get three movement points. And just move it in their space. Jabbing them with your sword. I wish I could have equipped this first. Well. I don't think we'll need it, but why don't we just straddle these <laughs> two spaces? Oh, yeah, it is two spaces. It is. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah. Well, just... Oh, yeah, don't get the shadow either. All right. So, uh, what are we two, getting? Yellow. two yellow. They We're get getting... two blue. Three black. Like, it's so dumb. Why? I don't even know why I'm doing this. Experience. But I might not do any damage. You will. So, we got blank, blank, and blank. What's their claw do? Combat? I don't something? remember. Uh, combat attacking or defending hero discards one mana. Oh no! Do you want to reroll that? You have three rerolls still. Uh, but it could go. So it's up to you. Yeah. Okay, I ignore that, so that's fine. Okay, Just so get rid of gone. that. You still this have... one, yeah. I'll reroll. Okay, and this one, I'll reroll. Okay. okay. So four hits, one gets blocked, three gets through. Three, can you throw three on there? Mm hmm. They have four health. And then I gain a mana. 
then I'll attack one more time. Okay, so these, one, and three. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here, I don't know, I'll remove all the blanks on their side. So do you want to reroll the claw? Uh, or no. Do you care? Okay. Uh, the yellows. The yellows? Maybe. Jeez. <laughs> Literally the same result. Okay, so I lose a mana, and then they take two more damage, which will kill... Three, three. Oh, three more. Oh, three. So, so that, that kills. kills one and leaves two there. So that's one XP for me. Yay, I'm at five. Okay, done. Flip my co token. All right, I'm gonna move one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna attack one, two, and two. Nope, I get two of those. In the shadow. In the shadow, yeah, thank you. Okay, and then my arrows. We have two. Four. So we're stopping at six. You we're move stopping. the blue into your own space. Anyone could get to the end in one movement action. So, oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, perfect. Which, yeah, I think you guys... Okay, I'm stopping at six. So Defender takes a fire, and I don't have any mana to give them an ice right now. So we'll see what happens when I roll. All right. Well, Whoa. I like all the hits. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... I don't have any mana, so that doesn't do anything for me. So yep. I'll re-roll... I think I'm gonna start with these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, I don't have any mana for that. Games. Okay, that's fine. So I so do fun. three, four, five, six. Oh, I do have a mana. But uh, yeah, I'll take the mana from this one. I can reroll. I'll spend it to reroll one more. How are you rerolling all those things? Oh, I couldn't. You couldn't. I couldn't. Matter. I couldn't. It, it didn't matter. matter. It didn't matter. I'm not with you. Here. Yeah. You're sorry, not, sorry. You're not in my zone. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. Which Edgar's going to yell at you. Yep. Yep. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. Edgar's sorry. yelling at you. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't see <laughs> sorry. My bad. My you're bad. in trouble. <laughs> my bad. Oh, I forgot. Anyways, I have this one that I uh, for each three I remove one of these. So these are both gone because I have six. So, did so you I just do hit for that? three, four, five, six. <laughs> Wow. I hit for six. I keep calling this like baby's first dungeon crawler six. and stuff, but like, That's man, true. Uh, we still yeah. suck and get all the rules wrong. No, but we've just been playing for uh, I know. hours We're after work. Tired. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so but I still. get two. <laughs> it's one, not two. that simple for sure. And then I get to have one more attack. Um, two I mean, defense. Three hits. three hits. These I don't need anymore. This is back. Let's grab my arrows. Two, four, I'm gonna, uh, cool. I don't have any mana. I can take a damage, I'm gonna chance it. I got four, come on, three, come on, three, come on, three, two, oh, six, okay. Now I got some rerolls now, everyone. <laughs> so you forgot to do that too? Or no, I did that, one? this is a new one, this is a new one. Last one they just got fire, oh, they got ice, oh no, I didn't, I didn't oh, do that one, I didn't do the ice. Didn't do the ice, okay. Uh, keep that one. More this hits, blocks so. that one, so yeah. I don't need to worry. Uh, one more hit. I need one more hit. Oh, sorry, two more. One, two. So let's re-roll with this ability. No, that's a black die. You oh, don't have any black die. Comments. Oh, that's, sorry. That's then let's do, do. You have to spend a mana. I'll get a mana. Yep. And then I'll spend the mana to re-roll. So two. You can't, you can't re-roll that yellow die because you just spent yeah. a mana. Nope. I got a mana off of it. Oh, sorry. These are the ones I wasn't re-rolling. I'm just. Oh, okay. And I can re-roll two. Yeah, sure. There we there go. Got go. him. Got him. Got her. Okay, dead. So right. we each get two, One, Kyle. Two, and I'll get three. three. That's for you. That's gone. Okay. And I'm done. Let me get this. Let me get this. Oh, it's a, do you want to put it on there? Oh, it's a yeah, bow. sure. Precision bow. Dual handed. handed. First range attack of the turn. Mm -hmm. One yellow die. Oh. Plus one yellow Plus die. Plus one yellow I'm die. I'm going to think on that one. I don't know. Because you're already rolling two. Because I'm already rolling two every time. Yeah. Oh. But, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'd have to give up. It's just common loot. That's the problem. We need to see more of the blue loot. Yep. Which, All right. I mean, someone's coming in now, right? No. Uh, so oh, no. are we done? Yeah. Yep. So there's no mobs to activate. Leveling up. Anybody yep. at 15 or whatever you need to do? I have 18. Yep. So drop down to three, three. And what skill are you taking? Uh, let's gain. Oh, yeah. Go to three, and then you get an extra mana. mana. 
And then my skills for three is I'm taking... I'm taking my improved strings. Oh, that's my toy. Improved strings. So when you overload, you may choose to ignore one of the broken arrow effects. Oh, wow. So when I yeah. overload and yeah, I have yeah, to... Damage yourself yeah, or take a frost token or whatever. Yeah. You can ignore one. And it's because I really want to level this one up. Yeah, That yeah. one's really good once I get it leveled mm. up. So. Okay. Okay. And you know you come into level three ability, right? Yeah, but I think I need that. Oh, okay. I think you I need look that at them one. Though, and you're okay. No, but I already know my path. I think. Oh, okay, okay. Just yeah, like sure. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Because you could have made like this one better, right? Or I could have this one better. I could have, but I want this one because when I hit level four, I can level that okay. one up yep, to yep, yep. Makes sense. make my arrows better. Gotcha. So no that's worries. The path I like. All right. Done. Darkness. So mm -hmm. this goes into the bag. Kyle, you can put that in the bag and then draw us one of those items from the rare deck. And then we can choose who takes it. What do we get? What do we get? Oh man, just what I wanted. Leprechaun slippers. <laughs> <laughs> On defense, oh. you can spend three freaking mana to take the attacking mob's item. Wow. Oh. So this is a rule that I didn't know That's how awesome. it would ever happen. So there's a rule. Awesome. There's a rule in the book. If the leader is ever left by himself, yeah. and he has no weapon, he will roll one black die. Because that's his hand attack. Mm. So th I was wondering how that would ever happen that they would lose their item and the leader would be by himself not rolling any <laughs> dice. This is how. So I don't think awesome. this is for me since I only have max two mana three right now. Man, so I would probably. We could find our lucky charms at the end of the rainbow with these things. Yeah, yeah. Rob's the one that ends up with mana. I think it's a. Yeah, maybe Rob. <laughs> well, because I end up spending my mana for this. This. And so I'm, I never I'm, I'm usually mana. getting attacked if I'm up being the melee guy, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, I like that axe, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you get to take it, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I've never yeah. seen this item before. This is like right up my alley. You this take is like... it and then use it against them. That's, <laughs> That's amazing. amazing, I love it. Sneaky, sneaky. Just getting more loot. They don't want to give me loot in the campaign, I'll, I'll take the loot myself. That's funny. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Uh, so flip our tokens and next round. Mm -hmm. Mel, I mean, you just want to end it, please. Yep. One, two, three. And, I and then spend an action. 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 All right, action. So you, you took the two scrolls and what's it called? Took the scrolls and closed the portal or something. What was close it? Close the rift. Close the rift. Okay. You're getting called out for the wrong slot. Oh yeah, they go here. Oh. Yeah, can't put them in Julie. Right here? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Right here. Put right them here. on your hands. Yeah, right here. Okay, there we go. Is that better? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, first we need to... I'm just excited to see how this ends. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what, do, what does this winning was... give, a, give us? How do we shop for more stuff? <laughs> So, after winning a quest, players perform the following steps indicated on each quest. Claim the quest reward. Quest reward. So it says, campaign progression. It seems the news is more worrying than it was first assumed. Not only was there a portal emanating darkness, but there was multiple portals. This isn't a one-time incident. The council must be informed immediately. Meanwhile, unaware of how worrying the situation truly is, the townsfolk decided to pitch some of their savings together and gift the heroes with a token of gratitude for defeating this minor nuisance. Reward. Players may use the gambling alley for free during the next town phase instead of paying the usual cost, which I believe is, I think, six of those little loot tokens, I think. Distribute experience points among heroes as they wish. For three to four heroes, it's seven XP. I didn't realize that was going to happen, so however we want to divvy up seven XP. What mm. What are you at? I'm at three. You're oh, at sorry. 13. Sorry, we're all at level three. Like, do we... No, oh. how much XP do you have? You're at 10? Yes, I'm at 10. I'm, I'm at only at three seven. and at seven. We probably don't want to go to four, though. No, I know. we so want to all go... You take four you go to, or something like, and go to round like seven, I go to at seven? least. And yeah, because we want to. You, you take two more, and so I'll take one. 
Or so nine. now I'm at eight, you're at nine. Nine, and you're at ten? Oh, we want to lick on le yeah, level like up so at the same, the same time? Right? Okay. Yeah, it it's like the zombicide thing, right? Yeah. Like you don't want someone yeah, getting exactly. up to the orange or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that or was red. cool. Okay. I like it. Update treasure bag. Add two rare tokens to the treasure bag. Rare oh, are these the, ones? The, the blue ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're adding two blue. So the bag is getting better. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, so that was claim the quest reward. Now we claim the side quest reward if completed, sure which did. was the condition was reveal all chambers. We revealed all chambers. Uh, reward, only if you win, draw campaign card eight, Kyle, and the black cards there on the bottom row. Don't look at any of them. Next one, over. Next nope, one, next over. one over. Oh. Yep. No, nope. nope. black cards. Yep. These ones, yeah. 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 Black cards. The only yeah, that's, one. that's what I was going for. Oh, I guess there's the oh, black yeah. on the top, too. No, no, I thought you were going Don't these. flip any over. Don't they're all surprises. They're secrets. So just find number eight. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> 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 Spread them all out, Reed. I guess you can throw it up on yeah. the screen. So spoiler, everyone. spoiler, spoilers, everybody who has not played this. Here we go. Spoiler time. Close your eyes. I'm still going to read it all out, though. Mute, <laughs> mute your headphones. <laughs> oh. Pendant of Health. So these little tokens came in the expansion, but they're called use tokens. Mm. So this will get two uses. And for combat, you spend one use to ignore one wound. So it's just like a preventative thing. And I think at the start of each quest, you put the uses back on. So I think it's just like two uses mm. per quest, I think is how that works. Is this that shiny thing you're going to buy me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'd be fine with that. He has the least health, so. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm at six health now. I'm not like terrible. Like but it I does was. prevent. But the you should only be at five health. Worse. Why? Because you have four plus one. Four plus one plus one. No, it's a, it's not like four plus one plus one plus one. Like. Why is it not? Because this is the same. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's plus one. Then five. yeah, so it's one less. So but I'm you can five. have this. I'm not, you can do I need that. it though? I mean, you have the least health. What are you at? I'm at six. Well, I will be at six when we recover. Okay, so now we're going to do the town phase. I'm going to read the next quest stuff, and you guys can help vote on what the quest is going to be. But How do we gamble? I thought we can gamble. Right now, right now. Okay, okay let's go talk about the town phase. Let's get to the town phase stuff. Where is it? Oh, yeah, because we didn't get the five things, right? Oh, sorry, I'll get it. Yeah, we didn't get the five for the other part. Wasn't there five unique items or something? Yeah, but that, like that's it? it's just yeah, a, a side quest. Yeah, but we can the next quest. town phase, but we oh. might be able to buy like some achievement. right achievement. Oh, see. sorry. Okay, just hold this up to the camera for a second. This is the town board. Flip it over. Okay, this is the town dashboard for Mass of Darkness 2 Heavenfall campaign expansion. There's the locations. I'm going to read about them now so you can put it down. Okay, so here's the town phase from the rule book. Uh, maybe I can make that a little bit bigger. Okay. After winning a quest in campaign mode, heroes are allowed to enter the town. The town features five areas. We have the blacksmith. Heroes may spend loot, see page seven, and items to draw items from the treasure decks based on how much they spend. And there's a currency related to each item card we want to spend. The inventor. Heroes may spend a great amount of loot to gain any item of their choice. So it's like psycho. It's like something like 80-something loot tokens, and you can go dig through any deck, even the legendary or epic or rare or whatever, and find a single item you want. Uh, there's the herbalist. Heroes may spend loot and items to purchase health and mana potions from the starting equipment cards. Gambling alley. Hero may spend loot and items to try to try their luck pulling a treasure token from the treasure bag, possibly gaining a more powerful item. And then there's the tavern. Heroes may place items in the tavern so they can be used in later quests, okay? And then I'm gonna shoot ahead here a couple pages. Well, you have to spend 81? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you, I'll show you. Holy. Okay. Uh, town phase, let me scroll over. This is more, I should've just went to this, this more detail. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so any moment during the town phase, players may check if they've completed any of the achievements, which I know we haven't because we don't yet have the five potions. We haven't gambled at the alley four times, which can only do once per town phase. We haven't completed three side quests, and we don't have three or four sets for the Darkbringer, four sets for the Hellfire armor, and we haven't lost the same quest two times. So we don't really care about any of that stuff. Unless somehow we can get two more different potions, which we could get a mana for sure, but mm -hmm. drawing from the decks, we just have to get lucky. So while in town, players may discuss among themselves and collectively spend all the required loot tokens and items to interact and use effects of each town area. Items that are spent or discarded in any of the town areas are only reshuffled back into the corresponding decks at the end of the town phase. So you don't see the same things again. 
Loot tokens and item exchange. Each town area has a different cost in loot tokens that must be spent to use its effects. Each item rarity has an equivalent value in loot tokens. Players may discard items to pay for town area costs and may add the item's value to loot tokens they currently have to pay for costs. When discarding items this way, they do not generate leftover loot tokens. So if a player decides to interact and discard an item that is worth three loot tokens on an effect that requires two, they don't gain the one back. The number of loot tokens each rarity of item grants is shown below. So a common will only get you one loot token. A rare card only gets you three loot tokens. An epic gets you nine and a legendary gets you 27. There's the herbalist. Each interaction with the herbalist costs two loot tokens. For each interaction in this area during the town phase, players may select one health or one mana potion from the starting equipment cards as long as there's still any available. Gambling alley, once per town phase, players may interact with the gambling alley. Each interaction costs six loot, but we get this one for free. For each interaction in this area, players may draw one. Uh, once per town phase, players may, okay, may draw one treasure token from the treasure bag, draw one treasure card from the corresponding, and put the treasure token back. So it's just like you guys, you know, you spend six yep. loot and you just hope you draw something cool. But our treasure bag kind of sucks right now, so it's, that's probably like really good later when we have like more rare and epic loot in there. But there's a couple of people saying the audio is chopping. I don't know if somebody's uh, not plugged in or something's not working. I don't know. Test test. I'm not sure. Are you okay, one in? sec, one sec. I'm not talking, so I can't be chopping. <laughs> well, no, but it could be my voice going through your mic. You know, maybe yeah. it got like, pulled. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Let's we'll see if that's better. Tiny, I thought you went to bed. Yeah, Tiny, refresh your window <laughs> maybe too. Maybe it's a YouTube thing. Um, okay. Oh, it was chopping? Okay. Is it better now? It's a bit better now? Okay. Let's hope we can get this done quick. Like, I, I don't know, yeah. I haven't done anything different. Same here. Yeah, but just... Okay. All right. Okay now. We're okay now. Okay, okay. cool. That's blacksmith is putting stuff in the bag. Is that what's happening? You're spending two to put uh, one of these in the bag. Uh, do I get the blacksmith yet? I thought you did. I don't think Wasn't so. The first one. No forges. Blacksmith. Oh, blacksmith, uh, here. blacksmith costs for each interaction with the blacksmith varies depending on the treasure deck the players decide to draw from. Once players choose a deck, they pay the corresponding costs and loot tokens shown below to draw one card from that deck and give it to any hero. Hmm. So hmm. if you want to draw a common loot, you got to pay two loot tokens. Seven to draw from the rare, 21 loot tokens to draw from the epic, 54 to draw from the legendary. And the inventor, each action with the inventor costs 81 loot tokens. But that lets you get to hunt through a deck and pick any one card you want. So you go right in the legendary loot, find the best perfect loot in there, and jam it on your hero. Okay, uh, Tavern. The Tavern is an area where heroes can leave items behind instead of taking them in the next quest. Because remember, we can only take seven items each in the next quest, so that lets us store two per hero here. That we can save between quests and go grab again later that we don't have to throw away. Because when we go to the next quest, we have to discard everything extra we have. Mm. Including loot tokens. So it's like you can't pile up these loot tokens and save them for future. Okay. Okay. Well, aren't we doing that by saving them at the tavern? Not loot tokens, actual oh, cards. Items. So we would have to spend them, buy cards, and then store those cards so that we can sell those cards later to get loot tokens. So it's how do you, weird. How do you save up to 80? I think you just come with big expensive items because remember, yeah. remember, like, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, 27 tokens from a legendary oh, loot. You're, nine. you're saving two each time. So like the stack will get bigger. It's just each time yeah. you're here, it's only yeah. Yeah, it's six cards. Yeah, six and cards. we'll get better stuff that's worth more loot tokens. And I'm sure in other scenarios we'll find more loot tokens. Uh, there'll be bigger scenarios and stuff. Okay. So I think right now we get to gamble for free, right? Yeah, because there's so, nothing that adds to the bag, right? Nothing we can do to add. Just by winning no. quests, it seems like. Yeah, before we gamble, I see. Yeah, not before. Not and and it says yet. all that stuff on here. Uh, it says all that on here. If I can get it to focus. Maybe not that one. Focus, you silly guy. Why does it not want to? Mm, there, oh, there you go. go. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. So again, you can see on the top left, it all tells you the cost. So 81 in the inventor, gambling alley is 6. Even says once per town phase on it. 
the blacksmith, you can trade in loot tokens to just draw off the top of those decks, it's very obvious. The tavern even says store up to two items per hero, so we're playing a three hero game, so we can put up to six cards there. And then item exchange tells you the cost right here at the bottom of each card that you're gonna throw away. And the herbalist just costs two to get a health or mana. It's very basic, it's right on here. We could have just looked at that, it all makes sense, but it does clarify in there in full text. Oh, this card is gone. Just. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. So I think we can gamble them for free. Yep. So, so just draw, somebody draw, can draw a token. Come on. What was it? Rares we got in there. Now we got a couple yep. extra rares. Mm -hmm. Come on, rare. No oh, common. common. So grab a common item. Just put it here somewhere. Whatever. Oh. That's a new one. one. Two, yes! Oh, so then I think... Yep, spend two loot tokens and we get the fifth thing yeah. and we get our first achievement. Spend two, I'll spend two, and we'll gain um, the mana potion, which is in that pile there. Yep. Which says, during the town phase, discard five potion cards, with, so you don't need to pull it out, well, with different names at once, with no effect. Okay, so now you have to discard all five. With some of them, yeah. Well, they don't get shuffled in right now, right? On uh, BDG, no. for anyone who cares, there's someone made like the campaign checklist to show all your achievements on here, so you can kind of like mark them off. Uh, so we did complete one side quest. I'll mark that off. We are gambling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one out of four we need. During the town phase, discard. Uh, yep, so let's just cross that off. So we'll get campaign card four, Kyle. Huh? Campaign. Ooh, you just get the gamble. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because it's like a once per. Yeah. We can double check how it's worded, but. I don't think so. No, in the in the instructions. It doesn't even say. Well, it does say right on here. Limit once per. No, I know, but I didn't know what the if the instructions said. Oh, the winning thing we got. The win condition. Players may use gambling alley for free during the next town phase instead of paying for the usual cost. Yeah, so it's just once. Players. Yeah, but like we're all collectively playing. Yeah, it's yeah. All right. Let's see what this one is. Number four. Just making sure. Four. Yep. Yep. Okay. Whoa! Oh. The herbalist just got better. You just made oh. it cheaper to buy health and mana potions. That is cool. That's awesome. Okay, so, so we this have... just goes on here. Done. Uh, so here's a question. We do have. That's wow! You placed it almost perfect. Because <laughs> I've been here before, man. Just, we all do those, have all those, uh, you know, hockey and baseball sticker books when I was a little kid, you know, <laughs> lining up up in the. So we do have four tokens remaining. Do we want to pick up some health potions before going into the next quest? Uh, yeah. Oh, we don't get them? No. No, no, you don't so get any I'd be of them. Do you want to start with one? All my potions? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't realize it was worth it. it. <laughs> I was like, so we can spend especially three. Especially right away at the beginning. And each of us gain, I'm get, taking a health. But question, should we see if we can get better loot first? We can. Because maybe we find greater healing potions and stuff in that We do day. start at our max health again, right? Yeah, so. max health and max mana, your new max, that is plus one each at least. Okay, so maybe we do the... Um, okay, we can trade in to get loot tokens first. Let's, let's yeah. figure out what items you're equipping for the next quest. And all the extra stuff, we just sell off and get loot tokens. Then we decide where we want to spend that to buy better cards. We could maybe even get enough to get a, an epic treasure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep Do you want my this same. for vers versatility? Oh, you want your. I'm gonna keep mana. my same wooden stuff for now. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, gonna I'm not taking axe. this. Yeah, I don't know. You guys can look through this stuff, but I don't think you. I don't really think I want any of this. Things. You have two-handed. Yeah, I don't. I don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah, like I still need a helmet, a ring. Like we all need that kind of stuff. It's all defensive or has abilities. Like we just need to see more cards. Oh, I can't get rid of this, right? I can't. Oh, I want yep, this. that's common. That counts as a common. So it's worth uh, one loot token. Hmm. Want to put that in here? Well, yeah. All right. I don't need it anymore. So you guys don't. One, need two, it. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight loot tokens. Plus you have four on your on here, right? One, two, three. Right here, right here. I know. Twelve. Four. We could gamble. Nope, only once yeah, per. These are just to scare. Oh, yeah. I'll put those away one, two, later. One, well, we didn't two, pay for that three, first one. Four, five, six, seven, what? eight. We got it for free so from the could, reward. You could gamble, right? Again? No, once per town phase. I know, but that was a, like a free added extra. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it just let us not pay for it this time. Yeah, you can only gamble once. I know. Yeah. Don't listen to Kyle. He's just, yeah, he's wants to play his way. So now that we have this, I would love a heal potion. Would you? One, two, three. And then we can do two, oh, we're two... we're doing seven on a... On what a did you buy with your other tokens? You shouldn't buy anything. What did I buy with what other I tokens? You, you oh, were left no. with six tokens and you just put four in that pile. Because we had to do two to buy the yeah, heal originally. 
Oh, the mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah the mana. To yep, get yep, the yep. potion. Correct. Yeah. correct. Sorry. Yep, correct. So you're saying... Just double how much is the one, heal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven or two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's... How many do we have? So total, you can, you can I think we have 12. Rare. Two, four, six, rare. eight, That's ten, twelve. We have twelve, but we could do three, we could do two... So we do a rare and then buy some health potions. Okay, so Whatever two, four, is. six, seven. Yep, and then we can buy. And then we can buy one, two, three, four, five health potions, health or mana, right? Because we can buy. Yep, and we can take in seven items each. So we can take in like I don't know how many health do, potions there do are. The, well, do the do the rare only, item first. I think there's. Kyle, you yeah, can take a mana three. potion and fire it off and go up one of your tracks fast at the beginning of the next quest. Do the That's rare true. item first, though. Yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna spend the seven, just in case. Yep. Yep. Because maybe even we're like, ah, we want to sell it back. Holy, it's a javelin. I played with this before. Uh, Single-handed weapon, action, perform two attacks. Oh, Mel used this oh, before. Oh, I use this. For an action, you perform two attacks once per round. Oh, I might have not done that right. You may target different enemies. Oh, once per round? I don't remember if we did what we did. Yeah, I feel like you may have done this, like, twice, but maybe not. That's a cool weapon. It's pretty powerful. Like, for one action, so you could attack, like, four times on your turn, basically. And it's range, unlimited range, and melee. You can add it. So it works but, with you. It but it's good for someone just to have as, as a melee. Oh, you you guys are both going two-handed? But it's for you. You have the one-handed range weapons. It makes okay. sense, right? And you checking. don't want to use okay. the limited Okay, sell one. that back as well for one more token. Yep. Uh, so we're now at six? Yep. Huh. Do we gamble and sell one of our common armors or something? For another rare? But then we're not rolling blue dice. Yeah. I mean, I could as the person in the back. As long as you're not getting attacked. Okay, so we're not going to take any potions. I don't know. That's risky, right? <laughs> yeah, that's risky. But then we're only... Well, I mean, we could buy, like, all the potions. How many health potions We could also us? buy... There's three. There's three of each? Three of each. Yeah. So we could buy all six. Yeah, they're only one each? Yeah. Yeah, because you, you, we unlock that. Oh, yes. Kyle needs to go to bed. <laughs> Man, no, I forgot we got the Herbalist, okay? It's a brand new card! All those potions you lost, you don't you remember what we hey, earned? I'm for. still like, conf yeah. Those potions died I for know, a purpose, I Kyle. Know. Don't forget what those potions did for I us. I had so many potions. I know, that's crazy how fast you got those. <laughs> um, oh my god. I, yeah, I, I'd like some potions. That'd be safe. Then we all have like mana we can pull out if we start losing some. Kyle can use the mana potions. Yeah. Kyle can even take like two mana potions to start. Instead of. Yeah, and then like, you know, and I could just heal you, That's and then I have a heal, or Mel takes two heals or something, you know, we could trade with you. Because then at the start, you could just fire them both off and go up your tracks like six spaces, That's you know? That's what we're doing. Yeah, like okay. why not? I'll take two mana, you guys each take a health. Two mana. Two health. One. Or yeah, we guys... have two more. Oh. Yeah, yeah all, two oh, health. All of them. Spend oh, it yeah, at all. Just I mean, you could still well, take. Well, there's you can a take health a, and a mana left. We just can each take seven things. So give Rob the. Oh. I can take. Give Rob the mana, and I'll, I'll take the health. So right if now. I'm not with him, and he can take the. Yeah, whatever. Give so me I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. I'm yeah. Good. So as long as we're not over seven, we're good. Yeah, that's gonna be tough when we have. I know. You good? What am, I, what am I adding? These cards? Yep. Yeah, you're just your items. You have one, oh. two. Not your three, skills, four. not your friend, just your five. items. Five, you have five. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Okay, so we're good. Okay. Like, Hold you on. can take another mana if you want. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> like, if we're not getting uh, some cool items, uh, I might as well I try guess. to break the game some other way. <laughs> like, go up six. Come on, man. You can get a yellow die right from round I'm one. I'm pretty sure yeah. you're allowed to have the same potion named the same. I, I don't think there's a limit on that. Did you use three before the item exchange, or you get them back? I don't know. What do you mean? Not sure what you mean, Circato. Oh, like, did we use all the health? I don't know. We had six loot tokens we came to town with. We spent two of them to get a potion. We got our achievement, and then we started selling stuff off. I think yeah. we're good. And none of us had any potions yeah. left. No, we used them all. All right, so we're done the town phase. So we have to discard any loot tokens we have extra, any items we can't carry or put in the tavern, and then we're done. Tiny says no limits to the same name potions. Perfect. All right. So next quest we have to figure out is the council pondered on what could be done, and the Lightbringer Company also gave their take on the matter. 
After a long discussion, it was decided that the party of Lightbringers should be sent through a portal and discover the source of the darkness. Unfortunately, this is a dire mission, and the chances of coming back are slim, since it is still not known what might be on the other side. First and foremost, the heroes need to find a portal. One has been reported close by, and the heroes may be able to find a way to use it. There is also an old Lightbringer, known for his prowess in manipulating portals, who has offered to help create a ritual that might summon a portal for the heroes. So we choose one. We can play one of two missions. Either Highway to Hellscape. Either Highway to Hellscape, which is the one we streamed yesterday, but it supposedly changed. So what they did in the campaign mode, they reuse a bunch of the same quests, and they also use new ones. But some of the reused ones are like remixes, where they change up how they work. But I think it's the same layout, maybe even the same setup, I don't know, but probably different objectives and stuff. Not sure. I didn't look ahead. We're not going to look ahead. What we're going to do is just blindly, I'm going to put a poll in the chat, and you guys who are watching right now are going to vote and pick which one you want. So, Highway to Hellscape. We could go headfirst into an open portal and take our chances. Or we could play The Passage, which is quest number two in the base game, which Mel and I played off stream. So we've played both of these, and that one is Aid the Summoner in Conjuring a Portal. So that's kind of like a escort quest, probably. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's up to you guys what you want to see us play next week. We can replay Highway to Hellscape and see how it's different, and see how they incorporate it into campaign mode. Or we can play The Passage and see how they change that up from the base game. But we haven't streamed that one. But if you've played the base game, you can see the difference, at least. Um, or just vote based on the story. So, which... So Rob quest? is just making a poll for you guys in the chat yeah, that you'll be able sec. to vote for. So just one sec. And then you guys will be able to direct us in which quest we play. Health and all this resets. Yep. That's a sort of... Yep. So we start with mana? Yeah. Yep. Full. Full of your max, oh, whatever okay. your new max is. Nice. You start with... Uh, keep your skills that you had. Yeah, they're here. All your skills that you don't have, if you can put them in a baggie, the ones that you not that are, haven't unlocked or the ones you're not using, just so they're separated, and then uh, the rest we'll just put on your board and we can save it that way. Oh, this is why T Tiny didn't fall asleep yet. Tiny, morning guy is going to be mad at you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I put a poll in the live chat if you're watching this live. Go down below in the chat on mobile or on PC or whatever. Um, and you can vote for which scenario we play next week. I'm good either way. I'm curious to see how they're both different. Like we played both, one on stream and one off stream. So like I'm I'm curious to see how they spice them up and if how different they are. Plus we're playing them three player anyway, which we haven't played before, and different heroes too. So, and now we have different mobs shuffled in, um, different items and things from the campaign and the different campaign rules even. I just need to fix all these guys and put them all back together. And while you guys are voting, we're just trying to save save our game states <laughs> as best we can. Throw in our little cart. And all this we don't want. We need light bringer type commands. So we didn't we didn't die. We didn't lose any Lightbringer token. So yeah, we're rocking it. Let's see if we can keep that that train rolling. I do have to admit that was a little bit of a challenge for our first scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we also milked it. We kept it kind of going a little long. We, only Kyle got really close to dying. Like there was a chance there where I was like, oh crap! Like we're gonna die in the first scenario. Uh, but it was based on rerolls. Like if you didn't reroll good, yeah, <laughs> you'd have been like, and I've got no health. Can I like interrupt? Midway through that, and just do this. No, so. before or after an action. Uh, that's why. That's the one limit in this game. You have to decide, like, before you do this attack, like, should you heal now, you know, or do that ability instead, you know. That that's the decision space. You gotta you gotta follow that stuff. Can you put those in the starter little item slot there? Yeah. And then these, can you just put in the mob? Tiny has a question for you and says, yeah. "Did y'all think that you'd be at level three after the first quest?" No. I didn't think so either. either. I, I thought I would be lucky for a level two, based on the rules, reading the rulebook first, and how they changed it so much. I didn't realize they were going to give us XP at the end. I did not read ahead. I didn't want to be spoiled. So I didn't know we were going to get a little dump of XP at the end either. 
which was interesting. If I knew that, maybe I wouldn't have milked it so much, but we milked it once I realized that that rare token went so far on the bar there. If that was earlier, the rare, yeah. I would have not delayed it that long. I would have said, just end it, please. Like, yeah. <laughs> we're just milking this for like a couple extra XP points, but I mean, the long run, that could be very helpful, right? I think so. But yeah, we need to get all the way up to 10, but I thought we'd be getting to like level 10 and like, you know, quest number eight, uh, or no, quest number like six or seven maybe. But maybe that's how it's going to be because it does get well, more expensive. Yeah, 20 and then 25. Like, that's yeah, to go from level, to go from like level eight to nine is like 37 more XP. Wow. That's a yeah. lot of mobs and uh, and uh, roaming monsters to take down, right? Well, even, yeah. Well, I'm halfway now to level but then, four. But also we get XP at the end of quests. Now I, don't we, know, I don't know if that's always a thing. Yeah, it might just be at the beginning to like buff you up, right? Yeah, that was interesting. Tiny says, one of my characters died once or twice in the first few quests. We used Lightbringer t a couple times. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. wow. T Tiny, how many characters did you play? Just three? We milked the quest a lot. We hit high levels very quickly milking it. Yeah, I think, yeah I think there's a like, thing there, I think. I think uh, like we do that in a lot of the dungeon crawlers we play. I feel like you kind of need to do that. It's kind of like what I learned way back in the day playing like Final Fantasy games on like NES and Super NES is like, you know, the grinding, like trying to get up to the right level before you fight that boss. Um, so yeah, a little bit, a little bit of grinding can kind of like ease things out later when you kind of make some mistakes or have some bad dice rolls. Sometimes you just need that. All right, let's close the poll and find out what we're playing next week. Oh, two per player. I see. Nice. Oh, okay, total. Four total oh, okay, nice, four nice, total nice. Heroes. So you guys voted seventy-two percent want us to play the passage. Awesome. So that's what we're gonna play. We'll play that next week. Thank you for voting, everybody. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, so far is so good. Uh, it it definitely feels different. Like playing yesterday, and I know Kyle is you're like, wow, this doesn't make any sense. But like yesterday, like Mel and I, when we played even off stream, learning the game, like you're getting so much loot. Mm -hmm. Like you kill a group of enemies, you're pulling a loot token, and they're dropping loot. A rolling yeah, monster yeah. comes out, you kill him. He he drops three loot tokens. You're grabbing out of the bag. You're drawing cards. You're just like flooded. You know the way every time we drew somewhere, like I was switching my weapons out. You're doing that like it feels like every round just like oh here's more armor oh another helmet oh we now have six helmets like who yeah, wants to wear this cool. one and it's just that's like cool. constant flood but in the other the other mode there's the anvil the blacksmith little token that goes on the board the forge you can go there and spend a movement point to trade any three cards into the level like to pull an item from a level higher mm. so it's like you want to get flooded with loot and then you trade it to like level up your loot right. which is really cool but that's not in the campaign. If, if that token appears in the game, you just uh, spend a movement point to discard it to just like uh, draw from the current dungeon level's mob uh, item deck. So you just get like this is like one item. It's like, mm. like a weapon. Right. Yeah. Not as good. So loot is definitely more rare in this, which kind of took away one of my favorite things of playing this game before was like all the loot, the flood, the fast leveling up. It still seemed to level up pretty quick. Yeah, because I think in, but, but, in a regular game, we're at level five. But we're not putting cool, like every time you level up with the regular levels, you're putting more better loot tokens back in yeah. this bag. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was like, get like you're just always, oh my God, like a couple rounds in, you're pulling out like epic treasures. You're like, ooh, an epic item. And you're just like getting so powerful so quickly. But in this, it's not. But I understand they have to stretch it out over eight sessions so you're not like OP like right away, right? Yeah, yeah. and then it's just not fun. Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. It definitely feels a little different. Well, it's still Mass of Darkness. Yeah, I like the changes so far. Yeah, it's okay. Just have to uh, figure them out, yeah. It's okay. But yeah, we'll be back uh, next Monday, I think. I schedule... Uh, probably no? Thursday. Thursday? Next Thursday, next week. So a week and a few days from now, I'm going to move the stream. So you can still send a reminder. The next stream is in the playlist in the video description. You can go also watch Mel paint this Thursday. She's going to be painting the Reaper boss from the core game live on stream. You can join her for that. Um, and that is in the playlist in the video description. There's a playlist for painting. There's a playlist for playthroughs. So you can go watch our other Master Darkness stuff in there. And uh, we'll keep scheduling the future streams and playthroughs in there so you can set reminders for them. So even though I'm going to move next Monday's stream to Thursday, if you go set a reminder or if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, you'll get notified or reminded when it goes live so you don't miss it. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep playing weekly, keep going through this campaign and seeing how it goes. So, so stay along for the ride, see, see how it advances, and 
if we uh, have to use Lightbringer tokens <laughs> or if we fail any quests and have to replay them. Uh, should be fun. I'm, I'm curious to see what's in this legendary loot deck. I'm curious to see what fighting like a level seven, eight, or nine mob or roaming monsters like. We've never had a boss fight yet, so I can't wait to see how that goes down. Can you take the boss's weapon with those lucky shoes? They don't the really have weapons, they're like attached. It's attack. like built on the card, yeah. Yeah, see, see. yeah, yeah no, just mob <laughs> weapons. Anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to more. Master Dark has been having some fun so far. The campaign seems pretty cool, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. Thanks everyone for supporting us. Super chats, subscribe, uh, hitting the like button, and also those who donate on Patreon and YouTube, much appreciated. Thanks for allowing us to be able to buy this game and expansion uh, to play on the channel for you guys. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.